Hey everybody. Uh, sorry for the late start. Not feeling 100% at the moment. Was feeling a little gross earlier today, which is why the late later start on the stream. But uh, we are here. We are here for Fortune Cookie. And we're going to start it off with something a little special, which wasn't in the, the game list. So unfortunately, I had to pick the closest thing I could, which was Cat Attack. This is something really special. We've talked about it before, but we've never actually shown it on stream. And I can't find the page for it now for some weird reason. Probably because I apparently I lost a lot of my links. Awesome. Everything's messed up. Everyone figured it out. People have already figured out what it is. Uh, this is from NeoZid501. That's Neo, uh, XID501. This is Bagel Bash. Bagel has his own video game. Stuff never works on stream. Uh, no, I had it on the now loading screen on purpose. See? We've done it. I waited for dramatic reveal, but also had to turn back on the music. Alright, time to break some consoles as Bagel. This game is hard. I'm not shocked. Apparently this is VOD safe. I've been told this is VOD safe. There are some non-VOD safe songs on this game though. Here, let me... <laughs> these two up top, you can't see my mouse, but these two up top, very not safe. Very not safe. Although I do appreciate the addition of Goldfinger by Superman. This should, be, this should be World Circuit Punch-Out Wii, I believe, that's playing. A version of it. Let's do it. Let's play the Bagel Bash. I mean, this is pretty much what you should have expected. Oh no, there's the actual song. <laughs> New high score of one. Ah, oh, we got an egg helmet, and then we died immediately. We can do it. <laughs> We've got the Waluigi hat. I'm gonna let that one go. These purple dots are the only thing I'm wondering about. It's so quiet. Uh oh, we're going into the darkness of space. Oh my god, we are. Oh, never mind. It was exactly what it did what I thought it did. Wait, was that we already broken? Oh, the bricks break them. Okay. I don't know what the Waluigi hat does. Take that helmet back. Oh! Go, Egg! You can do it! We should play this every stream. I'm gonna do it again. I destroyed the egg. Oh no. There, what was that? A hidden block. Really? Fucking really? Superman ring. Yup, I went there. But now I have... Uh-oh. I didn't realize the dot would hurt me. This ends at some point, right? We just got like a million achievements. Give me an egg. Two extra hit points. Football, extra hit. Punch those boulders. Extra hit and double jump. Ring stage, flight, slash infinite jumping, but more yarn. Oh, the yarn stops the cat because it distracts him. I get it. Is this a... It's your destiny raid? Is that a raid? Then let's get the gun ready. That's the wrong button. That's still the wrong button. Here's the right button. There's the guns.
Saw that was a one-man raid, but didn't see who took credit for it. Thank you for your raid regardless. And let's jump back to Bagel Bash, because apparently we're going to do one more run, but it, apparently it's a little special. Let's see what we can do. Disappointed. You have to try to get a zero. Death water, stop falling in the death water. Raid, get ready. There's a raid achievement. It was Naoto Place. Thank you, Naoto. Nice raid. Nice one man raid. Let's do it. Let's get bagel number run and press number seven. Uh. Is this okay? He told me I could do this. I'm glad there's a sing-along in this game. This is a meme from Zeldathon. Then it's perfectly fine then. It's just gonna keep going even on the screen. Nope. Oh. Should've got the zero achievement while well, since I was there. Damn, that kind of makes things easy. Jesus. I just love how much of the screen this takes up. I feel like eventually this should just slowly start taking up more of the screen. Uh-oh, I got stuck on that thing. Real Bagel's gonna be wondering why the hell I keep saying that. Uh oh, what's happening? What what's happening? I'm gonna get the zero. Disappointed! There it is, I knew it'd be in there. Oh, of course it's fucking brain power, never mind. Oh god, the emotes are flying. You will give me an act. Of course they are. Uh oh. Oh my god, even the lyrics of fucking brain powers on here, fucking chorus. I mean, this was labeled Twitch meme button, so I'm not shocked that I'm hearing brain power right now. God, he <laughs> tried it. <laughs> Amazing. A for effort on that. Sing along if you know the words. Let's see if we can get that 50. Ah, oh, crud, I had to give up the flying for that. I don't know if I want to. Uh oh. 
Two more for 50. One more for 50. No! Damn you, Bigel, and your love of yarn, apparently. Well, let's ride this out to the end. Let's see if there's anything else after this. We can do it. So let's lower the amount of yarn that's in, in the space of outer space, except then we're going to get Superman right away again. Jesus. Fucking brain power. Oh, we switched! I didn't realize it! Shit! Because it's still coded by the fucking lyrics. <laughs> Superman c power kind of breaks things. Yeah, I think it's balanced out by the fact that there's so many pr more, like, death projectiles because of it. Ah, yeah. Oh, there it is. Perfect. My favorite lyrics. Whoop, 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 whoop. Ow. Bigel does actually do that. He does actually run into walls. Sometimes he's not a smart cat. You will give me an this is, I've actually never heard the entire Full Brain Power song. I did not realize it was this long. You will give me I guess I should not be shocked, though. I hope Bigel doesn't do that too much. No. Not usually. He's got his moments, though. Uh-oh. Yep, right in there. To be fair, Bigel does lack depth perception. You are correct, Agent G. That whole one-eye thing does complicate things. So where does this game fit in the lore? It's Bagel's lore now. This should be the new raid scene. God, how would I even do that? I feel like enough streams already do shit with the uh, brain power. here to get some of these things now. Oh. This sounds like the end. Do we have anything else or is it looping back over? And... Yep. This is done. Silver server time. Now this is the music I need. This'll do it. We'll get 50 this time. <laughs> I can see again! Well, here we go. There's our 50. Something fitting about doing this this game, which will probably insta-kill us while listening to t the Silver Surfer music. Gotta hit 64. Just because. Can you get to 100, though? That is the question. At this rate, maybe. 
Although at this rate, we might also run out of items. Bagel has destroyed a lot of my consoles at this rate in this game. This game seems disingenuous. Where are the wires? He's already eaten them all. That's it. He's just destroying the rest now. Uh oh. Whoop. 80. Let's go, Bagel. <laughs> and you've got like 13 Wii. Save some for the rest of us. God, I wish I had these many consoles. Although, to be fair, they would all be destroyed by Bagel at this rate. Uh-oh. No! -oh. We're fucked! Oh, no. We're a regular old Bagel now. There it is. I see that invisible block. Damn these space wees. They're all getting in the way. Just need three more. Oh no! We did it. 102. Wow, Luigi gives me a double jump. I gotta make sure I can take advantage of it. I did. Right in the water. Oh. You will give me an egg. Bagel, no! 111. Achievement unlocked. Way to go. We didn't get Death Water. We didn't get Raid. We And we got, we got Bagel Alert and Wrecked. We just did not get 69. So this is on, uh, what is the name of that site? I can never remember the heck what it is. Itch.io. So NeoZid has his own Itch.io site where you can get it. Also, it is on the Android stores. If you want to play this on your phone, it just does not come with meme mode. Enter a game and then quit. Well, we already got zero though. Here, I see. I'll just, I'll get it again. Disappointed! Still got that, at least. Yeah, see, leaderboards are available on this version of Bagel Bash. Try this, try the phone version. You maybe you'll enjoy it. And I think, think that one has a leaderboard? I thought I saw something from Stan earlier, something saying what the high score was. Stan says his high score was 54, so apparently I'm better at making my cat destroy my things than Stan is. That's probably a good thing. Alright, let's go to the cookie. I also don't I don't want to leave the song though, it's the problem. I really like this song. Uh that Bixler says 148 was his high score. 113. A bunch of people did real good. I'm gonna send Bagel into the void. And unfortunately the song, too. I'm sorry. Whee! Send him back in there again. Alright, for those of you who are new to Fortune Cookie, here's how this works. We pick five random games from my game collection, and you guys vote on a straw poll to see what game we play next. Uh, it might not be something as weird as Bagel Bash, it might be something else. It usually ends up being worse, if we're being real. Uh, <laughs> but let's see what comes up first. Game number one of five for the first fortune cookie of the night is... Ultraman for the Super Nintendo. A less than good fighting game. I'll just leave... yeah. Yeah, that's, that's actually probably the best description of this. Game number two. Gargoyles for the Genesis. This is based off the Disney cartoon from the 90s. Game number three. Is, I think that's a tactics game, actually. It might be his part RPG. It's one of the two. Either way, we can't play it. We usually skip RPGs and tactics games, but we do not skip Star Wars The Force Unleashed 2 
for the Xbox 360. Game number four. Samurai Jack, the Amulet of Time for the Game Boy Advance. Apparently this is a Metroidvania-ish. Also, most of the games so far are based on TV shows and one's based on a movie? Or a spin-off of a movie, so I'm noticing a trend here. What is the last one going to be then in that case? It's going to be nothing TV or movie related, probably. Sure isn't. Ghosts and Goblins for the Game Boy. This is a list. It does exist. I do not know what will win, and I fear for what will win. Dan's dropping the straw poll in the chat if you want to click it and make your voices heard to see what I am forced to play next. And I use that term very strongly because pretty much every game here is going to be a slog. Uh, you know what? I'm going to vote for that one. But currently in the lead... Watcha! It's Samurai Jack, the Amulet of Time for the Game Boy Advance. 195 votes, 36%. Second place is Force Unleashed 2, 117 votes and rising, 21%. Third place, Ghosts and Goblins, 97 votes, 16%. But right behind that is Disney's Gargoyles, 91 votes, 15%. And poor Ultraman in last place, 78 votes, 12%. 642 votes clock so far. Did you get a chance to pre-order the SNES Classic yet? I managed to find a PSA for last night's Walmart pre-order. Uh, no, I can't pre-order off Walmart.com because uh, they don't ship to Canada. So as of right now, I do not have a SNES Classic pre-ordered. I somehow have finally managed to find an NES Classic, but uh, I'm not going to have that for a couple weeks, more than likely. And even then, like, I think I own all the games on it anyway, so it's just a thing to have now. But I do want that SNES Classic for the full release of Star Fox 2. Well, I don't think we need to worry about this anymore. Um, Samurai Jack has 270 votes versus Force Unleashed 151. 723 votes clock so far. I'm going to mercy kill this. No timer needed. We are playing Samurai Jack the Amulet of Time next. But first, let's drop a couple eggs. Say thanks to everyone who's subbed so far during the stream, and then we will go to break. I'll stretch my legs, and I'll get Samurai Jack up and running. Oops, and while I do that, I should probably actually get the egg carton ready. I got my SNES from a friend at work for just 20 bucks. Nice, that is a deal. Sec to get the egg carton ready. Nice. All right. Oh, nice. I'm excited. We've got some good stuff here already. What? It's got a. Why don't I actually see that message I just saw in the corner? Weird. All right. Sorry. Something came up there. Let's re roll this. Oh, because he did delete it, that's why. Oh, god damn it. All right. I'm going to play that later. That's going to be good. Thank you, Mayo. Uh, <laughs> I just, all I saw was the thumbnail. That's all I needed to see. Uh, tonight we have Xylanoc for 7, RJ20151 for 44, Ablestar 3 for 6, Sonic Kurosaki for 16, Mini91 for 5. <laughs> mini, 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 can't you see? Sometimes his Proton Egg just hypnotized me. <laughs> Clark Weiser for 44, Luna Valentine for 23, Stardust Pyro for 23, Metal Mega 151 for 27, Scully Pendra, Scully Pendra, I don't know why I keep doing that, uh, for 32, Darth Mauler 64 for 6, UU Kirby for 8, Rivers, Rivus Corvus for 7, Darth Exhausted for 4, Tro I hear you there, Darth, uh, Trojan Horse 711, 711, I don't know why I do either, too, for 27, Nano Break EX, subbed, Sandman, Slim, 122, subbed, Glitchman, 42, subbed, 
Random Percentage for 10. Dark Zodiar subbed. Legarin for 10. Pyro Dogami for 7. Horizon Nom for 31. Furious Fox 12 subbed. Weave. I guess because it's an, a 3 instead of an E. Weave for subbed. 4 subbed. We has 4 subbed. Thank you, Weave. Monkey Island Fan 1 for 5. Darkest Tempest for 14. Fake Saviet Womble for 6. Derek DTH for 14. Pokanatic Aria 40, 88 for 30. I don't know where the 4 came from. Brittany Westfall for 8. Cool Craftsman 64 for 2. Dran Drasnova. I can't speak today. What is going on? Drasnovis for 24. LP Black Tower for 2. I'm just going to butcher this one. Saku no Roxton subbed. Warlinko 5 for 5. Victor Duan subbed. Odessa MC for 19. Zamplifieds for 28. Che you guys are just sneaking these in right now. Cheat Coder for 3. Hippoman 87 for 24. Drake 8 for 11. And Knight MC 3 for 11. Thanks a lot, guys. We got some more Dr. Weird. <laughs> Hang on. From Braden. Give me a second. I gotta fix this. Yeah, because it's not quite queued up correctly. This is not AC Fan's Dr. Egg. It is, in fact, I think the thing that set all this off in the first place. Just all the regular Dr. Weird clips, so buckle up. Why is it so quiet? I think I know why. My father built this castle. He said that Weirds would live here for a thousand years. And now it's being turned into fucking bullshit. Oh god, it's like the end ones. Oh, this one's super gross, honestly. I've never been a fan of this one. Behold! There is an adhesive egg in my nana pudding! I demand that it be removed! Thank you! Uh, you know, you could probably get it for free now. Woman! Bring back the egg! I want it for free! Never mind. That's not the one I was thinking of. I was thinking of something else. <laughs> Thank you, Brayden. <laughs> ah, I was wondering when this was going to happen. Tom, you're in luck. Because apparently tonight, in case you were raiding, someone has triggered something extra special for us. This is Tom Raid Countermeasures. <laughs> Thanks, Tom! <laughs> Thanks for the raid, dude. Hope you don't mind that we murdered everything you can love and care for. Alright. <laughs> That's a good screen to go back to. That's a good one there. Alright. We'll be back in a bit. Thanks, you, Tom Raid. Uh, we are getting ready to play... Holy shit, I forgot what won. Um, that's happening way too often lately. 
It was clearly the most memorable game. So memorable that I need to go get it. Samurai Jack, the amulet of time for the Game Boy Advance. So, when we come back from break, get ready for some watcha. See you guys in a bit.
Hey, we're back from break. Um, our co-coms tonight are actually apparently, I did not realize this, the same co-coms from last week. We've got Dan and Ryan again, but Ryan is not in yet. Never mind, he is. <laughs> this is what happens when you turn off all sound effects in Discord. Oh, right, I have the stream out all you want. I should probably not have that. I was wondering if I could just hear a faint echo. I wonder if sure, Ryan... Hoy, hoy. There he is. Hey, how's it going, buddy? Not bad. I'm a little bit very tired. Man, everyone is so out of it in the mod team today. What's going on? Like, I'm out of it. Well, K-Head's out of it. Juker's at work. I, actually, like, half the guys are at work. Never mind. Yeah, for the first time and like that, that I've ever seen, it's like, all right, who wants to be a mod? And there is a slew of... Meh, not tonight. <laughs> I mean, if everyone's not feeling, I have no choice. I'm here. I'm here by force. Yeah. I just I, want to be on. I, I, I mean, I could go lie down on the couch again, but I feel like that would not end well, especially considering. Actually, no, this would probably be the perfect time to do it because the cat's actually sleeping. Just stream IRL. I, I, I wasn't feeling good earlier today er, in the afternoon, so I went to lie down, and then, of course, the cat's like. Meh, 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 meh. Well, I had a friend's stag party that I was at last night, so I was up till 3 a.m. Nice. So you're you're dead, basically. A pretty pretty dead. I I managed to wake up today with some Mega Man, and I've been trying to be productive through the day, but I've got about half as much done as I regularly would have. Hmm. All right. Well, I'm just used to staying up till 8 a.m. So I was gonna say thanks to you two being here, regardless. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> All right. Repeat uh, performance, babes. There you go. Let's do a couple quick donations, and then I have a video to show, and then we'll hop into Samurai Jack. So nice we have to do it twice. Mm -hmm. Michael Gamer says, Hey, John, hope you're doing well. So recently, Toy Story was revealed to be a world in Kingdom Hearts 3, and I want to know what Disney slash Pixar movies would you want to see? Incredibles. Uh, yeah. Yep. Inside Out. Al although, for the, for the sake of seeing what Sora's design would be, I would love to see Cars. Oh, God. I want to see Sora's car fight the Heartless. I'd be in. So, Pixar movie in Kingdom Hearts, is that it? Yeah. Disney mm. or Pixar, like, whichever one hasn't seen Rep, uh, Rep yet. I don't know too much about Kingdom Hearts, so that's a tricky one for me to we do. We had goddamn Tron Legacy in 3D, by the way, which annoyed me. Hmm? I know it's because it's supposed to be because of Tron 1 being in Kingdom Hearts 2, but come on. I mean, they it makes it makes in. sense. Marketing. Also, they yeah, a lot of the things are tie-ins. That's why, like, Pirates of the Caribbean was a world. That was actually good, though. Actually, I'll, I'll, I'll back up Incredibles with you, John. Incredibles was good shit. Not with those car heartless again. Well, oh, they, they finally announced when Incredibles 2 was coming out, so I can finally see the sequel. Oh, man, Ratatouille would also be a good one. <laughs> I just saw that slide by in the chat. It's like you not you didn't see Ratatouille? I forgot that, that movie existed. Finding Nemo. There you go. Finding Nemo. Said, a Bug's I, I Life. Said, I would have said Wreck It Ralph, but I think that already made it in once, didn't it? Uh oh, that is Disney. Um, no, I don't think it did. Honestly. All right. Well, I'll toss that in then. Wreck It Ralph. I love that movie to death. Yep. Same here. Someone says Treasure Planet or Atlantis. Those aren't Pixar. Although I guess this was Disney and Pixar. I was about to, yeah, I was about to say Treasure Plan is. Oh man, I'm seeing the great references now. Brave Little Toaster. <laughs> rescuers <laughs> Rescuers Down Under. Zootopia, the, Lion King. The good dinosaur. All the good shit's coming out now. Nice. Uh, oh here we go. Uh, prerequisite now apparently on streams. Kermit the Frog strikes again and says Hi ho, Kermit the Frog here, just letting everyone know I have settled with Disney with a, st a settlement of a 20 year supply of Subway sandwiches. Justice has been served. Also, eat at Subway for some good sandwiches. Subway, eat fresh. Hashtag sponsored. <laughs> hashtag justice for Kermit. Thank thanks, Kermit. Glad the glad Legion to know. Legion was trying to take over chat earlier. I mean, they always do. The Legion <laughs> always strikes. The Legion might have a little fodder because uh, someone gave us a new Muppets game. Yay! So, the Legion might have more fodder very soon. Uh, T Rex eight four one says a game celebrating our favorite Cyclops cat. Can't think of a better way to start off the stream on my twenty second birthday. Have some cash, you magnificent man. Happy birthday, T Rex. Hey, happy birthday. Lady Juxtaposition says first time making it on time for your stream. Keep up the good work as always, and have fun at Com Bravo. Please send my hellos to everyone you meet there. Can do. Uh, 
MXXYMX says, got my wisdom teeth out this morning, and this is just what I needed. Cheers. Oh, been there. I hope your recovery goes well. Get ready to eat a lot of ice cream and soup. The pink one says, yo, John, so while trying to go to my therapist this week, my car first got a blowout, then the engine had trouble. That car apparently doesn't want me going anywhere. Hashtag shrooms for speed. Legend of Zelda Link to the Past Randomizer. Yeah, I am sorry that all happened, Pink One. Hopefully your car is okay, and hopefully you're okay with all that stuff. And last but not least for donations, uh, Smoking Kicks Ass donates and says, Null. Which, that's just a reference to Ty's stream today, apparently. I popped in long enough to see the, like, the birth of Null. Or I, I guess just after it. Alright, so before we hop to Samurai Jack, uh, I have been given a new <laughs> another uh, video from Mayo who says, This is not my best work, and it shows. So, with a glowing review like that, how can we resist? This is, uh, Woter Measures. Oh, I watched this earlier. I just fucking love this stupid meme. It's... I don't know what it's from. Well, it's I know from what it's from, It's from Crash I, Bandicoot. I, I got that. I don't know what this, like, sad, oh, whoa sound is. <laughs> you fucking put the... <laughs> <laughs> All right, you at least got me with the ending, Mayo. I appreciate it. <laughs> I fucking love that stupid whoa. It's so dumb. Like, scrolling crash. <laughs> Ta da! All right, let's do it. Let's go to Samurai Jack. Oh, man. Oops. It this gets is... sillier when he starts going whoa, 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 whoa. But the first ones are just like whoa. I know. He's so sad. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa! The oh, woes are it. from Chris O'Neill, who was just experimenting with Crash and a Molitor. Yeah, it's from Oni. Oh, <laughs> I got it. Moana World. That way we can have The Rock as a party member. Finally. There's there's the video. I dropped the link in chat. Uh, <laughs> the whole... I just the, They did a Phoenix Wright one, or someone did a Phoenix Wright version of that too, which also made me laugh. But I was real sad it didn't have like the, uh, the intense close-up when he just came into the screen. Uh, I forgot we were playing. Samurai Jack, let's do it. It's really quiet. Wow. Never mind. Now it's not. All right, Samurai Jack. <laughs> Licensed by Nintendo. Back. back to the actual gameplay. Oh, looks like someone already changed the game for me. Thanks, whoever did that. Oh, it's from Bam. Oh, boy. Well... Hey, remember when we heard it was actually kind of good? Good news though, the Wacha is still in there. <clears throat> I still have, I still haven't wow. seen the final. Episode. This, this the is a very, this is a very bit crush version of the theme song. I'm just waiting for another Wacha. There it is. That's what I wanted. Yeah, at least they have the actual like audio and not just being. I was expecting right. generic ass music, so right? I'm kind of okay I, with it. Yeah. I was expecting like just without vocals, to be honest. All right, we got a block button, an action button, a jump button. And wait, B is jump? What? I guess A is attack then. L yes. is use item. Data options. Neither file has been played. Cool. Let's do it. Con continue? Continue this never played file? Okay. Hi, I'm Jack. Check out all my sweet sword moves. Hell yeah. I'm using the sword like a nunchuck. Alright, no story. Just pop us right next to this alien. Yes. Begin your training by jumping up these platforms. When you reach the top, you could save your progress. No. I'm leaving now. Yes, yes, yes. I hate this planet. I'm going home. Fuck you, Aku. You can fly. No. Jump good. Jump well, okay, right. Damn it.
Where are these spiders? Alright, well, fuck the tutorial, apparently. I'm just going straight into it. I'm gonna jump down this well. Did you ever see the uh, webcomic uh, that takes place after, like, someone did a fan comic after the final episode of Samurai Jack, and it shows Rick from Rick and Morty explaining about, like, how the ending didn't make sense. Which is all I'm gonna say, just spoiler reasons. And then, uh, Jack is just like, wait! There's a he just gives him the recipe for Szechuan sauce. Of course. But yeah, it's like, he did something really good for Jack, and it ends up... Like, oh, you have no fourth wall awareness. Oh, right. And Jack's well, just like, wait a minute. Wait, you do have fourth wall awareness. We did it, we killed the thing. I don't think I it's what we were supposed to kill. Thing. Yeah, we killed it good. It kinda... It kind of melted, but yeah, no. I, as soon as as soon as I find and watch that last episode, Dan, you gotta send me that comic. And also on Rick and Morty, my lead artist at work was playing the Rick and Morty VR game for like four hours on Friday. How is it? Um, I watched people like Jack Septicai uh, play it a little bit, and it looked funny. And I and Dave was enjoying the hell out of it being in it, but personally. Because I work with VR, like, I had an Oculus at my desk for a while, it lost its luster real quick. The fact that it's VR means nothing to me anymore, and mm. as a game, it's just, it's just, it's a toy box. Yeah. Like, it's just a, it's just a virtual tour, right? It's, it, it, it's pretty funny. Like, it, it's, it's got a lot of good comedy in it, but there's not much game there. It's just put things together and throw things off of shelves and kill me seeks. Oh, so it's just a show, is what you're saying. Yeah. Oh my god, there's so many spiders! But, like, not structured with any kind of a plot. <laughs> so it's like... It's like watching an episode, but not as good? Kinda, yeah. I'm gonna roll my way to victory. I dodge all these spiders and bats by rolling. It's actually got... This game is really good, uh, animation. For, for a Game Boy Advance game, yeah, it's not too shabby. Oh yeah, it looks pretty smooth. The, uh, Jack's controls are kind of clunky, though, is the only downside. Clunky like, and laggy? Because it kind of like, looks like it. Yeah, he had, like, it has animation priority over control priority. It has Shaq Fu problems. Yes, that's that's the thing. I, I, I was actually super stoked uh, last Wednesday, because I said that I was doing uh, an art talk last week, and I got to go over that with some of the kids there and be like, and pointing out the thing with, like, I just told you all about anticipation and proper weight and timing and stuff, but when you're making a player character, that goes out the fucking window. Because feeling good is better than looking good. And I actually got to talk to a couple of them who tried making animations and like pointing it out to them. And cutting down their animations and letting them hit the button and see how it felt better. And I'm like, yay! <laughs> I was about to ask, like, what the hell's with the power rings? I was like, this is an RPG or some shit? I mean, it's a Metroidvania. We just equipped two power rings. We now have attack. We have stats of 300 for attack instead of 100. Hooray, yeah. you tripled your stats. Basically. I like this Mario-ass swimming sound we have. Nice. I know it's a Metroidvania. Oh, that is. Oh god, we can we can wall jump. We could have actually continued where we were. Here's uh, a map. It sure does exist. It's not a very good one. Help the villagers defeat the spider queen. Defeat Aku. Those are my missions. I guess you really can't jump good, huh? I guess. Look at this giant ass spider. Holy shit. Oh my god, look at this blocking animation. Look at this. Why are his sleeves so high? It's a fucking robe. Not an inflatable suit. Hmm. I got nothing. Alright. It looks like they took one frame and didn't finish animating it. Basically, yeah. Defense ring. Thank you. I think there may be some more people around here. Please help them. Well, I'm going to have to get some defense items because I'm getting rocked right now. 
I'm gonna have to drink my small health. You have no items. Thanks, game. Alright. One thing I want to try out is I want to find another area to wall jump in. Oh, I guess I got my wish. Oh, never mind! God, this map is so weird. Every time I think I have a chance to try out my wall jump, it's like, no, there's actually a springboard. I the one the other thing I can't tell is what part of my attack animation actually does damage. Yeah, because it looks like you can swing back. Wait, were you actually hitting behind Jack? I don't know. Yeah, because That's the problem. I don't know. There we go, we're getting some healing items. Oh, I see people talking about uh, the animation stuff in the chat. Yeah! Uh, Slice and Dice, just talking about Monster Hunter attacks. Uh, like timing and weight and stuff. I love these topics. What, you need games with actual tactics to their combat instead of just swing and win? Well, it's, it's like something that they put in and they decided on the uh, on the design of the game and it's also reflected in the animation to make it feel that good like Dark Souls is a lot of that too you commit to a swing and they have that anticipation and wind up but the game is made around it it doesn't feel good to play because it's not responsive oh, but you just get works. into a different way so I was confused like uh, I thought like maybe like when I get certain elements I would do this much damage to them this is literally how much damage I do to each element of enemy. Mechanical, earth, wind, fire, ice, shadow, and light. So now because of this clockwork gauntlet, I'm doing an extra 50 damage to mechanical enemies and 20 to shadow. Interesting. Oh. Huh. Neat. I just wish the attack controls were a lot better. Or made more sense. Because that might make or break this game later on. Although I think in the reviews I read when I originally got this game, uh, apparently it's not super difficult. Lots of good gear, well, I mean, enemies are dropping a lot of small health now, so I think the game realizes I might need it. Like, this is my forward attack. It's really confusing that that would be considered the forward attack when he spins it around like crazy. Like, he ends up with... Oh, like... Yeah. It looks, looks like it's like... more of a back attack. Yeah, like, it looks more like a, hey, get every, like, quit surrounding me sort of move. Yeah, this is what, that's what happens when you press A with no direction picked. And I'm assuming forward and A was that, like, that the vertical slash downward? Uh, yeah. Uh, let's try over here first. Like, I feel like that attack I just did on that enemy as I was falling should have hit him. And that one, too. I'm just oh, confused yeah. what part of my attacks are actually supposed to be damaging. The wall jumping, meanwhile, actually seems to be pretty decent, so at least there's that. It looks like maybe it's just directly in front of Jack, like... Uh oh, that spikes. I'm like about, I'm gonna say like a 60 degree cone in front of Jack. Looks I like found a nice. diamond! I'm a mech one! I guess that's a sword gem? Yes, up stats by 75 against mech. Alright. I like how you just gave no fucks, just walked across the spikes for Oh, uh, it's not working on the way back, I'll tell you that much. Well, not as well. You just gotta do like the Mulan thing and just jump across each spike without actually... Actually, it's weird. The jumping I was doing at the very end was not damaging me. Huh.
There's no way in hell they would program something like this, but he's just doing like that ancient thing. He's just doing like that typical ninja trope where he's just jumping from one spike to each one. I mean, that'd be Bro. cool. I was, I was flashing like I was taking damage, but my health meter wasn't moving. I'm gonna need to heal before I fight this thing. I really can't get over how much that sounds like the sound effect of Mario swimming. All right, John, the guys in the chat are saying there's something about he doesn't motion where he puts the sword back in his sheath. Mm -hmm. And that looks like an attack, but it's not. Huh? What, well, mean, like what what part of it, though? That's the question. Okay, yeah, because because I'm seeing you standing still now, so... Yeah, like, I see multiple swings. Like, yeah, no, the back still yeah. looks like... He does the big swing, and then the swing around the back is not part of the attack? Yeah, but that's also not part of the sheathing either. There's like literally two frames of animation for the sheathing. Yeah. I think that's what they're saying then, is that like, that's sort of like just flipping the sword around and looking cool and putting it back. That definitely still looks like he's swinging behind. Like, yes, yeah. Away, so, like, and I would that's a that problem. But yeah. like, if, if that's the way it is, then it's like, uh, uh, yeah, that sucks. A... Better to be aware of it. Oh yeah. It is a little misleading. Yeah, sorry I've been being quiet. I've been talking in the chat about some animation stuff. I pointed some guys at the Design Club video on Punch-Out. That's a really good video. Oh, Punch-Out just had real good design for everything in general, in my opinion. It, it did, but they that, that like, 15-minute talk, the animation specifically, is like, that video made me go out and buy Punch-Out. Really? Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, that's bad. That's that. This is a bad. This is a bad. It's one singular bad. Bad day, bad day. Wait a minute, wrong agent. Oh, what the hell are those? Uh, they're bad. That's what they are. I don't know if I can go this way yet. I've done the exact same jump three times. I guess I have to wait a little bit later on my jump. How much lead time do I have on my jump? Pretty strong, actually. All right. Wow, you can basically oh. be, like, off of the platform and still jump. That's pretty good. Ooh, this is gonna be tricky. I don't think I can do this one. I mean, slightly misleading from the... Whoa! Oh, there was a springboard again I didn't see. Of course there was. I mean, it's visually misleading, but as far as design is concerned, at least it's good gameplay-wise. Oh, give me more healing potions, I don't mind. Do you have any frames of invincibility? Sure does not feel like it. I actually don't think I do at all. Probably ah, save point. not, judging by like the constant... Well, I mean, when he was on the spikes, he was flashing, so I guess there were high frames there. No, uh, if I stayed, if I stood still in the spikes, my health meter just drained. Hmm. Well, Samurai Jack on the PS2 was the greatest of all time. Uh, was that even out in North America, or was that a European exclusive? Uh, I can look it up. Yeah. That was Shadow of Aku, right? I think. Oh no, that was definitely North America. Yeah, 2004. Uh, March 24th. Received mixed uh, reviews from critics. What about this guy? Oh, without the end of the time? Yep. Nope. Uh, the, the, the Mulan singing is happening. Uh, of course. I mean, I mentioned it earlier, it's bound to happen. Uh, also mixed. Game Informer gave it an 8 out of 10. Game Pro gave it 1.5 out of 5. Wow, that's a pretty big gap between those two. Just I also just noticed we're, we're already 11% done this game. Finish the fight. No. <laughs> Let's see. Nintendo I just, want, I just want to get to a boss fight and see what the hell happens there. Let's see. Nintendo Power gave 3.2 out of 5. Why are people saying use your healing? I have been constantly. Yeah, a lot, yeah. Game Spy is 3 out of 5, Game Zone 5 and a half out of 10. Oh, look at that sick animation! Hell yeah! That's what I came here for. 
Oh damn it, what a mess. <laughs> nice. Uh oh, now I'm gonna need to heal. The baby's first Samurai Jack kid. Oh my god! Oh! Yeah, I don't have invincibility frames at all. As would just have been evident. Oh! Oh! That was, that was bull. That sucked. Oh, I'm sorry, what? You, you missed me losing oh. a lot of health just then. Oh, wow. Uh. Ah, it's a thing! Uh, he's dead. We did it. Yay! I helped. Yeah. Jack discovers the spider silk. Don't forget you have the block button. Eh. Blocking is for chumps. while I roll my way to victory here. Sure are a lot of skeletons here. Oh, what's this? Jack discovers the winged shoes. These magical shoes allow the wearer to find a foothold from thin air and take one more jump. So I got double jump. Uh, it's not a very good double jump, but it is a double jump. But it can get you out of some tricky situations. No, I guess I'm not going up there. Unless... Nope, I can't... I don't have an extra jump after a wall jump. Ah. Uh, it was maybe worth trying. Wall, maybe wall jump into the sec... Oh. Oh, you tr Oh, that's what you I already, tried. I already tried it. Trust me, first, first thing that yeah. crossed my mind. Wall jump into this. Yeah, I got you. Jump sort of okay-ish. Oh, oh my god. Oh boy, here we go. Oh, never mind. It's a lot, it's a lot less exciting than I expected. Ryan, how long did you say you had to wait for your thing? Two and a half weeks? My emote? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I was on two and a half weeks before it came out. We're talking about this one right here, oh, yeah. right? I, I should. Oh my god! Did. Oh my god, Ryan! <laughs> You're so modest, both of you. Walked right into. I fucking love that. I love my oops. I don't even care if nobody gives me any money for it ever. I've been enjoying it. <laughs> Half the right fun is wanting it yourself. Back. You sure did, dude. <laughs> I got a mech up, whatever that is. Permanently increase mech stats by 20. Done. Me. It was an orb. I literally just picked up an orb. Those beetle bots have no chance now. God, I've got like 30 clockwork gauntlets now, it feels like. Oh, we've left the spider zone. We're now in the stairs zone. How long until you I have no idea. They just approve it whenever we can get around to it. It's um be because of the affiliate like floodgates. They were saying it can take up to like a month. Yeah, like, twenty thousand to get through. Yeah, I roll with his rabbit. Evo has a shilly mode apparently. Evo does. Yeah. Ah, that makes sense. Shit, I guess my plug email ain't so ain't so original now, is it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm guessing I can't go down here. I need to find the secret to turning that off. So let's keep running. Past the bunny rabbit. Maybe we'll learn to jump good here. I found a picnic! Kill the wabbit. <laughs> found a town. Ardot- Ardotier! That does not look like an R. 
Our Dottier, our beautiful Dottier is gone, kidnapped. They took our daughter just a few hours ago. The oh, knight. Yeah. Oh, now we're fighting blocking letters. Giant knights apparently now. Our daughty. All right, let's go find this couple's daughter. When does the magic begin? There is no magic, is there? Oh, there's totally someone in the background just shooting arrows at me. God, who is this Rue guy, and why does he have an emote for everything? Is that Clan of the Grey Wolf Rue, or...? Uh, the panda that shows up everywhere. Oh. Because there, there's, there's a Rue bot now there, too. <laughs> a green one. Oh, it's a Mr. Destructor parody. <laughs> Admiral Baru, okay. I don't know who that is, to be honest. Aside from they, the partner, apparently. Yeah, they're just, they're everywhere. They're all pandas, they're all way too cute. I mean, Super maybe it's, maybe his brand is just cute. <laughs> or maybe the, br oh my god. Take that, tree man. Right. Oh my god. Oh. Oh? Uh oh? <laughs> Uh, all right. Nice, we got a bow now. We murdered this guy so well he gave us a bow. Equip the bow and hold the L button to draw the bow, then release the fire. Use the directional pad to aim. Damn it, Blue, stop tagging me with Rui emotes. This is this is quite the bow. Holy shit, look at this thing. Hold it, ta it, it takes special meter to use, but... I wonder if I can use these as steps, too. Or if I wonder if I should just hit this giant-ass target. Mm. Good news, it was the giant-ass target. Hanzo, yeah, pretty much. Uh, we, we've finished 19% of this game already. We've been playing for, what, 18 minutes of actual gameplay. Not bad. We also skipped the tutorial, so... That may not have I been mean, the probably, most recommended, but... I mean, that was probably, what, like, three or four more minutes of gameplay? Or, like, two? Maybe the, the tutorial might also actually be, like, uh, part of the percentile as well, too. So just like gave you ten to start, or five or whatever. Well, no, I skipped the the tutorial. So I'm saying if I had gone and done the tutorial, I might have added on. Hmm. Uh, Tom has stands is only Tom has stands is only two hours long. Nice for a Game Boy Advance game. That's short. Yeah, Boy, like original Game Boy, I'd accept that, but in advance. I mean, hell, there's a lot of Game Boy. Or there was a lot of Game Boy games that go a lot longer than two hours too. Like, most of the friggin' RPGs that were on the world, well, obvious reasons, but... Um, fuck, I'm trying to think what else. Yep! Okay, that's not what I expected to happen with that arrow. I mean, Mario Bros. DX uh, had a hell of a lot more than two hours of gameplay, I'm sure, for the What should I do? Should I go to the cookie, or should I try to get to the either the next boss or the next save point? Now let's just see what the initial chat reaction is. It's kind of cool to watch just for the like motions of it all, but I've I've seen a couple people asking for. I have seen a lot more cookies than finish the fights. That's fair. Well, finish the boss fight. I guess it should be. Yeah, there now now the cookies start coming. Wow, the block didn't even really do that good a job blocking. Now let's see who this spooky knight really is. It was Johnny Bravo! <laughs> Whoa. What am I doing here? Oh my- oh my god! Oh. Well, that works too. Good news, we're dead. Well, looks like we ain't getting back the game. Fast. The game over screen is just a sad jack. 
Is there supposed to be a way to get through that pounder? Uh, run better, I guess? <clears throat> you can run! Run good. I made Jack cry. Sad Jack to the void. <laughs> Gotta get back. Back to the happiness. Sadder ride, Jack. All right. God damn it. You guys, get to <laughs> you guys get to choose games as well, by the way. So what are your game choices? Oh, right. Um, that's why I was on your backlog. Right. Oh, uh, what the hell? Oh, uh, give me a second. Mm-hmm. Ryan, what about you? Uh, I'll toss up Iggy's Wrecking Balls. I wanted to last time. All right. All right. Ryan's, or sorry, Dan's still signing. Ryan says Iggy's Wrecking Balls for the N64 and the following five games, starting with... Are you shitting me? Yeah. Samurai Jack, the Amulet of Time for the Game Boy Advance! What? Yes. <laughs> <Boy? laughs> yes. I'm not kidding! That actually came up! Alright! That actually fun. came up! It is your destiny, foolish samurai! That w It wasn't even the last game in the rotation! How the fuck did that happen? <laughs> Alright, whatever! Game number two! Nice. Mike Piazza Strike Zone for the N64. Game number three. Oh my god, it's Samurai Jack Amulet of Time. <laughs> Delta Zeal for Steam. Delta Zeal? What, like, like Queen Zeal from Chrono Trigger? I guess. Uh, literally, what are the odds of that? Probably about one in like 4,500? Yeah, I was about to say, how many games do you own? Well, I'm trying to think of how many, like, the. I think the cookie has 5,300 games in it, but I take out a bunch of consoles, which is probably equivalent to about 300. May, probably, might not even be that high. It actually might be 5,000 or 5,200, whatever. Either way. Game, let me just see. Uh, here. This is the games we, the systems we currently don't have on the cookie uh, the Vita, the PS4, 3DS downloads and virtual console handheld, uh. E Reader, Wonder Swan, Neo Geo Pocket Color, uh, the 32X, the Virtual Boy, the Game Gear, the TurboGrafx 16, the Master System, the Lynx, Game and Watch, Vectrex, Arcade, and Atari. Uh, game number four Wolfenstein for the Xbox 360. This was the one done by Raven Software, the guys who did X Men Origins Wolverine, I believe. And last but not least. Ghost Trick Phantom Detective for the DS. Ooh, that's a really good game. <laughs> Why no PS4 out of curiosity? Because it's upstairs in the living room. Um, all right, I think I got my game. What's your game? Uh, Disney's Goofy's Fun House for the PS1. All right, Disney's Goofy's Fun House for the PlayStation 1 is Dan's choice. And you've seen the rest. I I have no idea what the hell that game is. I'm sure it's gonna be bad. <laughs> All right, copy. All right, well, I feel Still. like Iggy doesn't have a chance. <laughs> <laughs> On this list, probably not. All right, I've sent it to the void. If you can't, click the link in the chat. Type in the link on screen, that's how you can vote. I'm going to vote for this, but I'm pretty sure currently in the lead is... Okay. Disney's Goofy's Funhouse for the PlayStation 1. 140 votes, 39%, and rising. Samurai Jackson's second place. 118 votes, 25%. Third place is Ghost Trick. 113 votes, 21%. Fourth place, Wolfenstein, 49 votes, 9%. Then it uh, gets a little sad from there. Iggy's Wrecking Balls, 22 votes, 4%. Mike Piazza Strike Zone, 13 votes, 2%. Delta Zeal, 8 votes, 1%. 676 votes so far. 275 now for Goofy, 188 for Samurai Jack. <laughs> to be fair, a Disney game was a smart counterpick against an ironic joke. <laughs> touche, Maya, touche. I was originally going to go Duke Nukem Time to Kill originally, because that's a really fun 3D Duke game, but then I just looked up and I was like, all right, this has to do it. This has to be it. 
All right, what's the gap between these two now? It's a little under 100 votes. If we can get it back up to 100, I might push it here. It's at 806 right now for total votes. 319, 320 for Goofy, 223 for Samurai Jack. Actually, you know what? It's at 100, jo 100 jokes, 100 votes. I think it's a mercy kill. We've hit 100 jokes, guys. We're set for syndication. There you go. Perfect. Regular Seinfeld. Disney's Goofy's Fun House is the winner. Buckle up for some goo. Although that's more banjo again. I don't know why I keep doing that. Because this is more of a. This is more of a. Oh, Porsche. Oh, that, yeah, that was like a mix between the two. All Max, right. What are you doing in your room? <laughs> why is the door locked, man? Get out of my no, room, okay. Dad! <laughs> all right, all right. Getting a little too real here now. <laughs> a little too dark. I'm surprised neither one of you were like. My ex, I gotta tell you about your mom. <laughs> uh, where did we leave off here? Dad, we're both just as shocked as you are someone actually had sex with you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I guess I don't need to have the talk no more. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, I think we left off a cheat coder for three months. Hippo Man 87 for 24, Draco 8 for 11, Night MC3 for 11, 36 Chamber for 19. Toad style is immensely strong and immune to nearly any weapon. When it's properly used, it's almost <laughs> invincible. Uh, Trombones Pratty for 23. Uh, I always butcher your name, too. Pokias. Pokias? P-O-C-I-A-S. Pokias for 9. Ume Colpaw for 3. Scotty the Boy Chin Wonder for 9. Just King Dion for new sub. One more thing for 29. Gel 89 for 6. Aximin for 2. Blitzkrieg, Blitzkrieg Brad for 28. Hatters subbed. Jonathan B. Game. I, I think that... Yeah, no, that the spelling is Hatters. Okay. Uh, Jonathan B. Game for 19. The Happy Mew for 9. Hunter Gore. Hunter G... Yeah, no, Hunter Gore 23 for 2. Wolf Samurai for 43. Can't wait to see you and everybody else at Con Bravo next week. Terrible games in hand. Wolf, I've been warned that you and uh, John, NY Video Game Freak, have a disgusting amount of quality games ready for me for stream, so I don't know how to feel about this. Artemis for 28. Alex Gill, 313 subbed. Logan Grump for 4. Bad games will always be fate. And Dragonfire for 44. Thanks a lot, guys. Your egg is courtesy of... It should have been Maniacal. Double check, make sure this is indeed Maniacal's eggs. They are. We've got <coughs> Egg Journal, House Egg, and Wesker Says Part 4. Chris. Took my journal. I did not. Chris. You get a minus for misconduct. Give Wesker back his journal. One more time. Chris. We'll have to change your name to minus. What is this from? The Shark Boy and Lava Girl? The only thing that tipped me off that it could have even been that was when they said Mr. Electric. House Egg. It's nighttime in a kitchen just like yours. All is quiet. <clears throat> or is it? Well, sorry, Kuza, looks like your this American is gonna play first. Egg is found throughout Canada and the eastern United States. House Egg are very timid creatures and are rarely seen. But they will defend their territory if provoked. They come out at night to search for food, water, and materials for their nests. The favorite foods of the house Egg. are chips, raisins, and Chris. They Wait. build their nests in bedroom closets using lost mittens, <laughs> dryer lint, and DNA. The nests have to be very soft and warm. House Egg sleep about 16 hours a day. All right, so the only people who probably know what that actually is are any Canadians in the audience. Uh, the North American House, hip house Hippo is a, an old public service announcement. I think it was actually for, like, getting exercise or something like that, watching less TV. Uh, I feel bad for the Kuza who sent, I believe it was on Wednesday's stream, or maybe even last Saturday, sent a bunch of Canadian PSAs, and that was one of them, but we didn't end up playing it. So <laughs> I just saw him in the chat going, Wait! Fuck! 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 Wait, that's what that PSA was for? I believe. It's been a long time <laughs> since I've seen it. I don't even know if they... I doubt they aired it anymore. 
Yeah, uh, I remember seeing it when I was younger, but I didn't ever recall like, a point to it. It was just like, hey, it's a house hippo. Oh, it was for false advertising. Never mind. <laughs> it was for don't believe everything you see. Okay. Uh, Maniacal also sent a Wesker says, but it's also three minutes long, so I think we should just save that for later. Uh, we're going to go to a break, and when we come back from break, we're going to be playing <laughs> Disney's Goofy's Funhouse. Jesus. <laughs> See you guys in a bit. You did this, chat. Uh, anyway. Not while I'm still giggling like a goddamn idiot. Questions? You're too excited. <laughs> I don't know if I'm excited enough. I don't even- I saw one- I saw a single picture of this game. And that was on Wikipedia. And well, obviously, and Google search. It looks <clears throat> like it exists. That's the best way to put it. How will you die next time we link to the past? <clears throat> some way. Some way. I'll find a way. Why is this stream possibly the last cookie? Before Con Bravo. That's next weekend. And Wednesday streams are something else. Fiesta or whatever it is. So. No, Danny Enigma did this. Hey, I didn't do shit. You guys voted on it. It didn't have to win. Do you enjoy being the local shit stirrer? Hell yeah. How terrible will the Punjabi prison match be? Eh, it's, a, it's a gimmick match in WWE between two guys who just had like the same, the exact same title match. Does Canada have summer? Fucking, come on guys, yes we do. <laughs> we have like six months of it and the sun never goes down. Come on. <laughs> It's surprising no one kept telling you guys to put Splatoon 2 or Dream Daddy Simmons choices as they came out this week. Oh, is it? Um... I would say fuck that noise for Dream Daddy Sim because... Game Grumps. What's the worst game you've ever played? Uh, Yu Yu Hakusho Spirit Detective. That game I speedrun! You should check him out sometime- I mean, what? Pie or cake, what's your favorite kind? Apple Strawberry pie. rhubarb. Apple pie. Because I'm American. Apple pie's too bland. Canadian summer's trash because of how hot it is. It actually can be, yeah. Especially if you're stuck in, like, the landlocked portion. Our weather is not okay. Why is your voice different than what I thought it would be? Uh... I don't know. What do you think my voice is gonna sound like? If you hate it, why do you run it? Yeah, gotta have, <clears throat> gotta start somewhere, right? Did you say we have six months of summer? That's being extremely generous. <laughs> yeah, because we're in the Arctic Circle, where like the sun never leaves the sky. You no, know, dude, dude we, have, we have, like, three months... <laughs> no, we have, like, four months of summer, a <laughs> month and a half of, like, uh... Yeah, a month and a half of, like, spring and fall. Maybe even less than that, honestly. And then the rest is just winter. Yeah. <laughs> we have a shit ton of winter here, is what I'm saying. Uh, talk about game design. I have a graduate uh, bachelor's degree in game art as focused as an animator. I don't get to do a lot of animations right now, but that's what I want to do. Will you be the local asshole and suggest Dream Daddy? No, I'll be the local asshole and not suggest it. Uh, you probably shouldn't do that anyways, because I don't own it. Yeah. There you go, chat. There's your answer. But Luca does. Yeah. <laughs> that is true. But her games aren't on the cookie. <laughs> favorite childhood game? Uh, probably Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2, actually. Good choice. It's what I practiced on when we did the Pro Skater 3 challenge, so. Alright, um, let's knock out these couple quick do- <laughs> I just noticed who one of the donations was from. Uh, alright, a couple quick donations and we'll get to, uh, Goofy's Funhouse. 
Uh, Sweet Lou says, I'm trying to study for my first anatomy exam of grad school, and your streams are calming me down. Thanks for being awesome, John. Have a blast at BravoCon. It's, I don't know why people would say that. It's actually Con Bravo. But I think BravoCon is something completely different. I have a feeling there is, in fact, a BravoCon somewhere. But uh, we'll be at Con Bravo next weekend. Uh, Throne Control, is from, as far as I know of, is being streamed. So there's that. And supposedly it's a two-hour time <coughs> slot. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, Captain Joe with a very generous donation saying, Sup, John? My head coaching interview was pushed back to next week, which is a good thing since I was a bunch of nerves yesterday. Here's to an epic fortune cookie, dude. Well, we've already had the same game that we were playing come up immediately, so it's a sign. Philip Plays Live says, So I saw Christopher Nolan's Dunkirk in IMAX 70mm film at the Franklin Institute in Philadelphia on Thursday, and I loved every bit of it. Gotta say, Dunkirk, a great survival film that must be seen in a theater and in IMAX if you can. No ifs, ands, or buts. I love how you went down to the detail of the 70 millimeter film on that. Like you, you like you like heavy name dropped just then on that film. There is no BravoCon. I googled it. Oh, I don't know if I'm disappointed in that or not. It's uh, just, it would just be a Johnny Bravo fan convention. And last but not least. <laughs> Fucking Aku himself has donated and says, Unfortunately, this Streamlabs doohickey cannot contain the almighty Aku! So you will have to settle for a link to my message to you, Jonathan, the wannabe samurai fool who failed to slay Aku. <laughs> it's not even that much bigger than what you just wrote! How did this not fit? <clears throat> Hello, Jonathan! <laughs> I see you have failed to aid Jack in his pathetic little quest. For you, this may seem like the end of the world, but for me, it is real. It really is nothing. So go on, continue your live stream, play your silly little games, give your brethren your eggs. But know this: for as long as you sheathe your sword, you shall never undo the future that is Aku. <laughs> Gotta get back, back to the past, samurai John. Man, that that hurt my throat. That wasn't even me trying that hard. Ouch. All right. But that's it. That's all we got for donations. Thank you guys for donating. Let's go <laughs> to the game that we... I'm not even hitting the button now. I'm stalling as long as possible. Let's do it. <laughs> Disney's Goofy's Funhouse. There's not much on Wikipedia under reception, but it apparently received mixed to positive reviews if it makes you feel any better. Mixed to positive. Interesting. GameSpot gave it a 7.4 out of 10. IGN gave it a 7.5. And GameRankings.com rated it 89.33%. Jeez. Uh, apparently this includes six classy Goofy cartoons. Oh! So there we're are, just gonna watch all six of those, right? There are fifteen environments to explore, five challenging mini games, and six classic Goofy cartoons. Goofy's prized photographs are missing some items. Can you help him find them? What is this monkey doing? He's putting the code there was actually a company called the Code Monkeys? I thought that was just a G4 show. Apparently there was literally a company called the Code Monkeys. Huh. Does Code Monkey like yeah, tab a Mountain Dew? Goofy here, and uh, so are you. I bet. How many people have actually watched that show? Hang on, Goofy's talking like to us. Goofy's talking to us. You know, where I watch all my favorite home movies. <laughs> but, uh, I got a little bit of a problem. Uh oh. You see, there are some things missing from my movies, and I sure could use your help in finding them. These five pictures here show you the things that are missing from each movie. If you find all the missing items, we can sit down and watch the movies together. <laughs> yep. Yep. So our prize for finding all of his missing items are we literally get to watch the cartoons. We are earning the right to watch these cartoons with Goofy. I would love to watch a Goofy cartoon with Goofy commentary. I think that would be incredible. <laughs> This is the song. Let's get set for action. <laughs> they tried to kill me with a forklift. Ole. <laughs> Yuck. <laughs> <laughs> Mystery Space Goofy 3000. It's just Mickey, Donald, and Goofy just ripping apart the, the cartoons. 
Uh... Hey, let's play a new game. All right, let's see. It defaults to difficulty e. Oh, it's one of those games that only has easy and hard as their difficulties. All right. All right. What are the controls? X to jump, square to action, triangle to run, and circle to show items. I'm gonna be honest, that goofy model during the little cutscene actually looks pretty good. Oh, oh, well, you might change- Oh my god, his walk cycle is the best walk cycle in the world. I'm watching. <laughs> I'm not taking my sneakers off. I am sneakers Ooh, off. I don't know why I thought that. Dude, the pictures of them. Ain't so nothing gonna take swag. my pride. Ain't nothing gonna slow me down. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I got to keep on moving. We got it. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it. <laughs> Let's see what his run cycle is. <laughs> this needs its own gif. <laughs> Apparently, the square button is walk over to a door and open it. He's saying jump on the bear's head. Quit uh, playing with me, I'll tell you what. Why is the fireplace glowing like 30 colors? <laughs> it's goofy. <laughs> I sure do have a lot of books. Maybe we should read some of them. Gooby's like, I sure do have a lot of books. Maybe we should read some of them. What? Close to oh, and Yo, I, I need to... Oh, come on. He's not going to do it now. One of his animations for when he... He just kind of shrugs. I sure do have a lot of books. Uh, Maybe we should uh, read some of them. I don't know how to get this that thing TV up there. needs some tuning. We, we tuned the TV. We did it. Did it actually get you any video? Oh my god, it did. Yep. Can I, can I don't I know read? how you're supposed to get that one on the bookshelf, though. I don't know either. I wonder what Maybe time it's like Link to the Past. You just gotta get a running start wow. at and bonk it off. That seems, sweet... like a... that seems like a... Oh my god! Aw, oh, that only... Let's turn on the stereo. Amazing. Fucking amazing. Totally worth it. Game of the year. <laughs> this goofy is before <laughs> his whole disco phase er, in an extremely goofy movie. Like, this is the predecessor to where he got his sick moves from. Wait, when did this come out? 2001. This was after, never mind. Well, we've left our goofy house. Now we're gonna <laughs> mow the lawn. I, I ran over my feet with the lawnmower. Nice. Hey, a film jam. Oh, please do the sideshow bob thing with the rake. I didn't see a rake. You didn't? All right. Uh, oh, there like we go. I see, I see it now. I was too distracted with the lawnmower. Sorry. Ow. I did it backwards. I'm sorry. Let me try this ah. the correct. Let me try it the correct Ow. way. Much better. Well, let's go to Goofy's doghouse apparently, because he has one. Whoa! What's Where did that? Max go? The Probably in college. Can. This was 2001, like a year after Jimmy Goofy. We were going by the deep Disney Goofy Ooh, cannon. You know? It's Bowser's house. I say as I adjust my glasses like a Go scholar. Goofy has uh. a dog named Bowser. <clears throat> yeah, that sounds about right. I think Nintendo's about to order a cease and desist. I don't have a copyright on the name. Yeah, good luck winning against Disney. <laughs> well, I have a high, I have a team of ten high-priced lawyers. Water, water everywhere. Mmm, look at this lovely. <laughs> look at this fucking hexagon of water we got going here. Isn't Goofy a dog himself? He's a dog man. I don't fucking know. Can we get the lawnmower to run over the sprinkler? Can we get the lawnmower to run over the rake? Mow that water for me, lawnmower. 
It, it did. It actually stopped in the, the sprinkler. This is an electrical disaster waiting to happen. Goofy is, is dog man, but it's Pluto. Just dog. Ow! Dance, water, dance! I guess that's all we're gonna get out of that lawnmower. What is this? Oh, that's the sprinkler system, right? I turn that back on. It looked like a hatchet stuck in a board for a second there. Uh, we already stepped on the rake pixel. It just knocks him back. He doesn't grumble like Kelsey Grammer said. Like, shake the fruit tree. Do you think maybe something will fall down? I still think one of my favorite scenes in <clears throat> Simpsons is just when there's just the field of rakes in the parking lot. And every time. It hits every <laughs> single one of them, yeah. And he grumbles every time. <laughs> so good. What if we shake the fruit tree? Is this a, a robotic bumblebee chasing me? Down? It is. You know they say by the laws of aviation. That's a stupid meme. It is a stupid meme. <clears throat> Alright, well what else can we do in Goofy's weird ass house? Mixed to positive reviews, huh? I'm having fun with it. <laughs> I'm gonna get my coat. I'm gonna get my golfing hat. Hell yeah, we did it. We got a golfing hat. <coughs> Sorry. And a I mean, vacuum cleaner. One of the uh, cartoons is like how to play golf, I think. Probably. There was a bunch of really good goofy sport ones. Oh yeah, there was. There was a bunch of good ones on like on House of Mouse. I still love the one picture, the, the one gif radio, of Goofy. Well, maybe we'll hear He's answering the door, and it's just like a milkman. <laughs> and they're just kissing him like right on the lips. It just has the most the shocked radio, look. Maybe we'll hear some news about what that the hell just happened? Quiz. Hang on, I need I need to hear what Goofy's saying here. If we turn on the kitchen radio, maybe we'll hear some news about that phone quiz. There's a phone quiz? Alright, let's go to the kitchen radio. Ah, there's breakfast. Let's eat breakfast. Let's lightly slap nope. breakfast. He just said nope to breakfast. Fuck you, Goofy. <coughs> eat your damn breakfast. Meh. <coughs> oh, good, but I can turn on the blender. Just can't eat breakfast. What a mess. <laughs> What a mess. <laughs> Let's make some coffee. Let's turn on the toaster. Let's turn on the stereo. Toasted film cam. in the kitchen with Daisy. Nope, I gotta go I gotta go call. I think. At least I think so. Let me try to figure out. Where's my phone? Why is it in a completely different room? Huh? Hang on. We've been entered into a phone quiz. Oh we got a phone boy. quiz. Oh boy. What color is Donald Duck's hat? What color is Donald Red. Duck's hat? Red. Blue. Blue. Green. Green. Duck. Yep. Mickey a giant ass check mark. <laughs> What's her name? Mickey Mouse Minnie. has a girlfriend. What's Mandy. her name? Minnie, Mandy, Myrtle. or Myrtle? <laughs> yep. What are the names of Donald Duck's what nephews? What color is Mario's hat? What, what are the names of Donald Larry, Duck's nephews? Larry, Harry, Barry, and Larry. Larry Nettie, Eddie, Harry, Nettie, and Teddy. Or Huey, <laughs> Dewey, and Louie. Yo, Puppet Master yep. got the gift of Dancing Where Goofy. Nice. Where do you wear a golfing hat? Head. Hands, legs. head, or legs. Yep. What Thanks, Goofy. A golf ball with a golf club. What do you hit a golf ball a with? Golf a head. golf club, a golf caddy, a golf cart. or a golf cart? Yo, golf yep. would be like twenty times Why more interesting if the caddy was the club. 
Nice. Outlaw Golf, man. Oh, we've been entered into a phone quiz. Oh boy! Everyone, be quiet. I believe Mr. Woods is concentrating. <laughs> and there it goes—a 300 yard. You can hear that thing scream. No, Quiet. I think that's just the caddy, Bob. Mm -hmm. Right? What oh, pattern does Minnie Mouse have on her skirt dress? Plaid, stripes, or polka dots? Yep. Polka dots. What do you cut the grass with? What do you cut the grass Head with? Trimmers? Hedge trimmers? A lawnmower? A lawnmower? Scissors? Or scissors? Yep. What room in a house? I mean, if you really want that precise in. cut. What the room in a house room. is for sleeping in? The bathroom? The kitchen? The kitchen. The or the bedroom. <laughs> all of them. Yeah, all that is, that is the correct answer. I have slept in all. What is the name of Mickey Mouse's dog? Pluto. Mouser, Hauser, Pluto, or Bowser? <laughs> yep. What color are Mickey Mouse's pants? What color are Mickey Black. Mouse's pants? Black. Red. Red. Yellow. Yellow. Yep. We did it. We, no, it's just gonna keep calling me for trivia stuff whenever now, I guess. That's just the thing. We didn't even get a canister for it. I'm gonna awkwardly walk away from here. I'm gonna go to bed. Go back to the golf caddy golf thing. You think of a golfer. What is season? this picture of Pluto? Oh my god, what is this pic? Why is this picture of Goofy what? like super excited about this picture of Pluto? What the uh, fuck is happening here? Damn. Why is it hung so central? Like, why is it such a big photo hung, like, like, Laser, my just plans. right in the center there, like, right above the fish tank? Why are his legs spread? Why does he look so, like... Why does he look so pleased? It's like, oh, stop. <laughs> Fucking Goofy's grabby hand in his picture, just, like, going towards Pluto, looks real awkward. You think they're connected? You know, some folks have green thumbs. Yes, I got a green glove. <laughs> yep. You know, for <laughs> kids. What's going on in there? Yeah. Well, I guess we can't go in that room. Just going back to the golf caddy is a golf club thing. You think of a golfer ever missed a shot or just went in the drink, like they smashed the caddy like an actual club. Oh my god, there's a picture of Max! The yeah, there's actually a picture of Max. I keep my golfing pants in here. Forward or exit? Pluto, what are you doing? Come back here with the key, boy. Thanks for breaking into my house, by the way. We need that key, Pluto. Come here, boy. Come here, boy. Don't make me post those photos. Now, where's that critter going? Play game. Get the key, please wait. I guess we're about to play uh, whack-a-mole. Why was Pluto in Goofy, Goofy's closet? That is a very good question. Goofy would tell you, but then he'd have to kill you. Mm -hmm. He didn't break in, he was escaping. <laughs> I'm assuming we're about to play Whack-A-Mole anyways. Hey look, a mole in a hole! <laughs> hmm, we missed him! Oh, uh, this, <laughs> this is awkward controls as fuck. So, here's where the mixed part of mixed to positive comes into play. Yeah. We got it. Oh, hey, got one. Yep, but he's got a headache. We got the key because we jumped on his head three times. I guess. Cool. You, you did it. Now Quest we can complete. get into the wardrobe to get my golfing pants. So this is what Toontown was before it became an MMO, right? <laughs> we won so well, it says win twice. It's win-win. <laughs> We're just that good at being goofy. I got the key and I committed animal cruelty. It's a win-win. Oh no. That animal brought it upon himself. Dovey, is that what I think it is? No, no. Uh, oh no, it is! Hell yeah, I'm so excited for video break later. Yes! <laughs> Alright, now let's let's get our golfing pants. We got our golfing hat and our pants. We're doing great. Maybe we should have left it alone. 
What, what did we just break? What just attacked us? Um. Huh. Yeah, I'm not so sure on that one. No, oh, Goofy and his weird gorsh. <laughs> well, hiya, Apparently, Goofy. Goofy's wife was named May. <laughs> well, May? Hiya, Goofy. Apparently. <laughs> well, hiya, I mean, when you Goofy. live in a house with with someone as psychotic as Goofy, maybe it's children. <laughs> Mayday! <laughs> Mayday! <laughs> Can you tell him having fun with this game? <laughs> oh yeah, totally. Are you I, having fun with it though? That's I'm not. Question. I'm not sure. <laughs> you want me to hear it? <laughs> this is not what I expected, especially like looking at the uh, the back of the CD case. They showed like a driving mini game, and I want to do that. Maybe you gotta get through some some of this house stuff to get there. <clears throat> Just remember, Dan, someone had a kid with Goofy. Hey, She's man, dead. You? That is true. Train. And it got dark again. Alright, gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Joker. Wait, Goofy has a son? <laughs> oh my god, this is very clearly Max's room. Who's- clearly Oh, what the fuck is that?! What, the two posters? No, 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 not Powerline or whatever the fuck his name is. What the fuck?! That's the one! Um, there it is. Um, Goofy. This is starting to form a bit of a- I can't even say it's a pattern here, but... Uh, we're- We're starting to get worried about you, Goofy. Look, this is his son's room! <laughs> he just looks real confused by this poster. So the Roxanne thing was just a front, huh? Oh, here we go. Here's a better. Here's a better way to get the goofy uh, dancing gif. And I'll have this weird flexing poster too. Yowza, yowza. My god, there are so many, like, power line posters. Holy shit. Maxie sure has some fun toys. Maxie sure has some fun toys. Thanks, Goofy. Oh my god! Oh, hell yeah! Goofy knows how to rock. Well, those sure are about to rock. We roll. salute you. Rock and roll, Goofy. Everyone's favorite. Fun fact: Max broke his leg about two yeah, years before okay. Goofy movie, and the only fun he had was spying on the neighbors. <laughs> ride his six. Story. Can I ride his six skateboard? Come on, you can't taunt me with a skateboard and tell me it won't do anything. Come on now, game. There it is! Much better. Yes, yes, I'm really worried about all these plants that Goofy learns how to tickle. Yes. Did you see the one time uh, Ian streamed that Goofy skateboarding game? No. Oh my god, it was such a bad game. It was like one of those, I think it was like- Is that, is that the series. Disney Extreme Sports game? Uh, no, it was like oh, just a goofy game. skateboarding game on the PC like in 2000. Oh, wow. Yeah. This game is currently beating Rocket League Pokemon and Mario Kart. Excellent. That's the shit I like to hear. What is this? Ow. That... Max has an Atari. Cool. Net only has tic tac toe in it, apparently. Ow. Time to get bodied in tic tac toe. I can't believe the controls for tic tac toe are this awful. One of those sentences you think you'd never hear. The AI just let me win. That's how good this tic tac toe is. Hooray! Win! Playing with toy we got an achievement. <laughs> it just says win! It just keeps flashing the word win over and over. You all win all. Ha ha ha. 
You are a winner. Oh. Oh, what a reference. <laughs> you are a winner. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's I your like lucky day. With toy <laughs> it's your lucky day, little girl. What? What are these cubes doing? What is this creepy ass clown? <laughs> Why is there a creepy ass clown in the corner? This game isn't about goofy cartoons, it's just a deep look into Goofy's psyche. Hey, there's a clown game. Creepy clowns, thinking his son is gay, murder. Well, maybe not that last part. We're still pretty early in the game, man. Give it time. Are we? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I like playing with toy trains. No, I like playing with toy trains. The Father yeah. Master got the- oh, he got the one of in front of the poster. Excellent. <laughs> yes. Uh, I might be stuck. I might- I might be stuck. Nope, there we go, we're out. I mean, we've got 29 canisters, so... Yeah, can we actually, like, can do some stuff? We Where are these mini games? Gotta do, get that back in frame there for a second. And give it one more good old goofy dance. <laughs> <laughs> that one's for good measure. The fucking poster. God damn it. I know how to get to the driving mini game, says Derek. Alright, I'm curious. These are my plants. You know, well, while you tell me about that, I'm gonna go upstairs to the attic, I guess. Or I guess this is where Goofy's room would be. No, it was the attic! It is actually the attic! Don't go up there, that's where all the bodies are! I was kidding, there was a ghost up there. That's where the bodies were, Dan. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> yowza, yowza! Jump on the, the driving board. game is the boxing equipment. What? <laughs> what? Uh, some more details on that statement, please. We could jump on the floorboard. It's a g -g 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 dead guy. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's now I get it. I just jump from here or do I have to jump off the box? Nope, we can do that. Breaking all the goofy shit! Why does he have a box that says T? What? What is this green box? It has Goofy's name on it. I'm trying to figure out what the heck it is. Goofy age three! That's a big fucking box for three years old. Behind those crates! I want to see what's in the Goofy Age 3 box. Baby's first murder weapon. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. TNT. No, I think that's probably like Bugs Bunny instead. Dynamite. Rocking horse. Get on the rocking horse, Goofy. Or pat on the ass, that works too. Look at this sad skeleton. Whoa. That's amazing. Look how sad the skeleton looks. Oh, you're kinda goofy. Uh, we are patting it on the crotch, at least on the pelvis here, so. You're kinda goofy. <laughs> he, just, he just keeps saying, You're kinda goofy while he's patting that skeleton's crotch. Goofy, you might have a problem. You know, for kids. <laughs> you're kinda goofy. <laughs> That's his pickup line. Well, I guess that's everything we can do up here. Alright, and we've done all the rooms up here. That we can, because we can't get in this one yet. I wonder what's going on in there? <laughs> Someone's in the bathroom, so we can't go to the bathroom. Wait, who's, who could possibly be in the bathroom? Max Goof donated? Oh my god, he did. 
Dad, you weren't supposed to see, Dad, you weren't supposed to see that poster. Dad, I have something I need to tell you. That poster in my room means something. I'm a JoJo fan. Start to cry. <laughs> Power of my stand, eye to eye. We can watch some of my favorite home movies here. <laughs> we need ham, sausages, and blue ribbon to apparently get this one. If we fire up the furnace, we can defrost the refrigerator. Wait, what? If we fire up the furnace, we can defrost the refrigerator? <laughs> Huh. Why is that a thing you'd want to do? Mm hmm. Look, I'm pretty sure Rocky isn't quite straight. <laughs> oh, these are all the driving ones we need, I guess. Didn't we see my boxing gloves back oh, in I guess the this is what I meant by boxing equipment. How much of the golfing stuff do we have? We need the trophy. Goofy's fun house. Oh, win the trophy! Oh man, we're playing golf. We are playing golf. We're playing golf to win the trophy. We're here on the 18th hole. Goofy has quite the selection of caddies to choose from. Which one will achieve the best result? Okay, I think I've pieced it all together. The skeleton in, in the attic is Goofy's twin, whom he murdered for more attention from his mom. The green box is his first victim. Oh my god. Holy shit, this is... Oh, wow. Wow, okay, let's do it. It's a sunny day. <laughs> That's impossible, it's Goofy's dead wife. I like how the, how the camera doesn't follow the ball. Yeah, so I'm just hoping I did good. It's like real golf. Not too much. Before you, I was about to say in before you got the eagle from the fucking bunker. We got a bird D. How many hole do we don't please tell me we don't have to play all sixteen. That would be awful. Eighteen you mean? Yes, yeah, sorry, I don't know why I said sixteen. It might be like three or uh, like usually whenever we see golf mini or golf. Oh, too games. much too much power. Yes, yes, too much raw goof. That's a nice looking tro uh, that's a nice looking story you got there. Gorsh, it'd be a shame if something birdie. would happen to it. Going. Gorsh, a birdie. Oh god damn it. United States of Goofy donates and says, Nice on, Hulk. You tell me I'm actually gonna be able to shoot through that tree? I don't believe you. So I'm gonna do it anyways. an actual Disney golf game on the PS2 that wasn't terrible. Disney golf game on PS2? I don't remember that. Yeah, I remember like my uh, my dad uh, bought it for his stepdaughter, I think. Great how, how long ago we came out? Like, we got an eagle! It's like 12 years. You actually... Wow. Please tell me that's not going to end up being another Kermit Legion. Oh man, that's a super old joke, the United States of blank. It was of nice on, usually. That that yeah, can't that's... be a Kermit Legion joke. It was before Kermit Legion. Yeah, that was during. That was like one of the first Danger Squad challenges, wasn't it? That was the first one I was on. It was the second one, period. Right. <laughs> yeah, that was Mario Golf Game Boy Color, wasn't it? Mm hmm. And we, we, have we settled on what we're doing in the new group yet for a challenge? I don't think we have. No, we haven't. There's some ideas a getting tossed, but... A lot of ideas, yeah. I, I imagine that some we can probably talk about at Bravo. Yeah. Good going. Uh... Can't Not like not... make a final decision, but we, it'll be easier say... to hash out an idea. Let's change say I'm not fair, though. Guys, I think it actually wants me to do all 18 holes. Well... Should we just go to the cookie? Any as you want. 
I think I've gotten, I think I've squeezed about as much, like, actual good jokes out of this as I can. Quote unquote good. Get to nine to see. <laughs> United States of Kermit says, It is now, John! Ha <laughs> ha! You did this to yourself, chat. You Kermit in the wrong neighborhood, motherfucker! Ha <laughs> ha! Oh shit, we got an eagle off that shot. Nice. Alright, well if we keep going like this, then maybe it won't be that bad to get the nine. Wait, that was only your second shot, wasn't it? Yeah, uh, it was a par four. Oh, I thought it was a par five. I was about to say albatross, I thought. What is this danger squad stuff? Can I get a link? Uh, it doesn't really exist anymore. It's not active anymore. It was a challenge group I was in with a bunch of other YouTubers and streamers. So we, uh, we're going to be rebooting it into our own version. And uh, Juker is currently heading it up, I guess, for lack of a better term. Yeah, like organizing, I guess. I talked about wanting to bring it back for quite a while, and so did Juker. So I think we just agreed that he to take more things off my hands and give me less to worry about, he would just do it. Finger Squad's dead already. Yeah, we, like, ever, like, in Super Busy... Like, we just never had another idea, I guess. Like, I had a couple ideas, but, like, we couldn't, we, or, I couldn't really think of if they were good or not. <clears throat> like, we just never, he never got back to me on that. Are you meeting Emil and Tim at Com Bravo? Uh, Yes, because we're running throne controllers. <laughs> <laughs> How do you compare this game, golfing game to Mario Golf? Well, I haven't had to aim, so it's easier. There's no wind. Also that. <laughs> you know those guys? <laughs> no, John is flying solo this time. Surprise. TRG stream or no? No! <laughs> Where would we stream from? The hotel room? Oh, Goofy wins! For John. Just do an IRL TRG stream, dude. Obviously. <laughs> Just stream from your phone. Guys, we did it. We won the trophy. Any chance you guys, you and the TRG guys are coming to MagWest at the end of August? No, I don't think we're going to do it, Dion. It, uh, it's just such a weird time slot because it's like a week or two before PAX South, or sorry, PAX West. And I'm also going to TwitchCon as well this year. So that's a lot of cons in a short amount of time. The great pro proton migration of 2017. We did it. We got the trophy. If you want to watch one of my home movies? <laughs> oh, we can watch the movie, but that's totally going to get us in trouble. <laughs> that's totally going to get us in trouble. I pressed the button. Oh no, I've done it. Oh no, I'm slowly 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 sliding. X put it into place. Please wait. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, Mr. Bill. Oh no. I'll get the popcorn. I would love some prop popcorn. Popcorn. <laughs> I would love some popcorn too. Whoa! Yeah, straight up. Yes. Opening credits and everything. Even the giant goofy face. Yes. And oh no, he's in the void. Oh no. Oh no, goofy. <laughs> oh no, goofy. <laughs> All right, fine. I'm done being an idiot. Let's go to the cookie. Gorge. Gorge. Uh, what do you guys want your games to be? Come back to me. All right. 
Eh, fuck it, we're doing a repeat anyways. I'll throw Skullgirls on again. <laughs> All right. Skullgirls for Steam. Uh, Dan's still deciding in the following five games. Game number one. Y y fuck it. Why the hell not? I've never played it before. Secret of Mana 2. Well, I have, but I don't remember it. Game number two. Barbie, Groom, and Glam Pups for the DS. Oh, God. Game number three. Digimon Battle Spirit for the Game Boy Advance. Wait, hold up. Battle Spirit. Why do I feel like that's an RPG? Uh, I'm pretty sure it's a fighting game. Oh, never mind. Yeah, you're right. Game number four. Star Wars Rebel Strike Rogue Squadron 3. I know it's supposed to be Rogue Squadron 3 Rebel Strike. I don't care. And last but not least for the random five. Shadowgate Classic for the Game Boy. Dan, what's your game? Uh, fuck it. Uh, Duke Nukem, time to kill. Duke Nukem, a time to kill for the Game Boy, or for the PlayStation 1. Yes, one. God, old Walt Disney animation was really slick. I'm watching the, the goofy cartoon on the side here. Dang it, Dan, you should have chosen Samurai Jack. No. It had its chance. It had its time in the spotlight. And it had a second chance, too. And then Goofy. Ah, uh, right. son of a bitch. Well, I can already tell where that's gone, then. I'm still gonna vote for this anyways, but currently in the lead, to no one's surprise, Barbie Groom and Glam Pups for the DS. Oh, I thought that woke up the cat for a second. He's, he yawned for a second. Uh, 157 votes and rising for Barbie. Second place is Digimon Battle Spirit, 98 votes, 19%. Third place is Skullgirls, 105 votes, 18%. Fourth place, Secret of Mana 2, 85 votes, 13%. Fifth place, Rogue Squadron 3, Rebel Strike, 59 votes, 9%, which is tied with Duke Nukem, Time to Kill. And Shadowgate Classic is in last place, 20 votes, 3%. 732 votes clock so far. The gap between Barbie and Digimon is 216 to 166. So it's not a blowout yet. Come on. Remember the Barbie rule, chat. Don't. The Barbie rule is don't. Yes. Don't. Don't Barbie. Whoa! I do not remember... <clears throat> wow! I do not remember old, like, Disney cartoons doing, like, the finger gun, like, blow your head out thing. Goofy just missed a, a putt in golf, and he literally... Did the finger gun to his head, pulled the trigger, and it exploded like an actual gun. Except it just turned into his like hand burning out like a gun was like blocked and exploded. Huh. Goofy triggered his persona, yeah, exactly. Uh I'm gonna put a timer on the clock because actually it looks like it might be a real fight. 233 to 208. Right, my phone's dead. Um I'll have to use my other timer. You guys have one minute starting now. I was about to say if you needed a timer. No, no, no. I've always got a backup. I just usually use my phone. All right. So right now it's 239 to 221. 2% apart right now. 40 seconds left on the clock. What will happen? Will it be Barbie? Or will it be Digimon? I just not, just not Barbie. Come on, guys. I believe we've actually streamed this game before, too, during the, the Barbie stream. That Reese and I did a long time ago. Oh, you mean the one where you fucking rigged the cookie? Yeah, the rigged cookie. All right, 20 seconds left on the clock. It's 251 to 237. It's going to be close. 1% on. rule at least is in play right now. Push that diggy mon. 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, three, two, one. I can't count, apparently. Oh, my God. It still ah! happened, though. Ah! 258 to 255. Holy Woo! shit. Holy shit. <laughs> Amazing.
Digimon are the champions! Digimon won! Yes. However, Barbie still gets a second chance next cookie, so don't cheer just yet. Barbie has a second chance. I'll find a way to blow it out of the water. Good luck. Alright, there you go. Barbie gets a second chance. Digimon is the game we're playing next. Digimon Battle Spirit, to be specific. Oh, by the way, guys, this is a bad Digimon game. Oh. <laughs> oh. Uh, Alright, but before we do that, let's drop a couple eggs. Starting with... My list not loading. That's what we're doing. Uh, Dude, is enough to blow that out, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, you got me. What? Hang on. I'm literally being accused of cheating at the counter. Yeah, Barbie did nothing wrong, it just wasn't as highly voted at the last second. Yeah. We make the rules. So, I guess to clarify for those, because apparently I'm being accused of cheating on my own stream, <laughs> uh, I was using the built-in <laughs> Windows clock, and I had to basically wait till it said 49 seconds, but for some reason at 46, or no, at 46, I said four seconds, or I said three twice. So I counted wrong, so that's where I fucked up. I, I did say zero at 49 seconds, so it was actually correct. Wah, Either way, Barbie still gets a second chance, so I'm not sure why they're upset. I mean, it was either going to be Digimon gets a second chance or Barbie gets a second chance. Like, either way, it's not like it's gone forever. That being said, hold my beer. All right, either way. Um, to be fair... You guys don't see my clock anyway. I could be straight up cheating all the time. You never know. Uh, <laughs> Alright. Uh, they from subbed. Perix 12 for 6 months. Clockwork Pegasus for 4. Toon Link 87 subbed. Mini Witch 3 for 12. SB Sam 18 for 10. Blue Choco for 33. Shogun Gundam 04 for 5. Big O Shen for 11. Corellia for 30. And Shadow Blades for 15. Thanks a lot, guys. Your egg. Um, I mean, it's technically not an egg. But I kind of want to watch it anyways. That's why we're going to do it. Alright, which one of these is set up for it? Or is it set up by default? It's already set up by default. Hell yeah. Uh, this is from Sephiroth, a.k.a. Dovey. <coughs> the end of Albert Wosker. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's so yeah. fucking stupid. It's so fucking dumb. I love it. Thank you, Dobie. <laughs> yeah. I love the sad woe after he's been exploded. I think that's what really makes it. Alright, uh, we'll see you guys in a bit for Digimon Battle Spirit. This is, I can't. I can't. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. I'll also be right back. I gotta go feed my cats. <laughs> okay. Alright, I guess I'm holding down the four for a moment. Chat, what do you got for me? Alright, does this goofy game save at all? I don't think it does. No, it does. How do I save? I gotta save all this sweet progress.
favorite Digimon. Oh, it's been a long ass time, but I remember really liking Guilemon from Gen 3. And Vmon. Vmon was really good too, because blue. What's my favorite anim Netflix animated show? I don't have Netflix, dude, so that doesn't apply to me. Apparently the Steam End music is from Jet Set Radio Future. Do you know what that song's called? I do not. Sorry. I played Jet Set Radio Future, but when I was like 11. And no, I'm not talking about Gallimon, or Guilemon, or Gielmon, or whatever. It was the red dino from uh, Gen 3. Skull Greymon, not bad. Free bro, what is best in life? Playing video games with your buds. That's the best thing that there is in life. Pokemon or Digimon? Uh... I liked Digimon more when I was young, but now that I've gone through Pokemon Moon again, Pokemon's more up on my mind. How did you and Dan become mods for John's stream? I can't talk for Dan, but John came down to uh, a couple of tournaments that I was helping to volunteer host here in Edmonton. And just sort of, Ben started watching his streams, asked to be on CoCom a couple times before I was mod, and eventually I think I got it, just so that I wouldn't have to hold push to talk. When yeah, I was uh, that was basically why you got modded, was because you were just like, <laughs> it's so annoying to commentate and push to talk. I'm like, alright, whatever, we'll do it. You, you forced yourself into being a mod. Now you're screwed. <laughs> No, I did it for like four or five times. Uh, what's the worst game you played you actually enjoyed? I've gotten this question like three times. It's a really hard question for me because I don't remember bad things that are like... If, if things that are bad and they aren't like great experiences, they don't stick in my head. the best convention you've ever been to? I haven't been to many. Uh, probably my first year of Calgary Expo was my best in memory, just because that was the first Calgary Expo I'd been to. I was just getting into Homestuck, and I was the only character there that was a, the, a, the only guy in cosplay as a really popular character, so I got all the attention, and it felt pretty cool. <laughs> All right, um, I think we are back to, yep, just ended. Uh, let's read a couple quick donations and let's get to Digimon Battle Spirit. Um, Doby donated the video. This is all Mayo's fault. Thanks a lot, Mayo. Patman says, I feel that this is the perfect opportunity to link you this video. Sure. <laughs> Goofy sings Cruel Angel's thesis. I can't play this because it'll it's super it will super ban. <laughs> but I've heard it before. It's very good. I've also heard Goofy singing um shit, what's that band's name? Evanescence. Wake wake thank you. Evanescence. I was gonna say the song Wake Me Up. Can't wake up. Uh sing along what? time. It says like father, like son, you're always number one. Best buddies, best pals. You always seem to work things out. Can't you see your two of a kind? Looking for a real good time? Report to the goof troop, and we'll always stick together. Uh, then we got Max Goof, which we already read it earlier. A bunch of United States of Goofy and Kermit struck, but we also missed United States of Zorak. Zorak takes over the United States of Kermit with a bloody coup. State of Kermomancer says, Hi ho! Suffer at, suffer at the slow golf minigame, John. This is the doing of the Kermomancer. Ha ha! Also nice on. State of Splatoon 2 says, Splat on, again. Xenoblade Monocle says, Since you loved Goofy so much, I think you'd like Disney Golf for the PS2. Just ordered it on Amazon to get sent to you. Let's just say Goofy is a playable character and Mortimer is the final boss. What? And Magnamon says, Digimon, Digital Monsters, Digimon are the champions. I love the fact that I get to see someone stream a Digimon game, crap game or no. Sweet. All right, well, let's see how this goes. 
The Womancer? Oh no. Uh, alright. Let's do it. Let's play Digimon Battle Spirit. I don't know why this is considered a bad game. I don't know anything about it besides it being Digimon. You can probably turn this guy down. I don't know why the PS2 is always the quiet one. Dimps worked on this? Huh. Makes sense. They did a lot of fighting games. There's Gaumon. And Renamon. There's Vimon. I don't Zagumon. remember what the little guy with the green ears is, but I know he was a big thing in the movie. Terriermon. Enemies! Digimon Battle Spirit, 1997. Oh no, that's the... 2001, rather, because that's when the Game Boy Advance came out. So, the, Oh, this is early Game Boy Advance. That might be why it's not good. That would make sense. We've got uh, Gilmon, Terriermon, Renamon, Vimon, Wormmon, Agumon, Sukumon, Dark Agumon, Lopmon, Gabumon, Agumon again, Impmon, <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> Third chip. Why are there three Agumon? I don't know. <laughs> Ninety percent of the porn on the internet mod. <laughs> uh, let's go with <laughs> which Agumon should we go with? Oh, this must be... I think this is Movie Agumon. Uh... Oh, the one that goes into... Oh, yeah! Fuck okay, it, let's go with Vimon. Yeah, because it looks like it goes into Omnimon. Ah, or, okay. Or, wait, or Metal War. Which... No, no, Omnimon was the movie one. Yeah, because... Yeah, it was the fusion, I think, right? It merged with uh, Gabu. Right. That's where Terriermon, like, came from. I don't remember much about that movie. I just remember watching it about six times and never getting it. Oh, that's an item I can throw at him. Okay. Is this a beat -em up oh, no, Yeah, it's a, it's, it's a Smash Brothers fighting game. Have you never heard of, like... Because it's like the, um... Uh, I guess they're just called Battle Spirit or whatever the series is called, but... Like, they're all... There's, like, Smash Brothers-esque fighting games. You grab a bunch of orbs and then you learn how to digivolve, basically, as a result. Oh. I can't say I've ever played it. I don't know how many I need to Digivolve, though. I like that he gets boxing gloves. Well, I found Taunt. That's the important button. Don't want to get our hands dirty beating the shit out of our friend now. That soundtrack, though. Very happy. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, both shoulder buttons are taunt. Okay. Uh oh. Uh oh. We've got a problem. Did you did you fall first? Yeah. Well. Yeah, this is a big problem, actually. How many fucking orbs do we need? We lost a bunch of those. It seems rather poorly put together. One guy gets an advantage and then wins. <laughs> like all good fighters, clearly. What's with the timer is my question. Or the, the clock, just does it give you more time? Or what is the timer for? Battle over! Now we won! 12 orbs to 2! <laughs> oh, I was about to say, we will now go to the judge's decision. It's time to fight an Agumon. 
the hell, Nightbot? Why, why, why do, why does a kid say nothing to me? Why are there no words? Why does a kid not like me? <laughs> oh, we found an eighth row. I guess there's a there's a boulder. I'm guessing we need a certain amount of orbs to digivolve, or maybe it's only like there's an item that uses it. I guess. It looked like a Terrymon or whatever just touched it, like a floating. Yeah, I was gonna say, it looked like Terrymon found an item. Well, it yeah, isn't select, it isn't the shoulder buttons. It's not start. Is it A, B, start, and select at once? Yeah, <laughs> is it reset? You're right. Gotta find. No, that's. trolling. Never mind. <laughs> gotta find a Pokeball. Is that what they said? Smash ball. I've got so many orbs! Oh, I think I found it. Never mind, it disappeared. Oh, wait, there it is! Digivolve! He's running away from me. Now you got a big ass sword. Nice. You know. He's dropping so many orbs! <clears throat> oh, that's what that gauge on the top is. Yeah, I thought it was health too. No, it's it's the Digivolve meter. Yeah. Actually, this kind of reminds me of that fucking struggle mini in King Hearts 2. You just smack your opponent, like literally just smack him to get the orbs. Uh. There we go. John, we tech those. If I knew how, I would. The 25 to 8! Vimon wins! Is that the Akamon from Data Squad? Data Squad wasn't, didn't exist yet! <laughs> Uh-oh. It's a mirror match. What is the stage and song? Dun 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 Yeah, guys, this is like 2001 to like 2003, something like that. This was like early to mid Game Boy. Or Game Boy Advance. This was super early Game Boy Advance. Yeah, so like 2000. Oh, yeah, 2001 then. Which is why the music sounds. What the hell just hit us? What? Did that blimp actually hit us? Which is why the music sounds so much like Game Boy Color music. Yep. You just got smacked by a hot air balloon. Check out all these sweet orbs we're doing nothing with. Ooh, 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 I want that. Check out my sweet fireball! I burned his ass. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Where is it, where is it? No, 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 no. There it is! Let's go! Digivolve! Oh, is there like a sound effect when the thing yep. appears? Oh, we had a gun the whole time? Fuck yeah! Wait, what? As, as Vmon or as the Digivolve? As the Digivolve version. <laughs> I thought it was like a missile or something, but apparently it electrocuted him, so yeah. Hmm. So when you digivolve in this game, you skip like five or six digilutions to become Imperial Dramon Paladin. Nice. I'm assuming that's a Mega or Ultimate. Or wait, no, Mega's over Ultimate, isn't it? I don't remember yeah. anymore. Yeah, yeah. It was. I, I don't remember what the first. Ch champion? Champion, Ultimate Champ Mega. Champion was like level two, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Uh, it was like rookie or whatever, I think. Uh, Wormmon got the shit beat out of it by Impmon, so now we're fighting Impmon. In the nice. Demon Factory, I guess. Okay, I, I got the idea that we were fighting Impmon. You didn't need to go back to the loading screen for that. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, yeah. Dun, dun, dun. Oh my god. Oh, he just has a natural move that starts a fire and makes you drop a bunch of orbs and run away. That's good. 
Yeah, I think it's like baby rookie. Oh yeah, they got it. Oh, in training is what it's called. I thought it was like baby form. Well, uh, some of them do have a baby form too. Dude, we are getting so bodied right now by Impmon. It's time for some sick combos. We need to... Because all the damn uh, score orbs are just flying around the map. I had to, like, a combo in. Yeah, it seems sillily put together to make you fight and then run away to go get those. Yeah, my problem is the fact that the, the orbs literally just, like, bounce around like mad on this map. It's, in, like, annoying to keep up with them. Oh, shit. Did you want Mouse Spears to Ego when? Oh, my God. Okay, we need this. We need this right now. Stab you with a sword! Stab you with a gun! <laughs> I mean, Bay, that's exist. That's true. I hope that gets him. The Lisa Simpson punching wheel is working. What a straight. How am I supposed to collect these fucking things? Oh, they just come back to him. That's the problem. He just auto-attracts orbs to him, naturally. That's not broken at all, I swear. No, well, this is supposed to be like a broken-ass sub-boss, so clearly. We lost yeah. that. There's no way we won that. Is it? We lost by three. Aw, oh, it sucks. I feel like... I don't remember my Digimon. Ryan, you know this. Isn't Impmon a champion level? I think he might be, but, like, so was Gatomon. There are some that are just... Tricky Gatomon? like that. Gatomon is a champion. Yes, it, yes, she is. All right, we lost so bad. Wormmon's back, and now we're fighting Wormmon. I guess that was probably like the unlock match for him or something. But apparently, whoever originally had this file already had him unlocked. So. Yep. Oh. Gatomon's totally a champion. You know what I haven't actually figured out how to do yet? Block. Because both shoulder buttons are taunt. Oh, okay, Immon is a rookie, oh, apparently. It's down. Block is down. That's really weird. Yeah. He's just gonna turtle, I'm just gonna keep punching him. I'm winning by score right now. Uh-oh. Yeah, the, the, the rookie form of Gatamon that nobody knows about is called Salamon. He just dropped it. Let's go! Huh. The happy music for the stabbing begins! I always assumed because Anjumon was uh, the champion for Katamon. I always thought the same was with Anjumon. No, Anjumon was an ultimate. Anjumon makes no sense sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I got that grab. Thirty-two to ten! That was a lot easier than Ipmon. Like, a lot easier. And now... Uh-oh. Renamon. Who, for some reason, is just as tall as Vimon? That's definitely not supposed to be the case. She's supposed to be a lot taller. Well, yeah, but the Digivolutions are all supposed to be like. Yeah, but like, isn't Rena? Uh, yeah, someone will know this for sure. Isn't Renamon by champ, like by default, a champion? Kind of like Gatomon was. Yeah, I thought she was. Yep. Apparently not, according to the wiki. 
What level was she? Rookie. Really? Yep. She doesn't look it, right? No. Oh wait, no, right, because she did you all in the QB mod. Right. Yeah, she was just incredibly badass, that's it. <laughs> and the internet will not let you forget. <laughs> the internet doesn't focus on that part. Uh, oh, they focus on they, they focus on half of that. <laughs> I forget who it is, I think it's the guy who does Gmod Idiot Box. Keeps putting Renamon in there and she keeps getting the crap kicked out of her for some reason. Oh no, that backfired! She just digivolved in shit. I punched her into it. Oh. My combo knocked her into it. Well, this well. is bad. Come on, you know it's true. I just noticed the lightning is actually just. Is that destroying part of the map? There's destructible fucking areas? What? Well, I'm pretty sure we lost this one. Yeah, we lost that. No, we didn't! We won! By three! Oh, wow. He does that for a reason. Basically, someone made a complaint about him using Renamon badly, so we decided to fuck around with her always. Yeah, that sounds about right. That's the yeah, same. Yeah, that's the same on. logic I would use if someone was doing that shit to me. Now that's how you be petty and be funny about it. And shit, a... as if on cue. Bagel. GameCube crashed. No. Game, Game Boy player crashed, rather. Oh, it couldn't take the badassness of that fight. No, nope. well, that game's over then. Couldn't handle you winning. To the cookie it is. Damn, we almost beat it, too. I felt like we were going to beat it. That makes me sad. Ow. So much for 52. Hey, Reese. I got to figure out why that's happening so much lately. Like, maybe it just needs another cleaning? Is your Game Boy player busted? I don't know, but it's been happening a lot, which is worrying me. But it was fine during the last uh, Final Fantasy V stream. But then again, I also never took the game out after I cleaned it last time, so maybe Digimon was just dirty? I don't know. Oh, well. All right. To the cookie it is. It's because the game is shit. I don't know. I was having fun. Seemed yeah, it, all right. Honestly, it yeah, it actually didn't look that bad. Fun and we never learned how to throw. I'm pretty sure it was both A and B together. The few times I throwed, I did a throw, it was that. I'm doing something completely unrelated to you, but you should take a look at it anyway. <laughs> or completely unrelated to the stream, but... <laughs> alright, alright, what are your games, guys? Because we have, remember, Barbie gets a second chance. Yeah, I know, so it doesn't fucking matter. I'll toss up Sonic Battle. Sonic uh, Battle for the Game Boy Advance. Come back to me again. Alright. Were you playing this game, Cube, when Mario Party Crash? No. We were playing on Emil's Wii. Uh, we have Barbie, Groom and, Grant, Groom and Glam Pups for the DS and the following five games, starting with Eternal Darkness, Sanity's Requiem for the GameCube. Game number two, Game & Watch Gallery for the Game Boy. Yeah, what's wrong with Sonic Battle? That was actually a fun game when you get enough moves. Yeah, Sonic yeah. Battle's great. <laughs> game number three, Strong Bad's cool game for attractive people. It says episode five, but we'd probably continue where we were in episode one. Game number four, He's not loading. Pinbot for the NES. A pinball game made by Rare. Ooh. 
And last but not least, out of the randoms, Ants Extreme Racing for the Xbox. And yes, this Hell. is the movie Ants. Yes, with a Z. Yep, yep A-N-T-Z. I believe right. I can thank Troy and Villain for this one. Um, hmm. Alright, you know what, fuck it. How about we go back to Glover? Alright, whatever. Glover for the N64. Ryan, uh, what you again? Yeah. Um, Sonic Battle, GBA. Sonic Battle for the GBA, Barbie, Groom and Glam Pups, and those five random games. Good luck. I'll need it. Uh, fuck it, I got no title, I'm just gonna put N.A. <laughs> I'm trying to think of a uh, like one of my little quips, but I had nothing. With, yeah, that ants with Sylvester Stallone and the Woody Woodman with the glasses. The Woody Woodman? <laughs> <laughs> He's got a name, I can't remember it. <laughs> my god. Alright. <laughs> Link's on screen. I think, did it actually change? <laughs> Hang on. Yeah, that's the correct one. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna vote for this, but I know what's in the lead. I don't even need to guess. Yeah, th that's what? that's exactly what I expected. Woody Allen, that's the guy. Ants Extreme Racing, 120 votes, 24%. Strong Bad, 82 votes, 16%. Sonic Battle, 78 votes, 16%. Barbie Groom and Glam Pups and Eternal Darkness, 79 and 74 respectively. Glover, 67 votes, 11%. Game & Watch Gallery, 26 votes, 4%. And in last place, poor Pinbot, 21 votes, 3%. I used to love that game as a kid. But it is just a pinball game with good music. I'm cool with this. I mean, yeah. rare, so... Yeah, I mean, this is very clearly we're going to be playing Ants Extreme Racing at this point. It's 178 yeah. votes to 122. I'm going to put my timer on. <laughs> One minute on the clock, starting now. Ants is carrying a hundred times its own weight right now. Oh my god, really? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just happy it's not Barbie. I love Barbie's like super dug down. Barbie's in fourth had, place, yeah. It, it seemed to have had its initial like, ah, Barbie, and then people move on. We have Ant Extreme Racing. What more do you want? We've got 25 seconds left on the clock. 191 votes for Ants, 133 for Strong Bad. It's looking like a safe win for Ants Extreme Racing. Uh, okay, for a second I thought my... Uh, Dan, have you been dropping the straw poll? Yeah. Oh, wait. Uh, I dropped it once. You I never dropped it again! No, you never no, dropped it again! You never dropped it again! No, because when other people, because other mods usually do the same thing. You're, well, you are right. All right, let's tack on another 30 seconds on that bad boy. Yeah, I thought, because, yeah, my All right, 30, 30 extra seconds starting now. Sorry, I'm Splatoon. That's why. Oh, my, I was playing Splatoon. That'd be why. Yeah, that would do it. We swear we're not rigging it. If Ants wins, I'm leaving and coming back. All right, you say that every time you do that, so you can stop saying that, Kachopper. Later, then. Like, you guys, you don't need to tell me, like, you don't want to watch this game, and so you're going to leave. That's yeah, how no. this stream works. You're literally telling me I'm doing my job, is all you're telling me. <laughs> by the way, time time's super over, by the way. It's Ants Extreme Racing. <laughs> Go Ants, you can do a little dude, instead of Stan. <laughs> well, they did it. Ants Extreme Racing is the winner. Huzzah. Yeah, no, like, I mean, it... You're not even really protesting. It's like, we're gonna play the game. <laughs> Alright, um... <laughs> God damn it, Reese. <laughs> Wow, Jezman, guess what I happens because of that? Oh, we oh, we both have the same idea, huh? Mm -hmm. I was, uh, yeah, I was working on it. <laughs> I mean, nice. points for the call-out, but you should have seen that coming. <laughs> I respect your call-out, but I, you also, I am also timing you out for that. 
I respect the balls, and I respect me kicking them. Uh, okay, um... We're gonna get a couple quick eggs, and then let's go to break and get ants ready. See, that's how you're supposed to react. It's like, darn, Bobby, Bobby lost again. I was hoping to see it, and it doesn't matter much. Sure. Yeah, exactly. Again, we've yeah, also streamed it before, so... That too. John shows ultimate respect by not holding back. <laughs> I that, 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 was, that was kind of funny to be fair. True, yeah, I, I had I had a moment where I'm like, that's impressive you went for that, but you also should have seen this coming. Click. So, uh, where were we? Uh, not too many here. We got Lone Wolf 42 for 11, Clueless Anonymous for 7, Wonder Bread Special subbed, and Tribal Chaos for 9. Thanks a lot, guys. This is from Maniacal Gamer. It's Wesker Says Part 4. Alright, I had a drawing I was working on. We're surrounded! Wesker! Come 911! No, Wait. Crass. This is nothing! 911 is for real emergency. If we call 911 for assistance, someone who really needed help would die. If there's a fire or someone's Jesus. trying to break into your home, that's no good. One person's dumb joke could be another person's disaster. Hi, you kid. We're friends of Wesker. He's been hurt and needs ag. All right, one of these. We're gonna be here a while. Hold it. Yeah, this guy's three minutes long. You don't even yeah. know this. <laughs> wow. It's not safe to get into a car with strangers. Uh oh. Scratch and grinder? I'm never going anywhere with strangers. <laughs> you bet your life, little bitch. Look how stupid these are. I think we're lost, Captain. Egg. All we have to do is head north. Lost, eh? Hey? Hey, don't you young folks know that Uroboros grows heaviest on the north side of a tree? Thank you, sir. Thanks. That old bear really knew what he was talking about. Right, Chris. Older people can be very wise, and they often know the right direction to take him. Disappointing me. Wait, wait, what? Was that a PSA about listen to old people? Come from Wesker. You and me. Listen to old people. You and me. And the human race. Every time you buy something with unnecessary packaging or order egg in styrofoam takeout boxes, you're part of the problem. Trash, Trash adds up fast. But you can help. Be a smart shopper. Recycle. Postpone the inevitable. Fix things. Give me an egg. Don't throw them away. Wesker. They're so slow. Everyone has something special to offer. You are standing in Uroboros. Yikes! Don't panic. Move slowly and you'll be okay. What is this? Even you can learn are they standing from in quicksand? Load some human. <laughs> I think I'm lost. Yeah! I gotta find a phone fast. Operator? I want to call Jill. Uh the number? Why are there so many of these things in existence in the first place? There were so many episodes of the cartoon. Okay, that's area code. <laughs> you can't call home unless you know your area code and phone number by heart. Memorize it now. Don't wait until it's too late. Alright, there we go. We'll be back in a bit with Ants Extreme Racing. <clears throat> this has been a fun night so far. This has been a weird night. <laughs> uh, like touche, touche. Trying to find Kuz's eggs now. I thought I downloaded them. By the way, someone uh said they feared their donation because of the timeout. I think. Mm. They didn't know. They swear. <laughs> yes. Yep. Sure enough. I'll be right back. Alright. So which Digimon iteration was your favorite? Uh, I liked Frontier. 
the one with the beast spirits. Which Digimon what? Iteration. Oh, Iteration. Uh... What do you think I said? I liked, I liked 2, honestly. I dropped out at some point in 3. 3 was awesome because it was just like... Yeah, it's fake, it's a franchise, but then it's real. But oh, I liked the oh, time skip thing. Yeah, I, I like the time skip thing of 2, too. When it's like, this is the first cast, and now they're all old. And now we're gonna... They're gonna meet up again. That was awesome. <laughs> yeah, I, I like... I like the first four series. And I just stopped watching after that. I just like that Mimi got rid of her big stupid pink hat and was a supermodel. I mean, the cowboy hat was pretty fucking stupid. Because... It was... Uh, like, it was bigger than her. Yeah, that's why... <laughs> Well, I mean, would you rather see that? Like, when you have a big hat like that, do you pay attention to the person wearing it, or do you pay attention to the big-ass hat? Thoughts on the Rocco Modern Life and Hang On on Revival trailers? I'm excited. I am super excited, because nostalgia. But then it's going to wear off, and I'm going to think, oh god, this is going to be terrible, isn't it? It's just going to be a cheap reboot to cash in on the nostalgia. Yeah, I, I didn't even know Digimon had a season four. Which game do you think the should get made into a movie? Warcraft two. Yes. <laughs> I want more. I, yeah, I really enjoyed Warcraft the movie. Over under of Cena doing a leg drop on the receiver battlegraph. If he doesn't do the Hogan thing, if he does that leg drop, I'll be very disappointed. But it's pretty, it's pretty low. Do you know the current Digimon series? No, I do not. Based on mobile apps? Okay, Digimon, we gotta have a talk. Is Danger Squad still with the, no, we, we, we it's, it's unactive, it's, or it's deactive, and Juker's making a new challenge thing that we're like, we don't have details on yet. Like, we explained this during Goofy's Funhouse, I think, right? Yeah, it was like during the golf thing. What would you prefer, mayo or ketchup? Ketchup! Ketchup! ketchup. Always ketchup! Hell yeah. Mayo's good, but ketchup will never be a thing that's not in my fridge. I don't like mayo <clears throat> at all. I've eased into it, because I don't tend to make sandwiches or much of anything with flavor or, like, ingredients. It's a cheap way to add some taste to things. Uh, Brony Raikou88, no, I do not watch GDQ, AGDQ, or SGDQ, or anything that has to do with Quick. I am outspoken on my sense in that I really don't like speedruns. It's not at all a thing that I care about, or that I go to games for. I mean, that's, that's fair, because <laughs> when you speedrun a game, you can never play that game the same again. Uh, what do I, you, I, you like to race in a dream scenario? Demon's Crest. <laughs> I want to do a Mega Man Zero in a race scenario, and I know that's exactly not what I'm... I, I don't do the done quick, but I like races because they're just casual having fun with it. Yeah, and it's with friends and shit. Uh, yeah. What do you think of, what do you think of JoJo's uh, JoJo Part 3 from Ichinami on se next Saturday? Hyped. I still need to finish watching uh, Part 3, but I'm excited for it. Nice. Alright, um, just got a couple quick... Donations read, and then we'll get this uh, interesting game going, to say the least. We've got Top Hat Samurai who says, Just graduated with a master's in filmmaking, and while trying to get a job, I've decided to start my own YouTube slash Twitch instead uh, instead of helping make others. Just feel nervous about trying to do it, well, as it's kind of my profession, but you inspire me to try. Good luck. If you have the master's, at least you've got, you know you have the skills. You just need to get uh, everything else together, which is going to be the real tricky part. Protonmon says, Protonmon, Virus Digimon, special abilities are Egg Toss, Gatling Wah, and Chugga Jab. Evolution Line, Something Awful Mon, Baby, Kaizomon, In Training, Bagelmon, Rookie, When Superman 64 Mon, Champion, Protonmon, Ultimate, Waluigi Mon, Mega. That was the one that was worried about getting uh, booted. They're fine. Ow. Uh, Xeno Persona says, Long ago when Gal. Oh, never mind. Long ago, in Galaf's world, I, X-Death, the teapot-wearing tree of Moor, unleashed an unstoppable void! 
But a foolish geomancer wielding a magic bell rode forth to oppose me. Before the final blow was struck, I tore open a hole in space and flung him into... And it just cuts off there. <laughs> <laughs> and Just King Dion says, Another dumb thing I made that I didn't want you to miss. <clears throat> oh, oh no. Oh no, based on the name. Alright, hang on a second. Oh my god, this picture's also amazing. Hang on, we're gonna play this, and this will give me enough time to get the game on screen. Long ago in a distant land, I, Wesker, the shape-shifting master of the Follow me! Unleashed an unspeakable grenade, Ooh. but a foolish <laughs> oh, here, oh, here. wielding a magic egg stepped forth to oppose me. <laughs> Before the final blow was struck, I tore open a portal in time and flung him into the future, where my evil is law. Now the f*** yeah. seeks to return to the past and undo the future that is ah, <clears throat> here, ah, here, ah, here. ah shit. <laughs> Whoops, hang on. Random music interlude. There we go. Let's do it. Ants Extreme Racing. <laughs> Get ready for a party. I'm cool with the Extreme Racing. Just a warning. I, I don't remember the Ants movie being good. Which means this is also probably just garbage shovelware. It wasn't awful. There were worse movies. Yeah. LSPGames.com Supersonic. I'm not sure if this was a gift from Villain and Troy or if I found this myself now. Because this seems such a dumb game to find that I probably would have picked it up myself. If Woody Allen doesn't have the starring role in this game spinoff, I want no part of it. They could save it if they got Stallone. <laughs> oh god, Stallone was an ant. Yeah. You're right. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit, this is the quietest music. Let's turn this up. Holy crap. It's already at max. Wow. All right. Beautiful. Not so loud. I got very delicate ears. Let's start a new game. Select a character. There's Z. Question mark. Question mark. Oh, Stallone. I think that's Stallone's character, actually. Uh, Bala and the bad guy. Do we want to be the main character or the girl? main character. He's so happy. He's waving at us. Picnic Panic. A three-lap driving race around the Picnic Raceway. First over the finish line wins. Points available. A thousand. My rank is ten millionth. Well, that's a lot of ants. Right. That's, yes. That's one hell of a colony. <laughs> um Um Wow, those frames of animation. Um right, Do I have red shells? Is that what's happening? Uh having a hard time. Uh, you have something. <laughs> I have a giant homing bug, I guess. But hey, you're winning. I mean, yeah. You are correct. I think. This... Well, at least it's not Barbie, though. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, here's the thing I will say for this game, it controls pretty good. Really? Yeah. Wow. It actually it actually looks pretty nice in the corners. Hmm. It apparently received negative reviews. I don't believe you. I that is impossible. How could a game like this <laughs> have gotten negative reviews? Hey, now you're one millionth. I was one mil. Oh, you're right. I was ten millionth earlier. 
have totally gone up. Crash Team Racing 2 looks great. <laughs> Wouldn't it be 4? Because there was Nitro Kart and Tag Team Racing. I'm in 5th place because there's only 5 characters. Hell yeah. <laughs> How do I use my red shells? Not like that. Like that, I guess. I got a whopping 35% of Metacritic for the Xbox, and even more impressive, 31% for the PS2 version. Ah, so it's well received, I see. Yes, quite. I mean, Goofy's Funhouse was like an 80-something, and one of them was like an 89. Or some shit. So I think we're just... At this point, we're just saying that all game reviews are full of shit. Yeah. Getting that feeling. Because like, you weren't sarcastic when you said it actually does control well, right? No, it actually controls decently. Yeah. Just looks to be a bit of a boring track. There's no excitement in the music. The characters themselves can't be helped. Yeah, the bugs aren't <laughs> yeah. really telling me what my weapon is. I also cannot seem to catch up to... Oh, never mind. Now I can. The only downside right now is I'm having a hard time actually grabbing items. There we so go. So basically, so if we had a more, like, if we had more exciting, like, slightly more exciting tracks, a better way to see what your items were, or, like, a little gauge or something like Mario Kart, then this might have actually been better received. I'm sure there's something worse to this, like... It's really bland, is the real problem I have with this right now. Yeah. Yes, yes, Apparently better yes, sound design. Yes. So in the chat. Yeah, well, yeah. I can't hear that, because... Yeah, it's apparently super quiet. Yeah, no, it's super quiet in my ears, too. It It's super quiet. On the plus side, you're moving up in the ranks really fast. <laughs> How many tracks are there, though? It seems like, um, six, eight. There's eight. Hmm. Like, I have this cranked right now. And it is like, ungodly yeah, quiet in my ears. This is original Xbox. When did Ants come out? Like, the like late 90s? Something like that? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is uh, an on, this is an on foot race. Oh uh, boy. Well. Oh god, no! It, it you hold the control stick and run. There's no gas. Huh. There's those bad reviews. Oh my god! Well. I hit something and I fell down. Everybody super sonic racing. <laughs> At least they did something different. They got him out of the cars. That's true. Can't think of what of any other racing game that would do this. Uh huh. Yeah, I can't seem to catch up <laughs> again multi-ant drifting. I caught up. <laughs> I think. I'm not going to get an item in time to get first place, though. I lied! <laughs> hey! So, um... Jesus, that was worth 10,000 points. Wow. Uh, so the only thing I've noticed is that all the items seem to be predetermined. There's no rotation. It's just this item will, this item flower will always be this item. So if you learn uh, where all the boosters are, then this game just becomes a piece of cake. That's poor. Huh. Unfortunate. Wow, you went from seven hundred fifty thousand to ninety thousand. Well, because we just got a shit ton of points. Speed run. Finish the fight, John. I mean, at this rate, there's only eight tracks. 
we could have a world record on our hands. A boarding race down the grassy bank. Push up to crouch and go faust faster. Oh, there was a... Yeah. All right. Well, good news, John. There's no timer on the 100% run. Mm hmm? Good to know. A boarding race. Good news, I don't oh. have the... Again, I don't have to pull any trigger to do this! Actually, okay, yeah. There seem to be some interesting ideas here. Just execution floundered. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, remember how we crushed everyone on the previous races? We ain't doing that on this one. Oh, boy. So this is the spin off the Tony Hawk's downhill jam that we all wanted, right? We got fifth. We failed the challenge. Oh. That wow, one's that a only... very short. Yeah, I was about to say, that only lasted like 30 seconds. Rolling around at the speed of sound. Oh god, the mushrooms are bumpers. Ooh. Yeah, it seems like to get first on this one, you gotta be perfect. Mm-hmm. Straight shot. No items to give you a boost. There's a reason why most people say licensed games suck. Most of them. Most licensed games. Oh, and you fell into the same crack there, too. Yeah, that's the other problem. Because yep. remember, you have to hold up to actually, like, go fast. Which means my controls are going to be a little janky to begin with. We got to do this for the 100,000 challenge points it's worth. This could put us at number one. <laughs> no, it won't. You know it won't. <laughs> I know. Hey, that only took 28 seconds. Uh, our rank is now 2,760. That, wow. From wow. like 90,000 or some shit. Yeah, it was 90,000th place. Nice. Although, I don't think any anyone is going to be bigger than that first jump, though. 100 millionth to 1 million? <laughs> like, yeah. That's a pretty good jump. Literally Nine dropped a zero for that. <laughs> uh, three lap race. Looks like we're on the back of a bug. First over the finish line wins. 300,000 points it's worth. This seems unfair since once you're out of first, it's almost impossible to get back. Sure is! The one saving grace is that it literally only is a 30 second, like, race. God, oh! What? Okay, no. Never mind, it just wasn't accelerating correctly. Now we beetle Borgen. Oh my god, this fucking I'm actually game. curious now. I just I just want to see, like, what all the other race types are. <laughs> there was a secrets a... menu, but it was grayed out, so I'm curious about that, too. Maybe you can beat the game with a character? Probably. I'm sure it's one of those games where you have to beat it with all five characters. And then you unlock yeah. all the secrets. Okay, this track. It's like a bad way... It's like Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, except bad. Is, that's how you did that's it. a comparison, I guess. I mean, that's how you did it in the Pro Skater games, right? You could beat all the challenges. Wait, how are we in six? Right? There's only five racers. <laughs> I think there's been a ladybug that's been in every one, too. Did they introduce a new racer? Here comes a new challenger. Uh oh, we can fall off the map. The chat joined in so they could try and impeach this. Nuh. Oh my god, these fucking camera angles are awful. And that fucking fake finish line. Really sucks. Yes, yes, yes. Remember when you thought this game was actually yes. not terrible? I mean, it's trying to be F Zero right now and failing miserably. Did that one guy just steal your item? Oh, you haven't noticed that? They've been doing that the whole time. I just noticed it right now.
Oh yeah, that's the camera angle I need. That one's actually a helpful camera angle. Oh yeah, that's a lot better. Hey! We I are rank 188. I can't believe you pulled that off. There's a way to change the camera, but I don't know what it is. It was triangle on the PS2, which probably means it's Y on this wait, one. Wait, wait, why is there two? Did you notice that there were two 188s? Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, there was two 188 placings. There was the one. It just showed you the one you were ranked at, and then it showed another 188 right below it. I did not notice that. Maggot Mound Fly, a three-lap flying race around the Maggot Mound. You're tied with someone else, apparently. Mm -hmm. There's one ant that is just as good as you. All right, I guess there's only four in this race? Uh, it is not Y in this one, I'll tell you that much. B is backwards. Oh, there we go. It's it's the black button on the original Xbox controller. This controls awful. Holy shit. Wait, what? What does the black button do? It changes the camera. Oh. Well, it looks like everybody else is also not doing very good. So now we're basically playing Diddy Kong Racing, right? Yeah. But, but really awful. <laughs> So now we're oh so banjo pilot got it. <laughs> I think banjo pilot controlled better if you want me to be real. <laughs> Honestly, that wouldn't surprise me. It's rare. Have you streamed Grunty's Revenge before? Actually, now I think. No, it's never won when it's come up. Really? Huh. I might actually yeah I might actually throw that as my next game choice. Why the hell not? Okay, I don't think the AI knows how to do the flying stages because they are way behind me right now. Hey! We are rank 35. We're getting there. We're almost done. So at what, at what point do you get let into the VIP ant lounge? I feel like being in the top 35 ants would probably do it. Out of 10 million, yeah. Watch out for the pecking bird. Hey, baby. I'm number 35. Or maybe because his name is Z, he has to, like, work his way up the alphabet. <laughs> so it's like once he's number one, it's just... He's number one out of the 10 million Zs. Yeah, we're in... There's five racers again. I'm glad this map is real good where half the time we're not even driving on it. Has anyone noticed that? Uh, wow, okay. Yeah, I just saw that. Ooh, what's that red flower? Uh, maybe it's like a blue shell or something? I, I try my best to get it, but... Um, it's easier said than done. Yeah, that looked kind of out of the way. No, I got it. It's just guaranteed red shell. Oh. That's the first time we've seen the that flower, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I think it's actually probably maybe just an error. Because if the rest of them are also preset... Uh, what was with the... Holy shit, that guy went way faster. Uh, oh my god, it wouldn't let me move on until we finished it. We have to get first. Okay. Alright, we can, we can skip that part. Come on now. Someone said, holy shit, first one by a mile. Sure did look like it. What happened? Oh, we got hit by a power-up. Oh boy. Why do all those ants feel the need to uh, do the whole British waving politely thing? <laughs> Hello! Hello! Welcome to the races. Oh my god, I can't even see what hits me half the time. Welcome to Ancio Kart. 
We're so close. We can't. We got to do it. Got to finish the fight. We can finish we the fight out of this, guys. We need to finish all 10 million ants. We've already taken out like nine and a half million. Like, actually, yeah, it's like 9.9 .9 million at least. We're top 35, right? Oh wait, what rank were you after you got those 200,000 per second? I wonder. I don't know. We got it. We won it. <laughs> Probably doesn't matter. We're higher rank now, I guess. So. We are rank five right now. Yeah. So, so hold up, hold. Up. If you're five, and this is the last race, it says grand finale. Yeah, if, they, if you're five, that means that you're the worst out of everybody else in your race crap right now, even <laughs> though you beat them every time. That's true. <laughs> Grand finale challenge, the last hurdle in Z's quest for glory. Run First to run to the top wins. Oh, God, it looks like it. I guess it's a running one. Yep. Damn it, why couldn't Arnold... Oh, my God, it's a 1v1 race! Oh. Again? But wait, you're number five. Oh, the, the big bad five? general guy. Oh, too bad oh boy. Oh, game. boy. I could make a running man joke, but wrong action hero. So wait, this is the fucking Triceratops race from Diddy Kong Racing. <laughs> it totally is. What the fuck? I was joking when I said Diddy Kong Racing. Come on. Uh, So when do I catch up to him? Oh, apparently there. All right. I'm guessing I can't lose the lead for the rest of this track. Which it's... A okay, we won! And we fell off the track, but whatever, we won. We are the right. best ant in ants. He hasn't we even... Are... Where is the other dude? He hasn't finished! <laughs> the other dude has not even finished the track yet. He is lost. We win! No! The, no, he hasn't finished the race. He's just not finishing the race. Did he, he did he just go off, off track and die? <laughs> Um, I, part of me wants to wait for him, and I, I don't know if we should. You pushed him off the cliff when you passed him, obviously. I guess. He just gave up. Everyone's waving! Yay! Look how extreme our racing was! Congratulations, in tiny-ass font. Ants Extreme Racing was brought to you by <laughs> these people. Why is it so tiny? Congratulations. Ants Extreme Racing. Congratulations. <laughs> that was game 34 of the for the 52, I think. Someone, Done. Mark it. <laughs> uh, Neo King is saying 33, but I don't know exactly. Hang on. I'm going to bring up my list. <laughs> what is this? A font for ants. <laughs> <laughs> and we did Letterland. That's what we did. Uh, the last game we beat on stream was Letterland, which I have marked down as game number. It's not loading. Game I have 33, so this was game 34. Nice. This game sucked. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God we beat it in half an hour, though. I don't yeah. think anybody's uh, arguing you on that. <laughs> and to think, people paid 40 to $60 for this when it was new. Oh wait, this is 2001, so it's probably like around 40 bucks. Yeah, because um, there's five characters right off the bat, and I beat it that fast as one of them. Yep. Save this Force. game, hell yeah. Oh, do we get any secrets? Oh, okay, so there's a... Yeah, we unlocked a new character. I think. So if you look so at chances the... Are... If you look at the save screen, it actually shows all six characters and their stats. Oh. Yeah, we unlocked a uh, Azteca. I'm just going to see if it's the exact same if I pick her. I don't even remember Azteca at all. Uh, They're different maps. They're actually what? different maps. Okay, okay. Well, That's good. Spider's oh, Lair, Frog, Frog Agog, T Time Trial. I'm just going to I'm going to try this frog one. We got credits. It counts. I know. I marked it down as beat, but not complete. Okay. This is not a frog. 
I actually do give it, yeah, some good props on different maps. I was very ready to be like, they're all going to be the same. The I same thought they Okay, well, no, this map actually is different too. Look at that. Looks like a rocket, kind of. I will give the game credit for that. They, there's variety. It's just really short Man, variety. I mean, yeah, and kind of shittily done. What's with the Yoshi's Valley question mark on the place? Oh, this is a time trial, right? Yeah. Also, it's a good thing you can't use that fucking uh, mini-map, because you're not on it half the time. There's a frog. He's watching. He's waiting. Hey, we got credits. That's good enough for us. Mm. Who is the sixth character, then? Do you unlock the queen? That would be kind of funny, but I'm gonna guess it'd be the big general guy, because he wasn't on the character select screen. Oh. That guy on the left, he had a smaller torso. You're right. Yeah, you usually never unlock the final boss immediately. Unless it was, like, a good fighting game like you had. Unless, like, you beat it with, like, everybody or something. I'm saying just, just what I wanted to do, unlock my favorite ants characters. <laughs> Can we beat the time? Survey hey, Woody, Sur this is ants movie. You want in on it? Yeah, sure, Sebastian. What what are both of these voices you're doing? Oi! Wow, beating that one race alone moved us to six hundredth from ten million. I was trying to do Stallone and Woody Allen. Yeah, so Z actually had the least amount of races at eight. The other two have nine. Oh. Huh. Interesting. All right, cool. We'll call it there. We beat a game on stream. Quick game. Quick game, are you sure? Hell yeah. <sighs> we got the number one ant in the world. We're set. Let's go to the cookie. Let's go play something hopefully better than this. Uh, oh no, that's that window. Let's close that. Go to here. What are we doing next, boys? What are your game suggestions? Uh, Banjo Kazooie, Grunty's Revenge for GBA. Okay. Ryan. Um, I'll toss Sonic Battle on again. All right, two GBA games. Sonic Battle, Banjo Kazooie, Grunty's Revenge, and the following five games, starting with. I'm gonna re-roll that. What was it? Counter-Strike Source. <laughs> nice. Uh, oh, beastly for Wii. We've already beaten this on stream. Heads up. It actually might have been one of the 52 now that I think about it. Yes, it definitely was. Game number two. How long did that take you to be, like, 15 minutes? Kirby's Star Stacker for the Game Boy. I, it took a, it took almost an hour, I think. Oh. Huh. Game number three. Uh, RPG reroll. Palamedes for NES. Whatever that is, I think it's a puzzle game. Uh, let's see. Game number four. Barbie's Horse Adventure Blue Ribbon Race for the Game Boy Advance. Barbie strikes again. Also, yeah, you're right. It's a puzzle game. With the creepiest looking motherfucker. Good. Barbie, <laughs> Barbie Horse Adventure what? Blue Ribbon Racing? Yeah. Alright. Alright, Barbie. Take Barbie, a hint. Barbie gets a, <laughs> gets a third chance because we did the reroll with Barbie already. And last but not least, Madden 2001 for the N64. Get ready for some football. Open wide for some soccer. <laughs> John Madden. John Madden. John Madden. John Madden. <laughs> All right, we've got our games up. Let's see what's going to win this gong show here now. 
Correct link on screen. I'm gonna vote. You <laughs> Jesus. Um, I'm gonna vote for that. Currently in the lead, though. Fucking knew it. Madden 2001's in the lead. Hell yeah. <laughs> Some football. 116 votes in rising. 32% of the votes. Second place, Barbie Horse Adventure Blue Ribbon Race. 89 votes, 21%. This list. Kirby Star Sacker in third place. Probably the best game on the list, to be honest. 75 votes, 15%. Grunty's Revenge is actually in third place now. 77 votes, 15%. Then it's Star Stacker. Then it's Sonic Battle, 63 votes, 12%. Then it's Palamedes, 22 votes, 4%. And Beastly has 9 votes, 1%. Nice. 1% rule, right? <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's a version we could use. <laughs> no, it's really looking like it's going to be some football. Uh, it's 209 votes, 143 I can't believe we're fucking gonna play a Madden game on this stream. By the way, here's Palamedes cover that I just linked in the Discord. I'll look at that in a sec. Yeah, <laughs> with 666 votes, 212 to 150. Um, let's open all wide for some football. Was I mistaken for the 1% rule last cookie? We already did it for Barbie. Barbie yeah. already had it, yeah. It just There's just a different Barbie game that just naturally came up. Didn't you play a Madden game not that many streams ago? Uh, No, that was NFL Blitz. And that was for the Game Boy Color. It was bad. Football. All right, football takes it. Oh, boy. Those people who left because of ants, they're going to be real excited to come back to Madden 2001. I'll tell you what. Uh, let's check eggs. It's like, it's like NFL Blitz, but without the fun. The or the wrestling moves. Uh, I think we said Wonder Bread Special. Try Blade of Chaos for nine. Karate Eagle for eight. Hornelius for 17 says, It's hip to fuck bees. Congrats, Hornelius. <laughs> 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 Try King 66, um, Talcan Hero for 11, uh, and Mothraman 54 for 24. Thanks a lot, guys. Here's your egg. I don't have one queued up. Shit, hang on. Let me see if I can find Q's. I actually never did succeed in finding Q's other one, weirdly enough. Thought I would have found that, no problem. Nope, it's not even... That's weird. I thought I would have that queued up. Um, did I have one that we never played? I, I can close Goofy singing Cruel Angel's Thesis. Um, <laughs> weird, okay. Uh, Xylanoc. I made this before Lego Files, but oh well. Eggs Files. Right. Uh, um. From Braden, Juker and Wesker get an N64. What? Hang on. It's not previewing. I like how it's Juker and Wesker getting an N64. Uh, it's not working. What is going on here? Is it Gmod again? Give me an N64! Oh my god! N64! <laughs> N64! And now it's being turned into fucking bullshit! Lock. What? Oh. Uh, it's an experience. And now it's time for City Songs with Dean. The part of the show and Dean comes out and sings a City Song. Here's a meal it never oh. Are you trying to make me angry? I like the the beep that didn't Good actually work. beep out the Pop fuck. That, egg, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> that was an experience. See you guys in a bit for some football. I also have an awake cat. Uh oh. 
Don't do drugs, kids. That's what we're saying. Drink eh, instead. Never say never. <laughs> Don't do any drugs. Not even prescription <laughs> over the counter. It'll <laughs> save your fucking life. <laughs> None of them. Don't tell me what to do. Too late. Favorite football team? I don't sport ball! I'll be right Same. Back. Although I'm a New Yorker, so I have to say the Giants. Just by default. For some reason I thought Com Bravo was next weekend. It is, Crazy Sunshine. Yeah. It, it, yeah. it yeah, is. Yeah, I was about to say, right, today is Sunday. <laughs> or, <laughs> Oh yeah, it would technically still be next weekend because we're in the current one right now. Yep. <laughs> right, semantics. And technicalities are a fun thing. I'm getting like the same goddamn Adam Ruins Everything ad. I mean, I like the show, but Jesus Christ. I have to ask, what is your favorite sports movie? <laughs> Ooh, I love sport. Well, Happy Gilmore. I agree. Yeah, <laughs> that or The Longest Yard. Like, those were like... Longest Yard was like Adam Sandler's last good movie. Yeah. Fight me. Oh, how could we forget Space Jam? Oh. Well, that's not... It is sports, technically, but that's like cartoon. Does it count? Happy Gilmore doesn't count. If Space Jam doesn't count, Happy Gilmore doesn't count. Okay, fine. Space Jam. They're, they're, yeah, they're both equal. Favorite JoJo, part two, Joseph. You said you never understood the Digimon movie before in the stream. It's because the English released the three movies edited in one. That suddenly makes a lot of sense. <laughs> yep. Favorite type of sports ball minus basketball. Uh, I, I played baseball for like five years in grade school. So I'm just going baseball. Kudis or what? I don't know what those are, but no, Pudis no. sounds funner. I think Pudis is. Why do I, I feel like Pudis is like something revol involving the heavy from TF2. Favorite kind of cheese? Parmesan. Swiss. Favorite Yu Gi Oh arc? I don't. Yu Gi Oh. Um, 5Ds was actually not terrible. So 5Ds is probably my favorite series. Although it did like Waking the Dragon in the original series. Kale or ice cream? What's kale? Do you mean kale with a K? Because those are not no, no, terrible. Cake or ice cream? Because oh, cake. All right, it's ice cream. It's still ice, ice cream. cream. Yeah. <laughs> Zucker's made it big. He's a shit host. Damn, he has Johnny is back. How we got the Madden game? I know something like that. Oh, okay. If I remember. Favorite racing game is one, and why is it Crash Team Racing? Uh, Mario Kart, Double Dash. Favorite racing. That's a tricky one. If you fight any mods, who would you fight? Tall man. Coming for you. Everybody. <laughs> I'm a fighting champion, damn it. Why are you obsessed with Glover? Because it's a good game. <laughs> Favorite Pokemon game? It's Moon right now. It's gotta be Moon. That's like the only one you've played. I played many up before that point. I played 1, 2, and 3 when I was younger in the heart of a nostalgia territory. And now I played Moon. And it blew them all out of the water. I'll agree with that though. Moon is fucking <laughs> fantastic. I thought that was like the only one you've ever played. No, it was 12 years blind, not... 28 years blind. <laughs> Favorite pinball table? Um, Black Knight 2000, I think it is? Favorite status condition? Uh, Paralysis, but only when it's on them. Confusion Favorite. is bullshit. Fe Favorite Mega Man game? Do Battle Network games count? Battle Network games are awesome. Six I would th say Battle Network games too. That. Six and three. Three. three tops for me. Have you tried Fire Pro Wrestling yet? Hell yeah, it is so fun. But also the Mega Man Zero games are awesome. Give me your money. No! 
I'm poor as shit. I got no job. I need the money more than than. Ugh. Favorite Pokemon spinoff. Mm. I haven't played a lot of them. Does Coliseum uh, count? Because it's same oh. gameplay, but Puzzle League. Yeah, Puzzle League. Can you describe your favorite animated cat gif? Um, well, it's one that I made, so I like, yes, I like... it's a it's a head. It bounces up and down. I like the one with Shaq. Favorite Pokemon type? I kind of became a fan of fairies because of Steel. because of how Moon went. But I, I also really like dark types. Did you scramble the fairies? I don't know what that means. Fairly odd parents? I never scramble watched the fairies! it. Never, never watched. Oh my god! Uh, I'm, yeah, a, I'm a bad nerd, man. I've missed <laughs> a lot of stuff. <laughs> you, said, you said it, not me. How do you feel about Lusamine and her issues? Lusamine was fantastic as a crazy, like, middle-aged woman. <laughs> yeah. I I loved getting to play that and just, like, act and voice act through that stuff and just be like, Sillies go out the window now. I'm gonna be messed up in the head for a while. <laughs> Yo, Togekiss was actually legit my best, my carry in Gen 6. Which Battle Network game should I try first? The first one. Yeah. You, like, you gotta build up. Yeah. Favorite WWE wrestler? Uh, right now, I'm actually a fan of Baron Corbin's work. I, uh, I, with as many indie darlings as there are in WWE, Baron Corbin, I love the shit out of him. Like... What do you uh, for like his work? Biggest franchise you've never seen or played? I've played like there's franchises that I don't play much of, but I played a game in them, so that doesn't help for me. I've never played a Monster Hunter. Neither have I actually. But like I, I've played a Persona, I've played a Final Fantasy, I've played a Halo, I've played a Counter Strike favorite Homestuck character? None, because I think that series and its fan base are fucking... Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna say it. I think they're cancer. They're cancer. You are flying way off the handle, dude. You're doing a goddamn pirouette off of handle point. And you need to... <laughs> you need to reel it in. <laughs> Do I really? I, like <laughs> no, I, was making, I was making a joke. Oh. It's oh, Dave, a by the way. Yes. Yes, it is. Oh. <laughs> Fensler reference, please. No. Hello. What do, you think of the, what do you think of the potential Lesnar, Samoa Joe, Reigns, Strowman match at SummerSlam? I am excited for it. Dan well, talking about wrestling. Impossible. Translucent. We said which Battle Network game. The first one. All right. Uh, let's get ready for some Madden, I guess. So it ends up this is Madden 2001. Isn't the last Madden on the N64? Also, it, huh. uh, that's weird. Oh, that's why I forgot NFL. I got real particular about that. There's also a Madden 2002 on the N64. That is the last one. The one downside to me actually trying to collect all of the N64 games in North America is that I now have like five Madden games on the N64. All right, do we have any quick donations? I don't think we do. Oh, no, we do. We actually have a couple. Um, wow, no, we have a bunch. Uh, Xeno Persona says, Butts his world, where my evil is law. Now the fool seeks to return to his world and undo the void that is X-Death. That was ending the, the thing earlier from Gallop's world. Uh, Fox Mulder says, Help, John. Me and Scully are waiting for you to save us. Scully doesn't believe aliens are behind this, and I for once agree with her. Our captives appear to be green and small. Again, surprisingly not aliens. Please hurry and remember the truth is out there. Lady Juxtaposition says, Hey, John, so apparently I was looking at your Twitter profile picture, and it, given, and it gave me inspiration to draw something different. It's on Twitter to check out when you get a chance. Also, I'm sorry that I had used the same photo reference many times. 
Uh, Zany Sad says, Hey John, thanks for all the entertainment you've provided me throughout the years. I figure I should return the favor on some level. I don't have any sap story for you, just keep doing what you're doing, Zany said. Um, Lucara Cross says, Hey John, I recently got four wisdom teeth out and have been watching archives of your streams where which have been putting me in a better mood overall. Thank you for everything you do and have a good day. P.S. Congrats on 1,300 followers, Dan. Hey. Nice. <laughs> and <laughs> and AEIOU says, John Madden, John Madden, John Madden, John Madden, football. God, I love that video. It's so stupid. Let's do it. Let's, let's open wide for some football. All right. But first, we have to reset it, because we need the EA Sports sound, otherwise it's not a Madden game. Maniacal, I saw already. <laughs> Thank you. Oh no! I have to turn it off! For some reason. Otherwise, we just get this picture of a high pants wearing John Madden. EA Sports. It's in the game. Alright, now it's an official EA game. Perfect, we're good. Look at this man! It's Look at this game. sportsman! John Madden! He is ready with some fucking pants. Look, at I can't get over his pants and tie combinations. Beautiful. He is ready for some football. Game enhancements enabled. I am seeing a raid. We've got hashtag bravo. Hashtag bravo. Liam. It's Liam's raid. Liam, I hope you're ready for some football, but first you better ready for some guns. Liam, dude, thank you for the raid, man. I saw, I saw something about like at least three different people were raiding, so strong raid no matter what. Uh, dude, I can't get over this fucking song. It sounds like it's trying to teach me it's ABCs, cause I keep hearing A B C, one two three, dun dun dun. And we gotta have John Madden at max. Football. That's all I got to say. And we're going to have the quietest crowd in football history. Cool, it saved it. How do I how do I football? Oh, I am so fucked, dude. <laughs> I am so fucked. There's a customized AI function. What? Yeah, dude. Uh, well, it's like the difficulty of when it's on offense and defense. Oh, that's it? I mean, there's a little bit more to it than that. I'm glad EA Sports is an option on the main menu. How did I not notice that last time? Oh my god, it is. I guess they weren't kidding when they said it was in the game. Oh my god, there's achievements as well. All the Sorry. way back on the N64. Madden cards. Let's do it. Let's play a two-minute drill. Let's do an exhibition. This is going to go so poorly. There's, there's the all-Madden team. I know that probably doesn't mean it's every member is John Madden, but god damn it, I want that to be what it means. 
I want to play literally every football player is John Madden. I'm sure it's just like literally the all-star team. Oh, and they have a 100 overall. What a surprise. Guess what we're playing as? <laughs> the all John Madden team. Hell yeah. Probably because it's the only way we're going to win. <laughs> All right. What is the worst? What, according to Madden 2001, is the worst football team? So far, it looks like it's the 49ers. <laughs> and the Chargers. And the Browns. You know, and the Steelers. Fun. Jesus. It would have been really funny if the 49ers had an overall of 49 just to really drive it home. Yeah, uh, that can be, uh, I can fight out of the 49ers, the, the Steelers, or the Chargers, or Browns. I saw a lot of people wanting me to play against the Browns. I'm seeing a lot of Browns. A lot. There was a mod for a WWE game that replaced literally everyone with Jim Ross. Fuck yeah, I'd play the shit out of that. That's what I retweeted. That's what I tweeted to you earlier, actually. All right. So if we're gonna play as the all all the all Maddens against the Browns, we're gonna go. We go to the Super Bowl. Cause that way the Browns can at least know what the Super Bowl feels like. <laughs> Ouch. Don't worry, they'll probably win this because I do not know what I'm doing. <laughs> Greetings from EA Sports, and welcome to the game. We'll see what both teams have in store as we turn it over to Pat and John. Thanks, JB. It looks like they're ready to go. Let's get this one started. You know, I saw the second model the run out, and just like this big bulky guy. I really thought it actually off. was going to be all John Madden. <laughs> I was about to just turn my head and go, wait a second! <laughs> Call it in the air. This sure is some football. Uh, when you're used to the disappointment by now. Wow. <laughs> this is going to go poorly. Oh my god, this is going to go so poorly. <laughs> oh my god, what do I do? Uh, uh, actually, what do I do? Nothing is moving. The game. There, oh, there it is. <sighs> Number this is one of those games where you have to use the D-pad to move the around the menu. Let's go football, I'm gonna get creamed! Twenty-one yard gain. First and ten. Ball on the twenty-five yard line. Spare! Why, why does it sound like Larry King is giving commentary on, on the football game? Sure. That's the move we'll do. Pass is right. <laughs> they could have intercepted. They just knocked it out of the field instead. Second and ten. Get that junk out of here. <laughs> Get that shit out of here. Go That's the late Pat moment. Summerall, Madden's longtime commentary partner. Oh. Oh. oh, I got sacked. He got stopped in his tracks. Yeah, Telling you, man, Brown's gonna win the Super Bowl this year because I'm just awful. They stay at home and wait for the runner to come to them. Goldberg. Goldberg. Three wide. What? He didn't get much on that run. That yeah. Why did I? Why did I suddenly like try to do a Mega Man slide? <laughs> what? And he just drops it right there. Hold still, just like oh, no ball. The backs are lined <laughs> you up dove high. yourself. Sure felt like it. I'm pretty sure that is actually what I did. We're totally gonna just get fucking. S <laughs> We're doing so awful. For the first time in history, we can actually say Browns win. Browns win. They sure are going to. 
Uh, uh, you have to hit A to bring the throwing up. I'm on top now. I'm on the top part of the map. I guess that was fourth down. I didn't realize it. Pass is left. It's fourth and 29, and the cons are gonna go for it. I was gonna say, that had to be incomplete. There was no way. Oh my god, those JPEGs of fucking cheerleaders. <laughs> Pass is left. Oh, how was that not an interception? Oh boy, the Browns are winning. <laughs> he just fucking lay the foot, uh, lay up the ball over the fucking field. Oh, the net's out. The net's out. The extra point is good. The extra point is good. Two passes for seven yards. Scoring play. <laughs> Jesus, we're so awful. We're so where's bad. The, where's the crowd noise? John turned it all the way down. Yeah, it's really low. They just, re they really did not want to see the Browns win. Here, I'll turn it up. It is really quiet otherwise. <laughs> to be fair, the original Browns did win the NFL championship in the days before the Super Bowl. And Cleveland oh! has a longer drought in football than the Maple Leafs do in hockey. You can turn subtitles on? Wait a minute. We're turning on Madden subtitles. Hell yeah. Wait, what do they mean? I think uh, they were kidding. I think they were kidding. Audibles? Oh, wait, no. That's not what that means. Commentary on. Auto subs. Uh, Maybe it was audibles. Nope. If 11 John Maddens can't beat the Browns, then who can? Oh, they misread. They misread. Okay. Oh. And he's sacked. Good. I've been sacked again. Part of that is the pocket is collapsing around them. The other part is just good cover. God, why does Madden always sound drunk? He was. They'll go from the eye formation. Back to pass. Pass is right. There we go. Oh, for fuck's sake! The one time I finally get a good pass, intercepted. Oh. The quarterback is very upset after that one. <laughs> I don't blame him. First and ten. Oh boy, we are so screwed. So you're gonna do a one? You're gonna do that one-handed helmet catch, right? The backs are lined mm. up in an eye. It's gonna lead you to victory. Mm, not even close. I mean, they're only up seven. Pass is right. Still time. Yo, how do I? Oh, that's how. Oh, they're measuring it. Was it first down? Pull out the tape. The tape's out. They're running. They're running across the field. He's got a tape measure. I don't know why you didn't just pick the short line. Second and inches. I don't know why you went the far way. You could have like literally just walked two steps. Gotta get some exercise, man. Two and inches. Pass is right. The pass is complete. Damn, complete pass. We're totally gonna lose to the Browns. <laughs> We're so first fucked. First time for everything. We're so fucked, dude. Two tight end. Using motion. All right, I think it's time we played a little dirty. 
bring in. I say this ain't blitz. Damn it. He got stopped in his you can play as a team of mummies. Yeah, Are you sure you're not thinking of Blitz now? Yeah, that sounds more... Yeah, that sounds totally Blitz. To Where am I going? Where do I go? What do I do? How do, how do I play? Oh, shit. Oh, they got two-yard gain. All right. Well, shit. Most of the teams in stadiums are fictional, like the Mummies and the Marshals. Each fictional team has its unique type. For instance, the Mummy players would be Mummies, and the Marshals would be actual Cowboys. Oh, come on, guys. Two of you just ran past him. Come on, now. I'm back. How many balls have we kicked? Mm, none. none. Unless you count the one we used to give them... Uh, to return to them. The kick is up. The extra point is good. Oh boy. The old Madden games had secret teams like that. A team of mummy Aztec Warriors, team of Frankenstein monsters, team of mummies, team of cowboys called the Marshals. Number twenty eight. Sounds about right. Number Sounds a bit like uh hits used to have. NHL hits. I guess, but hit, but hits heads. was more of a goofy kind of game. Yeah. Twenty-four yard gain. Let's see if we can do it this time. Uh, let's go with the T post. Oh, he's not open. That's gonna be an interception. He knocked that one down. No. He did a nice job of catching up with that one and breaking it up. I like you ended the call Second command. <laughs> what? Kid's really going at these <clears> games tonight. Someday he'll finally defeat his demons. As well, maybe his good <laughs> pal Dan, or uh, maybe his good pal Dan, or, go ma or that other man. guy. What was his name? I can't recall. But I think he was Karibro. Can help him confront those most vile thoughts and most vile games. He's open. Right. Nope. Damn it! That JPEG got in the way. Third and ten. This is Ball not going well. Yard line. To no one's surprise. The backs are lined up in an eye. The handoff. Shit! I didn't realize it was. I picked the wrong play. Oh, that's a big loss. That's a real big loss. He didn't get much on that. Oh, never mind. Eight. That's not too bad, but it's still bad. By that defense, he needs a little protection from his line. Uh, I need just to kick because this is fourth down. Why is why is punt just not an option? Or am I just thinking of blitz again? Uh, I think you're thinking more. Yeah, you're thinking blitz again. Do I a little? No, there it is. Special little... punt. Oh. Shows how little I know about. Football. Oh, check out this golf swing meter. I'm so screwed. <laughs> Do I look like I know what a JPEG is? I just want a picture of a god dang hot dog. In the game, lets you play as EA staff members. Oh ten. man. Ball on the 37 yard line. Damn, that ball got some hang time. Go with the dime play. Let's go with the prevent. Prevent dimes. Only you can prevent money. Passes left. Nice. Nice shove, Abraham. And that was the first quarter. It is 14 to nothing. We are getting our asses kicked by the Browns. One of those rare sentences you thought you'd never <laughs> say. Hot. Hot. They're going low. Oh, no. We have a marker down. The referee wants to discuss. It. Did I cause a penalty? Are you fucking serious? Pass interference. Oh Three God years. damn it. You're yeah. using too much ass whooping. Oops, I didn't know. Nope. Okay, cool, whatever. This is going well. 
I can tell. And he is sacked behind the line. The couch has been sacked. Lots of quarterbacks. Eleven yard That's loss, Jesus. Get hit like that. Mm. Right. I hope crash Hunt. right was a good idea. Hunt. Hunt. Pass is right. Complete. Flag! What? What? For what? Third and seven. Face masking. Ball on the I didn't even control the player that did that. The fuck? Who tied in? Back to I repeat, throw. I'm blind, right. I'm deaf, I wanna be a ref. <laughs> <laughs> nice, Big Dre. Fourth and eight. I feel like I'm learning so much and so little about actual football right now. Shit, are they going for the punt? They did! Randy Browns, kick the baby. Out of bounds punt. Way to go, Browns. Ball on the 14 yard line. Hmm. Let's go form big. Let's go for the patented mountain curl. Is that a Canadian play? I guess. Who tied in? Oh no, I knew they punt, but I just more that they punted off sides. Oh! Actually, yes, he is open. <clears throat> Was that in play? Incomplete. Fuck. Second and ten. Wow, that looked that actually, yeah, that looked close. Two tight end. Cut. Cut. Is he right. open? He's not anymore. I'm glad the guy I threw it to never turned around to actually try to catch the ball. Third and ten. This is not going well. <laughs> to no one's surprise. Two tight end. <laughs> oh shit! I keep losing it. I never pay attention when it's a tight end move. He got stopped in his tracks. Oh boy! And yeah, now we got to punt again. Talk about a disciplined defense. They stay at home and wait for the runner to come to them. I like that smug ass player that knocked you down. <laughs> Just does the little fucking Eddie Guerrero arm thing. <laughs> It's like, yeah, I did that. What are we gonna do about it? I'm gonna go till end of second quarter and then we're gonna stop. Because we're clearly not gonna make any progress in this. First and okay. ten. Ball on the 49 yard line. Okay, use it, go for it. They'll go from the I formation. Pass is left. Complete. That was complete, that hit his back! He did a nice job of grabbing that pass. I call yeah, bullshit. The just got thrown in there so hard it stuck. Ball on the 45-yard line. The backs are lined up in an eye. Let's go, team. Let's go, team. Here's the blitz. Pass is open. Right. Incomplete. Third and six. Somebody slipped Ball the ref the of 50. Starting to feel like it. Three wide receivers. And this is why I don't sport. Throws it to the middle. Hey, are you serious? You two just stood there? Oh. First and ten. I'm footballing poorly. I don't know if you can really football well. Uh, I can, sure. I clearly can't. Neither can the all Madden team. All Madden defense is hot garbage. No, it's because I'm hot garbage at football games. Pass is left. Oh, and then. <laughs> I missed, and then three of my players decided to just get in queue line behind the person who ca caught the ball. 
My God. Look at this. <laughs> Jesus, no one even tries anymore. And I missed, because you see me flying off behind him, too. Well, the Browns are one of the Super Bowl. Good news, guys. <laughs> the kick is up. The extra point is good. Why wasn't there an XFL game? Did it even last long enough to even warrant that? Oh, how long? XFL? Yeah, that wasn't even a year. That was like a single season. Cleveland gets set to kick it off. <clears throat> John, you have saved Ohio. <laughs> Finally, someone had to do it. Had to be me with my shitty playing. <clears throat> what the heck is XFL? XFL was um a was what Where's Vince McMahon built as an alternative or alternate eh, alternative to the NFL. And goddamn, was it a colossal failure? Mm-hmm. Lasted not even a year after its inaugural season. Oh, fuck. I didn't throw it in time. And yes, the same Vince McMahon, the wrestling guy. Not that there's another fucking Vince McMahon out there. I mean, there's Shane McMahon. He survived a plane crash. Oh, please. He's jumped off higher and lived. Let's be real. Who tied in? A helicopter bump is nothing for him. Oh, did I make any gain on that? Or is that still a loss? That's still a loss. No, gain of five yards. Shame we had went back ten earlier. The Browns are calling a timeout? Bullshit. I finally gained yards, and they're like, okay, we got to stop this. Can't let him make any more progress. He might understand how to play the game momentarily. So apparently this came up on Tom's cookie as well. Tonight it did? Yeah. That is hilarious. Back to throw. Passes right. Oh, that's a bad pass. Well, technically there was Vince Senior. Oh. Okay, was he alive at the time though? Has John gotten a first down at all? No. Fuck, we're already on fourth down actually. Uh, I'm not going to be able to make 15 yards at this rate. <clears throat> well. Well, at this point I might as well just try something stupid. Is it like 30 yards in NFL blitz for a first down? Yeah. Wow. Although, to be fair, it was actually easy. Yep. Ah, well, I did say it was stupid. The quarterback is well, very upset after that one. Let's see what happens. Memphis had an XFL team. Why the heck? You can out? even see my player actually put his hands down to catch the ball, and then the other guy just gets it. Ball on the 35-yard line. It's just like, lol, no. Basically. <laughs> if you throw it far enough, it's basically a punt. The <laughs> Oh, they're going for a run. Gain of four yards. Second and six. I, I feel like I'm very faintly starting to get it, but not even remotely getting it at the same time. I've never felt so, like, lost, it might be the better term. John, are you sure you didn't pick the Browns? <clears throat> yeah, I'm beginning to wonder. They'll go from the I formation. Oh man. Pass is left. The pass You are slightly getting it. Am I? Cause that just happened. <laughs> Hashtag finish the fight I'm seeing in chat. <clears throat> Here comes Do we ever see what difficulty A is on? Normal. And at the halftime, the Browns are winning 21 to nothing against the best team in the game, apparently. And on that note, let's leave. <laughs> no more of this. Agreed. Sport Thank sports you. happened. I'm bad. 
Oh, no halftime show? Nope. Not even. This is why I don't usually stream actual sports games. Although I'm better at hockey. <laughs> I hesitate to say that. We need to see Gaka. <laughs> I don't think that's <clears throat> happening. All right, let's go to the cookie. You know, technically this game never ended, so the Browns did not officially get a win. Show off the EA team? I'm sure they look it's aesthetically the same. What was the code for the EA team? Uh, let me look it up. Hey, we gotta learn about ABCs first. Yeah, oh. pro, pro is normal difficulty, right? I think, I don't know. Okay, so the code is in the game, but where do I enter said code? Uh... Good question. User profiles, maybe? <clears throat> maybe? Enter the following codes at the secret code screen. Oh, good, the secret code screen. That we cannot find. Two thousand had codes. Two thousand one had the card system. You are better at golf than that as a sport. True. I would much rather be playing golf than Madden. Uh, yes. How do I reach this secret code screen? That would be helpful. That would be, but I don't see it. Just really? Oh my god. Huh? Yeah. What's, I don't what's see the code it. to access the code screen? <laughs> To start, press any key. Where's the any key? There's no code screen despite what GameFAQ says. 2001 does not have cheat codes. 2000, however, does. Okay, so... <coughs> so, I guess we're not seeing that. Well. Alright. But now, how will we learn about our ABCs? GameFAQ strikes again. There is a minus, there is a thumbs down on game facts for it though, so. Well, there you go. Well, then we just sent Madden to the void. All right, boys, what's your games? Um, I'm going to try Banjo Kazooie again. All right, Banjo Kazooie, Grunty's Revenge for the Game Boy Advance. Ryan, what about you? I'll loop back to Skullgirls again. Skullgirls on Steam and the following <laughs> five games, starting with Dragon Guard 3 for the PS3. Ew. Made by the creator of Near Automata. That's a beat em up, isn't it? Yeah. It's not an RPG. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. It has RPG elements, I know that. Did you buy that game or was it sent to you? Uh, I bought all the Madden games because I'm trying to collect all the N64 games. Oh, that's right. Uh, do I miss, I think, asked how you got the Madden 2001 copy? He says he sent you a, uh, a football game. Uh. I don't know. <clears throat> I thought this was one I got. How close are you to finishing the N64 library? I'm missing three games. Uh, I believe Green Day Rocks has two of them for me at Con Bravo, and I just had to figure out how to get find the remaining one. Which really, I could probably just buy it off eBay, but there's the possibility of like fake copies, so it's just like ridiculous now. Because there's a bunch of repros going around for N64 now. And of course, it's it's a sports game I'm missing. It's I'm missing Interna International Superstar Soccer 2000. I believe is the one game I'm missing now. Yeah. Uh, game number two. That's an RPG. Duke Nukem Manhattan Project for the Xbox Live Arcade. Ooh, that is a good game. How many N64 games are there? North America has like 296 or something like that. It's, I believe it is under 300, but like only like two or three under. Game number three. PlayStation Move Heroes for the PS3. <laughs> Game number four. Donkey Kong Country Returns 3D for the 3DS. And last but not least, Genji, Dawn of the Samurai for the PS2.
<laughs> oh boy, I have no idea what's gonna happen. Neither do I. The PS1 has 13, 35, or 55 games in English. Yeah, that's why I'm not ever collecting all the PS1 games. I'll that's just that. asking for trouble. Do you have Clay Fighters Sculptor's Cut? And if so, how much did you pay for it? Too much is the answer, and yes, I do. Uh, I actually have two copies, but I'm getting rid of the second one. I'm selling the second <laughs> one. I was about to say, would you guys believe me when I say he was getting rid of the other one? Yeah. Whoa, actually, this is interesting. Wow, that, yeah, that's... Were you just watching how oops, many times oops, that flipped? Oops, I picked the wrong button. Yeah. I'm gonna vote for this. Currently in the lead, though. I see why you guys are commenting on that. Wow. Currently in the lead is Donkey Kong Country <clears throat> Returns 3D. 105 votes, 23%. Right behind it, though, is Skullgirls. 99 votes, 20%. Uh, third place, PlayStation Move Heroes. 81 votes, 16%. Fourth place, Banjo Kazooie Grunty's Revenge. 59 votes, 12%. Fifth place, Looks to Be Dragon Guard 3. 55 votes, 11%. Then Duke Nukem Manhattan Project. 51 votes, 10%. And in last place, Genji, Dawn of the Samurai. 46 votes, 8%. The gap between Donkey Kong Country Returns and Skullgirls is very small and shrinking because it's 139 to 128. It is 10 votes or less. In fact, Skullgirls is making a push. 143 to 135. We are going to need a timer on this. Oh boy, do we. Do you have your backup timer? Yeah, I got my backup timer. My phone's turning on now too, so I'll have that uh, the regular one available in a bit. Okay. Uh, a minute and a half, starting now. Oh. Wow, they're like, <clears throat> they are neck and neck right now. 159 to 158, 161 to 158, Donkey Kong is holding on a very tenuous lead right now. Oh, this is close. DK's getting, getting some push votes too, they want to keep I, that lead. They're getting push votes because some people realize we played Skullgirls last week, so they don't want to do it again. <laughs> but <laughs> but it's like. real close either way. 50 seconds left on the clock. Oh, yeah, yeah, those, oh, they return those push votes are taking it away from uh, from even 1%. I mean, it was your choice anyway. I know, I know. I just love playing. It's really <laughs> fun. <laughs> We've played it a bunch off street, honestly. Yeah. I know, after last week, a bunch of people went out and got it. <laughs> All right, we've got 25 seconds left on the clock. Less than 30 votes separate. 206 to 177, the push might've been enough. It's looking like it's gonna be Donkey Kong Country Returns. No problem here. Yeah, it's ahead by 50 votes now. 220 to 179. Wow. Three, two, one, that's time. Donkey Kong Country Returns 3D is the winner. It was, briefly, it was briefly in first, but I won't complain about DK. I know a bunch of people wanted to push it because Donkey Kong Country or Donkey Kong gifts are on the the wall right now, so that makes <laughs> sense. Fair. Well, there you go. Donkey Kong Country Returns for the 3DS is the winner, so we will go ahead and get that set up here in a sec. But first, let's see if we got any eggs to worry about. What the hell is that top left gift from? Top left? Um, I think that's the Mega Man cartoon. I think. Nice. It's the same art style. So it's Ruby Spears something. Uh, where do we leave off? I think we left off at Talcon Hero. Uh, or maybe not. How long were we playing football? <coughs> Because uh, I don't remember saying Mothra Man 54 for 24, Gunzuka the Ferret subbed, Malset for 4, A Dude 3 for 46, Bandit Keith for new, and Noob Slayers 6 for new as well. Thanks a lot, guys. Uh, let's see if that egg that Kuza had finally made it through. Uh, well, not if my list is screwed up like that. Yep, there they are. Uh, Chris and Wesker find an egg. No, I don't want to click it. I want to listen to it. Come on now. 
this new update to Dropbox is acting a little janky at times. This is Chris and, uh, Chris and Wesker find an egg. <laughs> Wesker! Guess what? What? Can you keep a secret? Maybe. What is it? This way! Look! Impressive! See? Isn't that neat? What is it? I don't know, but I found it first, so it's mine. What's that up there? Is that an egg? Could be. It sure looks like something to eat, doesn't it? Hmm. I wonder how this works. Hey, hey, don't be so callous! If you don't know what it is... Why? What's wrong? Well, I'm not sure. I just think that if we don't really know what it is, we shouldn't... Get sloppy! It might I love us. how many well, Canadians are realizing what this is. You know that some things yeah. are wheat, and some things are... Chaff. And I think if we don't know, we should ask... Ask who? Somebody who knows about stuff like this. Oh, you mean like... Sheva! Or... Jill! Yeah, or somebody else we trust. We don't have to be... Pathetic! But we do have to... Be more careful! Just because somebody leaves something lying around, doesn't mean it's okay for us to play with. Well, I found it, so I get to tell first! Hey, wait for me! <laughs> Reach your home! <laughs> A message from Concerned Children's Advertisers. I love how you left that part in, too. Nice. And since I feel bad for him, I'll also play Kusa's version of House Wesker. It's nighttime in a kitchen just like yours. All is quiet. Or is it? The North American House Wesker is found throughout Africa and the eastern United States. House Wesker are very superior creatures and are rarely seen. But they would become a god <laughs> if provoked. They come out at night to search for food, water, and materials for their nests. The favorite foods of the house Wesker are eggs, eggs, and the crumbs from egg on toast. They build their nests in bedroom closets using Uroboros, wheat, and bits of human. The nests have to be very soft and warm. House Wesker kill about 16 humans today. That looked really impressive. But you knew I am a god. Didn't you? That's why it was in your best interest to assist me. Kind of like you just did. A message <laughs> from concerned children's advertisers. God, I heard the zombie sound in the background too. <laughs> Alright, we'll see you guys in a bit for Donkey Kong Country Returns 3D. <laughs> Shazibi. What up, chat? Hit us. What he said. Hi, buddy. Not literally. What is the bagel doing? Shazubi, there you go, translucent. What does your raffle cop go? I don't know what that one means. What do you think of John Madden? Yeah, I'm sick of him. John Madden. <laughs> John Madden. John, John Madden. Madden. <laughs> I feel like we have to play that video just so people at least understand what we're quoting. But it's a dumb video, and it's it, you could basically just listen to the audio. What's your favorite pay per view slash NXT takeover? Question. WrestleMania 17. Con, would you like to attend if you had the time or money? I would love to go to a PAX, honestly. I would love to go to uh, Otacon. Or, yeah, Otacon, because Otacon is the person. The character. <laughs> any convention, because I haven't been to any of them ever. Ah, <clears throat> oh, shit. What is, no, actually, someone already linked it to me on Twitter, so I can just literally click on it, which is awesome. Someone saved Favorite? me the trouble. Favorite DK game? I love Donkey Kong Country 3, actually. That was really good. Played that a lot. Diddy, Diddy Kong Racing. I was thinking about that. That's not a Donkey Kong game. That's Diddy Kong. It counts. No, it doesn't. It's not Donkey Kong. It's in the same universe. No, it doesn't. It's not Donkey Kong. Oh my Boy. god, you too. <laughs> Master saying, Ryan, why would I hit you? Dan would kick my ass, to which I answered, no, I wouldn't. Go nuts. Favorite Kong member? Cranky. Funky. You probably played Funky Kong on the Flame Rider in Mario Kart Wii, didn't you? Absolutely not. I played Rosalina on the Flame Rider. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> much better. 
Of course you did. <laughs> Stand asking you, Ryan, if you're ready to throw down, son. Nah, I'm alright. Thanks for offering, Stan. I was gonna say, you, you're really, really convincing sounding. <laughs> <laughs> Kong, they said Hitler Kong. No, that's a timeout. Any. Dan, I'm a wimp and a pacifist. Hmm. That's just an easier ass kicking. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm a heel! Uh huh. You really expected anything less? <laughs> Alright, um. We should be back. Yes, we are. Okay, so I'm going to play the audio from the Moonbase Alpha thing that I keep quoting the John Madden thing from, because really all you need is just the audio. Oh, yeah. For for an obvious reason once you start hearing <coughs> it. So here's the thing. Moonbase Alpha, I don't know if it still has it, I hope so, uh, basically had text-to-speech. And, of course, in the hands of the Internet, that never goes well. <laughs> They just started putting pie in. Oh, this is the part where it just sucks for a second here. Turn that down. Such a good video until they just slow down on the UG. It just sounds awful. <coughs> God, I forget how long this part takes. Holy shit, all right. Favorite Bender quote is do a flip. It's just so dumb. And so that's whenever you hear me say, John Madden, John Madden. It's a reference to that. <laughs> uh, also, I forgot to show this. Um, which is the preview editor set up correctly? Yep, sure enough. Um, Lady Juxposition was working on a variant of uh, an icon based off my Twitter icon of Dan Smith. So like a nice, nice silhouette character. Here's some preview pictures of it. I think I might actually have part of it cut off. I can see most of it. Alright, cool. Let's go. To apparently Street Pass. Also, why is there a tiny chat in the... Oh, it did it again. Hang on. <clears throat> You'll never guess what that's actually supposed to be. <laughs> supposed to be Wesker. I never would have guessed. Stick to title. There we go. I should fix it. So can we suggest Street Pass Me Plaza for the next game? No. <laughs> <laughs> I think I have to turn this up a little bit. Should be good to go, though. <laughs> you will give me a tiny chat. I didn't even know you had a setup for 3DS streams here. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, shit. How long ago was this? Have you had this? Maybe three years? Yeah, I got it in the apartment in the first year. Hmm. Uh, I guess we just picked Donkey Kong Country Returns, because I don't see 3D. 
I mean, it's just straight up a 3D port, or a 3DS port, isn't it? Basically, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Alright, so that's the file when I was originally playing the game. So we'll start a new game. New mode. In this mode, Donkey Kong has three hearts by default, and there is a wider variety of items available for purchase at Cranky's shop. Note, you can't change modes after starting a new game. Original mode. In this mode, you play with the same rules and settings as the Wii version of Donkey Kong Country Returns. New mode or original mode? New mode. New stuff. Yeah. Why not? Uh... <laughs> Oops. I didn't read donations. Whoops. I screwed up. Alright. Well, we're in the game now, so... Uh, there, there is actually one donation. I'll read it out quick. It's from RJ. I was in my high school marching band, and when we would play at our school football games, I would always yell football whenever we made a touchdown, and my bandmates would look at me and be confused. I always smiled because they had no idea. Nice, RJ. Real nice. Let's go new so, mode. Is oh, yeah, this is gonna... two players. I forgot about this. So the red message is just going to be, uh... <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to be John, John Madden. John Madden. What are the controls for this game again? Uh, let's do control pad. I prefer the control pad, honestly. Crouch, ground pound, roll. Oh, it's the shoulder buttons? God, I forgot how weird this game controlled. God, this was my problem with the Returns game, at least the first one. The control scheme was just super awkward, no matter what system you played on. Okay, go for it. Meanwhile, you'll be missing this loading screen and some cutscene. Cutscene hype! Here is a volcano. It has exploded. Everyone died. A mask grew out of the egg. Along with a bunch of drums. And whatever that is. The audio is going to sound a little weird because I, I think the setup we're using doesn't have, like, a bass channel for some reason. It's very treble heavy, I've noticed, so it's going to sound a little awkward. No, they've stolen a giraffe and an elephant, and they've stolen all our bananas. The squirrels were in on it too, I knew it. The Nintendo wearing Diddy Kong decides to go check what's up. Oh, that's just rude. They were stealing them from the cave underneath their hut. Mm hmm. Diddy Kong's angry. He's gonna go get some bananas. Meanwhile, Kong. We're meandering off with our bananas. Oh no! You're being hypnotized. <laughs> I forgot how stupid this cutscene is, but it's awesome. He looks at the people, look at the camera like, what the fuck is this guy doing? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> this clown? Hey. Just smiles. And we start the game by mashing X and Y. Oh, there's the base! We found the base! Donkey Kong. I thought this was run. What? What is... What? It didn't save my control change? Really? Wow. S seriously? Oh, I had to press A one more time, so I fucked up. All right, I'm going home. I gotta turn on the TV he first. Back to his home planet. Get down to the music.
really likes this music. Alright, let's go. Check the banana hoard. I can't believe it! The banana hoard's empty except for this one puzzle piece and this thing I have to breathe on. I did the same thing in that. Yeah. It's weirdly therapeutic to actually just start dancing to the music there. I mean, I know I can L and R, but I'd rather... rather jump up there. It's gonna take me a sec to remember the controls here, so I apologize. Because again, like, because someone, I'm someone who grew up with the country games, I played them a ton. So, the, the amount of how weirdly different this controls always throws me off, too. In and the just, few times I've played this game, in the Wii version, it, it's felt, like, largely the same. Like, the muscle memory is never really gonna go away. My, my problem was I hated that you had to uh, shake the Wiimote to roll. Because that's usually how you get around in the Donkey Kong Country games. So it just having to constantly shake really sucked. At least we don't have Waggle in the 3DS version. Correct. That's I'm grateful for that. Just believe me. Ah, yes. I just need to waggle my 3DS. Can't see a damn thing on the gameplay, but I think I'm doing something, right? <laughs> the other thing that messed me up was the, the high jumping in uh, Returns. Isn't the same again as Donkey Kong Country series because in that game you just hold down the jump button and you get the high jump here you have to tap That's weird. yeah and uh, if when you get to I think it's the first Kong stage you have to traverse around by doing that and it really messes with you if you don't actually know that you're supposed to be doing it might have fucked up getting this puzzle piece now that I think about it Nope, got it. Oh, balloons are one-ups. Pigs are checkpoints. And you can roll in midair to get an extra, to get a bit more distance on your jumps. All right, let's get Diddy here. Now we've got a rocket pack. It's not a very good one. That's that's the problem with Diddy's Rocket Pack. I believe it gets way better in Returns, but the, uh, the or sorry, in uh, Tropical Freeze. But all I remember about Tropical Freeze is Dixie Kong being way better than the other two Kongs. Although I think Cranky actually is the one you use if you want to speed run. I yeah, that sounds right. Why is that? Because he's got uh, Pogo, and I believe the other thing with the Pogo is that you don't lose speed when you use it, so you can get across any, like, dangerous, uh, territory without getting any damage. Mm. Yeah, I think that's, it's been a while since I've seen uh, a run of that. People will have to clarify that for me, because it's been a while since I've even seen a run of Tropical Freeze. Yeah, I think the last time I saw a run of Tropical Freeze was, like, a couple years back. I've never even seen past the first couple worlds. I watched when the Grumps played it a little bit, but I've never had it, so I never got to play it farther than that. Oh, in Tropical Freeze. I'm yeah. Okay, hold it. Hold all that. Doesn't it also ignore spikes? Yeah, that's the other big thing about Cranky Kong. He ignores spikes. Oh, and here's the other thing about the the, the mini games or like the the bonus rooms in this one. They're all, or most of them at least, are timed, and you in fact have to collect everything to get the puzzle piece. And you only get one shot, from what I remember. You have to replay the stage if you screw up. But I could be wrong about that. It's been a while. And I think they also fixed that in Tropical Freeze. Again, not sure.
Oops. It's one try. Okay, I am. Dead. Yeah, so now there's like two collectibles. There's there's Kong and there's uh, the puzzle pieces. I believe you need all the Kong letters to get to the secret stages, and I do not remember what getting all the puzzle pieces actually does. And we missed the puzzle piece anyways. I do not remember where the one I missed is. That's weird. Even worth going back? Nah. 14 banana bunches! Which puzzle piece did we miss? Five. We missed number four. So that was way back then, jeez. Okay, all the puzzle pieces unlock stuff in the gallery. If you wind up dying before passing a checkpoint, you can have another attempt at doing the bonus round, but otherwise it is one try. Oh, now we can... Nope. How far do we have to get before we get to Funky's? Or Cranky's shop, I guess, in this one? Okay, it's just the next stage. You need to sound disappointed by the bananas. That's how Masay did it. Oh, that's why the banana joke, where the banana joke came from. Okay. The one thing I will say about returns is it seems like they actually hit stuff a little bit better than they did in uh, the rare Donkey Kong countries. So I remember, like, I had I struggled to find certain items when I played. And then there were other ones where they just, it seemed like, wow, this is straight out of Rare's playbook. I don't know, I like Returns. I, my only problem with the, the Wii one was I hated the control scheme. Like, I found it real stupid you couldn't use a classic controller. That was the one thing I could never figure out, why they did not let you use the classic controller. And now with the 3DS one, I, they pretty much fixed my complaint. I just, at that point, I just never got around to actually finishing it, though, which was kind of a bummer. But as you can see, I clearly remember a couple things about this game. I played this game through, I think it was about six years ago or something like that, on a it, rental, uh, on when I was living with a couple of my buddies in a different house. And I just, I mostly remember it because we had one communal TV, and uh, I kept occupying it and dying. <laughs> over and over again when I was like in the end game and it just became a viewing experience for them to sit there and tell me how bad I was doing <laughs> oh so you were streaming without realizing it got it in a sense yes and eventually when I finished it was just like small round of golf club plus yay cool I now I never want to see this on my TV again take it back <laughs> well now you're seeing it on your stream instead much better <laughs> well, no, the, uh, on your that computer was, that was what they said <laughs> that day he was inspired. No, we're not going there yet because I know there's something up here. Is the camera panned. Oh god, this one. All right. Uh, chat, correct me if I'm wrong. Dave Wise was not on the first returns, correct? It was the second one. Because I know that they tried to mimic his music style, but I remember the music being way better in Tropical Freeze. Yeah, so they really went for, like, the Donkey Kong Country 1 music feel with this one. But, like, uh, when David Wise actually joined in for uh, Tropical Freeze, I feel like the soundtrack kind of escalated, and that became, like, one of the high points of the game. But also Returns, or sorry, rather, Tropical Freeze was hella difficult. 
I remember that being the one thing the game was known for, was just it apparently kicking everyone's ass. If it gets a port to the Switch, which I have no hope of specifically for, but if it does, I'm totally gonna buy it. Because I would love to actually play it because it's so damn hard. Yeah, I'm actually kind of surprised it uh, is not currently showing any signs of being re-released. Because, like, I've never heard a bad thing about it. People love the game. It was yeah, just on a the only bad thing so I heard poorly. was that it was hard. And and it was hard, yeah, so it's like, people love Donkey Kong. I think it could probably do damn fine if it got a Switch re-release. I like the little heh heh Donkey Kong makes whenever he gets the barrel. He sounds so happy. Uh, is there a secret to the right? I think so. There's just more bananas. Nope, there's the end. We needed that. Oh, you're crazy quiet, Dan. What did you just say? Oh, I'm sorry. Um, someone in the chat said, The problem is Nintendo doesn't seem too interested in giving simple re-releases anymore. Are you kidding? Look at the fucking Switch lineup. Uh, or maybe maybe Pokemon Tournament's really the only example for that. And Mario Kart 8. Yep. Yeah, I would, almost, I would have said Splatoon 2, but it seems like they actually tried with Splatoon 2. Because I actually like Salmon Run. What, I, what I've gotten to play of Salmon Run, I enjoyed. The only gripe I have so far with Splatoon 2 is how long it actually... It feels like it takes to actually get to the new weapons and stuff. Minecraft. Cave well, Minecraft's on every system. Cave Story's on every system. Is it on the Wii U as well? Uh... Yeah. Oh, you've actually got me on that one, I think. I feel like it was on the eShop as well. Because I feel like Cave Story is one of those games that gets released on every system now. Trying to recommend my sister video games, and I wanted to recommend Cave Story, but I couldn't find it when I looked it up online. See, here's how unsure people are. I've seen both no and yes immediately to the Cave Story on Wii U. Yeah. Minecraft, yes, Cave Story, no. And on the Wii, technically. I guess in that sense, yeah, you can just get it in the, the Wii shop. Yeah, but can you get to that? No, she has to jump into Wii mode on the Wii U, and then you can access that shop. Cave Story was never on the Wii? Oh, you're sadly mistaken on that one, Shadow War. That's where yeah. Cave Story Plus, like, launched. Yeah. That was 100% a Wii title. Cave Story's not on the Wii U. Wait, you can actually get to the Wii shop from... Yeah, just go to Wii, just go to Wii mode. Huh. Yeah, because I knew you could do Wii Mode, I just didn't know the Wii Shop was available through that as well. Hmm. Yeah, Cave Story was on the Wii, dude. That's where Cave Story Plus came from. That was the yeah. first that was the first official console it launched on, was the Wii. Alright, time to go to Cranky Kong Shop and get yelled at. It's about time you visit your frail old grandpa. Give me some of them shiny banana coins and you can pick through my old things. Oh my god, there's so much stuff here. There we go, how's that? Am I better? Yep. Because I had to, because my head, I just moved my head so slightly closer to my head, because I, I don't know if I've told this story, but um, the left side of my of my headset, it still works, and that's also the part that like actually is where the speaker is. Uh, it the plastic that holds it in as an actual headphone as like actual headphones broke apart on me. So Gross. my stepdad had to tape it. Yeah, so like you see this big like chunk of tape between the earbud or between the, the actual headphone and the band of it. And it's kind of obnoxious. But at least it still works, right? Oh yeah. I still hear out of both, and I can still talk just fine. All right, I paused for a second because my—if I hope it's still in this version. 
my favorite sound effect in this game is the sound Cranky Kong makes when you buy anything. So let's see, let's see if it's in this version. Use duct tape. Oh, that's not the one. He's supposed to go. Where's the one where he goes? Use duct tape, Dan or Ryan? I cannot tell. I am using. There it is. Oh, damn it! We talked over it. Sorry. Come on, you need to do it again, Cranky. Oh, it's alright. God damn it, right. you talked over it again! <laughs> Ryan! I was listening! <laughs> Last chance, I swear to God. Ah, oh, no, he didn't have it. Wait. No, I, there's nothing. There's no, I'm out of money. <laughs> well, there is a cool sound effect in there I really like. Someday you'll get to hear it. But not today, apparently. Mods are banned. I like how both of you did it too, in like separately. <laughs> That's what makes it funny to me. Was that you both, without even trying, talked over them. All right. Uh. <laughs> Ryan's banned from all TMNT, and now also DK things. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag blame Ryan. <laughs> and that's the thing is, I did hear it. That's why I spoke up. So no one else could? I mean, he didn't know it was going to happen again. <laughs> oh, man. Damn, people are starting to say that I'm moving down on your heel territory. No, oh, no. There could be more than one, but you won't be as good. <laughs> oh, wow, you too. Jesus. <laughs> I don't think we're going to get to the silhouette stage, unfortunately, before we have to switch over, but... Yeah, it's pretty late, dude. Uh, next cookie's probably going to be last cookie. That's fair. We're going for like five hours now. I mean, I had meant to actually start earlier, so that's the one downside to it. Fuck, yeah. this, is, this is making me want to play this game again. I might actually make this my travel game for Con Bravo. Although, I'm thinking of bringing my Switch, because uh, Ryan, you're the one who really wants me to bring my Switch so we can play Bomberman. Bomberman's. I don't know. I'll, I'll figure out whether or not I want to. I'm also sure there's probably going to be someone who wants to play ARMS. I'm sure Emil wants to play ARMS or something. How was that game? I like it. But, man, it's frustrating at times. I also hate how much money you need to actually unlock new arms for your, your players. That would be that would be my gripe with it, I guess. Crap, I didn't get my roll. Do this and or tropical freeze for the 52. Hmm. Hmm. Kind of, the game's kind of long, isn't it? Yeah, they're both pretty long. They're definitely more than one stream games. Yeah. Wait, Maybe I thought this was Final a... <laughs> Maybe. Uh, Final Fantasy V is already long enough as it is, and that's going to take up a lot of August streams. Yeah. I thought this was where you get Rambi. Am I wrong? Oh, he's down here. So you flip down here, you get Randy, and then you backtrack. Because Randy's immune to spikes. So you get here, you break these, and then Randy's supposed to be able to break that, isn't he? I thought. Oh, there it is. I was hitting the wrong button. And now we get the minigame. So 
That is gonna suck because I don't have the jetpack, so I have to be uh, careful with my jumps. More so than I had to before. Although the jumping gra like, feeling in this game is honestly really solid. Yeah, he says as he's running out of time and having a problem getting one of these banana peel banana bunches rather. If you end up doing another long game after Final Fantasy V, I think you'd love the new K DKC stuff. I mean, I've played both. I just never finished both. Uh-oh, turn around. Okay. I think we're definitely gonna need Diddy. Okay, got him. Which also gave us a full heal, I forgot about that. And now we should be, oh, we almost died. Uh-oh. Can Rambi not, I thought he could get on the fire guys for some reason. Guess not. How do I, I can't get that, can't, oh, I guess I can. Oh, good, it was nothing. Great. Little ditty. Now calm and Are you playing 3DS or Wii version? This is 3DS version. Nice. Done and done. I keep forgetting about the existence of this comic page on my lap that I've been trying to poke at. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I keep interrupting your work, Rod. It's not your fault. I mean, a failure, a failure in my ability to multitask. I was gonna technically it is my fault, because I'm the one who's playing the games here. I could have not joined. That is also true. There we go, we actually got all the puzzle pieces on this stage. What do the puzzle pieces do anyway? Uh, art gallery stuff, apparently. Ah. 14 coins! We'll, we'll take another attempt at Cranky Kong yelling at us. Unlike many people who believe Rambi is not immortal, he is, however, a very powerful demigod. Sweet Hercules, got it. This game has forced waggle, at least the Wii version does. Ryan is now banned from all Proton John streams for his own good. Aw, <laughs> oh, there's the silhouette stage. God damn it. Alright, let's see if I can get it to happen this time. There it is. That's what you talk about, right? Yes, you're safe. <laughs> neither, neither of you are going to be fired. You're fine. <laughs> <laughs> what item did I not buy? Jordan Jetson job security, man. I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> True, if anyone had job security, it was definitely George Jetson. <laughs> How many times has he been fired only to actually come back? Almost every episode, I feel like. Exactly. Oh, God, now I want to do the silhouette stage. Fuck. But we're definitely... Eh, we got time to do it. We'll do the silhouette stage. This will be the one. We can be fired. <laughs> In my opinion, the silhouette stage does not look as good on the 3DS as it does on the Wii. But it still looks real good. Uh, Zillanok, my ear doesn't watch over me to my knowledge. You wouldn't get that. He'd wish you luck in your future endeavors. Ah, damn, I forgot this had a silhouette stage. I should yeah, use they're this. They're really next good. Time. They're really good. Yeah. That's the one use thing. Uh, that's the one time. thing I'll definitely praise the Donkey Hunt the Return series for is art direction. Is holy shit. Yeah, because yeah, that looks really cool. Now I was just gonna say I should use this next time I give one of those talks. I have a section on silhouette, and this is exactly that in action. Wow, you talked about silhouette design and didn't bring up returns? That's surprising. I didn't. There's so many games, dude. I just didn't think about it. 
I hadn't played it in a long time, so. I thought there was a puzzle piece over here. I guess not. Unless. Nope. To flip over, is it just. Uh oh, well, bye, Diddy. You will be missed. The one good thing about having Diddy is that you get your max speed roll. Like, you can't continuously roll as DK. You need to be Diddy to, uh, like, running on top of you to pull it off. Which means I die because I keep forgetting I can't do that, even though I'm literally talking about it. More or less. shows up. Alright, even though this doesn't have David Wise music, it's still really catchy. I'm just a sucker for, like, smooth jazz music. Even if it's literally, once again, the goddamn Donkey Kong theme. Maybe I remembered that. Puzzle pieces have I gotten? One out of five, alright. Checkpoint. I don't think I'm gonna remember where any of the other ones are at this rate. Not that it matters, I've not exactly been doing about a thousand with this. I know there's one more silhouette on the stage, I believe, that I need to worry about the background on. Or is it down here? Oh, there's a piece there. I'm pretty sure I've already missed one if I'm running at 3 out of 5 and I'm only missing the G. Crap. There goes Diddy. What? Oh. Actually, no, maybe we'll get all the pieces on this one, too. Getting this real close. I'm not sure what the last one is. Oh, never mind, I think I found it. No, that's the G. I know at least the Kong letters aren't super hard to find, at least right off the bat. Later on, it gets a little more ridiculous. Yeah, I bought a lot. You can buy seven for ten coins at Cranky Store. Damn. They really make sure you have a lot of lives in this game. <laughs> it's very easy to lose them in some of the Oh stuff. yeah, I lost so many lives when I got to the first Kong stage. Because it took me so long to get used to the jumping, the bouncing mechanic. And that that's the big thing of that first Kong stage, is you're going to be bouncing on enemies like crazy. up. I think I missed the last puzzle piece. No, the puzzle piece is up there. I did fuck up. Shit. I can't get up there now either without Diddy or without having that piece back. 
nose on the big ass head. Yeah, it you can climb the the body and then there's a puzzle piece up there. I screwed up unless there's a random ditty I can use to hopefully get back. Does not look like it. Oh well. Thirteen coins. Was Donkey Kong Country your first game, Mr. John? No, 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 no. Uh, oh, there it is. You've been playing for a while. Why don't you take a break? Thanks, Nintendo. No, my first game was Pong. Trust me, I've been playing games for a while. Didn't you buy a DK barrel? You can use that, right? Or I could have used that. If memory serves me, you have to pick your inventory for your stage before you go in. So here, I'm just going to load this up the show. Notice how there's no... Like, I have three empty slots. Uh, you have to go to inventory and then pick what you want to actually put in there before you can even pick them. So now I can load up a DK barrel. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Whatever, we're done here anyways. So John's a million years old. Yes, that's the answer. I thought John's first game was Space War. Wow. Wow. Alright. Let's do it. Let's pick one more game. Let's go to the cookie one last time. Let's see what we get. Alrighty. Dan and Ryan, what are your games? Uh... Fuck it. Uh, Demon's Crest. <laughs> you finally caved. Yeah, I was, I was, say, well, I was impressed with your restraint for so long. <laughs> Ryan, what about you? Um, have you got Mega Man Zero? Yeah. Check that on there. Mega Man Zero for 3DS. Or sorry, uh, well, I do have the DS version as well. Uh, Mega Man Zero for the Game Boy Advance. Demon's Crest for the Super Nintendo and the following five games, starting with... So how did you manage to break Pong? <laughs> Invisible Ink on Steam. Hi, Bagel. Meow. Game number two. That's how chat. Invisible Ink. Fatal Frame 3, The Tormented on the PlayStation 2. Game number three, Game & Watch Gallery 2 for the Game Boy Color. Didn't the first one come up tonight? Yep. Nice. Hi, buddy. All right, so apparently we cleared 5% uh, of the game just then. <laughs> game number four, WarioWare, do it yourself for the DS. It's where you literally make your own WarioWare games, and Skitch actually won a contest for this. Oh, cool. He made an RPG. Unfortunately, you can't play them anymore unless you have a modded DS. Because the download service for the games it no longer exists. Aww. And last but not least, that's an RPG. Dragon Ball Z Budokai 3 for the PlayStation Hell 2. Hell yeah! This is a bit of a loaded cookie, honestly. It is. Holy shit. I'm glad. Uh, you know what's funny? Me and Ryan were on com- or like Ryan, I know I was on, but Ryan was also with me for that. When we did it last time. Did what? That, Budokai 3. Ah, uh, yes. That's funny. Oh wait. That's not Didn't we stream that last one before? Yes, we have. Uh, yeah, not too long ago, like a couple months. Pretty sure that I was yeah. just like, mostly... Keeping it quiet since I know nothing about Dragon yeah, Ball. Yeah, uh, Maya was, was also like, didn't Ryan also not enjoy Dragon Ball Z? That's just because he didn't, <laughs> he didn't grow up watching it. Alright. Last poll of the night. Let's see what our last game is going to be. Links on screen. I want to play all of these, if you want me to be honest. <laughs> that doesn't usually happen. Uh, I'm going to vote for that. Wow, I call bullshit. In the lead, unsurprisingly, is Budokai 3. Only 270 votes so far uh, overall. 97 of those are for Dragon Ball Z. Second place is WarioWare, do it yourself. 63 votes, 21%. Third place, Demon's Crest. 52 votes, 15%. Fourth place, Mega Man Zero, 50 votes, 15%. Fifth place, Fatal Frame 3, The Tormented, 31 votes, 8%. Sixth place, Invisible Ink, 22 votes, 6%. And in last place, Game & Watch Gallery 2, 12 votes, 3%. 
totally just realized Invisible Ink was a strategy game and I let it through, but whatever, we've done that before. Also, I kind of, I just like the aesthetic of Invisible Ink. I thought, like, I had to actually look at the stream. Yeah, sorry, it's, in it's incorporated. Yeah, I got it, cause, no, because I had to look at it because I was like, wait a minute, Invisible Ink? That's it's a stealth like... tactics game a la XCOM. What is the Game & Watch Gallery? It's literally just a bunch of Game & Watch games, right? Game & Watch Gallery 2 is like a bunch of updated Game & Watch games and the classic ones on there. Oh. Hmm. I think my mom actually had one of the Game & Watch games in her store at one point. I for, or, it was either in her store or she sold it on eBay. I forgot which one it was. She does both from the store she runs. Invisible Ink is more of a roguelike. Uh, yeah, but that's... Roguelike's not really a gameplay, like, it's still a tactics game. Yeah. But, like, Roguelike's like a description of the end, like... <sighs> Roguelike's an add-on, basically, for the genre it is, is the best way to put it. Yeah. Because th there's, like, Roguelike platformers, there's Roguelike exploring games, there's Roguelike tactics games, etc. I mean, if we really want to be technical, FTL's a strategy game, too. Yeah. Like, it's a Roguelike strategy. Yeah. Roguelike basically just means the stages are randomized, basically. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna put uh, a minute and a half on the clock. The gap between Budokai 3 and WarioWare is um, not too bad, actually. It's about 29 votes. A minute and a half on the clock, starting now. Let's see what happens. I'm not even mad Demon's Crest lost to Budokai. Because <laughs> I actually voted for Budokai this time. I know that we have a save file for Budokai 3 somewhere, so we'll probably continue that. I just have to figure out what memory card it's on. And I don't have a save for WarioWare Do It Yourself, so I don't know where we start with that. I guess you could say roguelike is a design choice, not a genre, maybe? That's probably the best way to put it, Bunglemore. Stages are randomized, you only have one life. One life is a big part of roguelikes. That is true. Yeah. All this coming, but I wanted to see Game and Watch. I mean, I was honestly interested in all of these as well. Alright, it looks like I don't even need to worry about the last remaining 30 seconds, honestly, because the gap has not changed. It looks like it's Dragon Ball Z all the way to the end. 158 to 133. There's 20 seconds on the clock, but I think I'll just cut it here. I'm just going to kill it. Votes are trickling in. Everyone's getting tired. It's about that time. So we'll play our last game and then we'll call the stream. Dragon Ball Z Budokai 3 is the winner. Get ready for some fighting games and f flying around. I, th I think we're still on Earth in our playthrough. I don't remember where I don't remember where we stopped. If I'm gonna be real, I don't think we fought Vegeta yet. Or that oh, might have been where we stopped. Yeah, I was about to say like we just got to Namek if we did that. All right, well, either way, let's go. Let's check eggs. Uh, I'm tired. Bullshit, I just woke up. <laughs> <laughs> James, I mean, this, is, <laughs> this is my noon, to be fair. This is like, I'm usually up for like another hour or two, but I have to start rolling back my sleep schedule because of the trip. Because we, our flight's at 6.30 in the morning on Thursday. So that's going to suck to dial back for, but really need to. JMJ, 3,000 for 10 months, and Red Dragon, 5,000 for 19. Thanks a lot, guys. Your egg this time around is courtesy of... I saw something about Xylanox saying he had a new one in there. Yeah, a couple of people left some new ones in. A lot of people just dropped some off. All right. There's two I need to do based on file names. There's three I have to do based on file names. The more I look, the more I find. Uh, let's start with the only one of the three that is audio only. From Xander, extra thick. Egg. Extra thick. That's exactly what I thought it was gonna be. Oh, I want to play this, but it says VOD warning. What the hell is it? You will give me a John man. Oh, that's why. That's why. Yep, that's that's very VOD warning.
Also, based on the name, this one kind of works out partially. Hang on a second. Do I have a preview editor ready for this? We should, since we did. Yes, I do. Perfect. This is from Xylanoc. Resident Evil Z abridged, which I can see why you'd be confused about since Robocop's on the front. Let's go. Quite the cutting edge piece of tech you got there. But I'm curious. Can it feel fear? Scanning. Processing. Results inconclusive. Let's fix that, shall we? Hell! I thought you had to have a pride to become a Uroboros like my dad. Oh, trust me. There's more than one way to realize the legend. <laughs> Push-ups, sit-ups, and plenty of juice. And besides, my heart is pure. Pure, unadulterated, badass. <laughs> yeah, more like pure, unadulterated. I need an egg. I heard that Alright. Ooh, and the other one is To the Void from Trojan Horse. Oh no, Mr. Pill! Oh no! Hang on. I'll get the popcorn. It's... Oh no. I'd love some prop... Popcorn? Popcorn! <laughs> I would love some popcorn too. Whoa! Yeah, straight up! Opening credits and everything, even the giant goofy face! And... Oh no, he's in the void! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> I should have fucking known the payoff was gonna be the goddamn falling down a pit goofy sound. Oh no! <laughs> Let's just nice. go to the fucking cookie. Oh god damn it! Uh, <laughs> I just got there. Nice. Should have known that'd be the payoff. See you guys in a bit from Dragon Ball Z Budokai Three. Uh, how many bridge jokes can we cram in thirty minutes? Let's find out, chat. <laughs> Is what someone else said earlier. We got a few minutes, but once the game starts, I'm probably going to be bailing, because I would mostly just be sitting here silently anyways. <laughs> That's fair. Anyway, questions? Favorite video game composer? I don't really know composers' names. That's oh. the thing. Yeah, same with me. I mean, Kirk Hope is kind of a celebrity in his own right on YouTube these days, because of places he's been a guest on. But there was, there was somebody that worked on Xenoblade and Super Mario RPG that I really, really liked. Uh, favorite video game OST? Oh, come on, dude. I can't do that one. Yeah. I, there's so many single pieces out of song, out of games. Fant I yeah. I mean, I love all of the Shantae games, but I also love Persona Q to death. And I'm just I talking about music. Although, if you want me to really pick one, I'd probably go with The Legend of Dragoon. Dark's theme is just so good. Bridge puns? I can give you the abridged version. We can cross that bridge when we come to it. Nice! Nice! Although I will say the one song, uh, although, uh, let's go away from Daytona USA is fucking fantastic. Do, 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 do. Daytona. Big Drag, my name is two U's, not two R's. That's why I didn't uh, do a proper tag. That throws me, that throws me right the hell off. It has everybody for years. I don't understand why. It's just, it's, you're just doing the wrong letter. Because... Because when you have two U's, it's like coo, uh, like coo. but like yeah. most people say cur. Like most people Either like one's say, fine. <laughs> yeah, like most people say curry bro though, that's why they say they probably include the second R. Who is your waifu and why are they trash? I don't have a waifu, I disagree with the entire concept of waifus and I'll go to war over it. Not waifu wars, war against <laughs> the waifus. <laughs> <laughs> uh. 
Yes, I am Big Drag. Thank you very much. If you could put any celebrity into a sports game as a commentator, why would it be Christopher Walken? Hell yes, I would so support that. Either that or William Shatner. Favorite Kingdom Hearts game? Uh, two. Easily. A waifu will now come for me? Sure, I won't say no to it. I don't have a girlfriend. What if they're illegal? Love finds that a, a way. That's a... Whoa! <laughs> Do you prefer husbandos? Uh, no, I don't. I, I don't. I don't like the whole just up on a pedestal thing that comes with waifu-ing. <laughs> what? We, you came back to waifu talk, John. Waifu talk and pistols? <laughs> Wait. Are you shooting waifus? Is that the takeaway here? <laughs> I'm declaring war on waifus as a concept. What about wives? <laughs> Those are fine. Mm -hmm. World what? World Waifu won. Oh my god, really? Oh wait, what the fuck? Oh. Waifu War won, that's what it was. It's so big, we won't need a second one. Yeah. History of Japan, or not history, but History of the Entire World is such a good video. Do, do I like anything? I like a whole lot of things. Just not... Ryan doesn't know happiness anymore. He's been on the internet for too long. That's the takeaway. And you all know that I have no more happiness in my soul, so really, that's why he's here. <laughs> a few giant things that everybody loves that I never got into. Someone's asking John who's your wife. I can answer this one. Goofy. Pe pedestals, not pistols. No, no, I'm sticking with what I heard. I heard pistols, <laughs> I'm sticking with that. I don't care if it's wrong, it's what I'm sticking with. Ryan's <laughs> up on a pistol over waifus. Bagels, bagels murping, he sees something. Waifu destroyed Ryan's life. <laughs> <laughs> the great waifu war took many lives that day. In the year 95-95 during the great waifu wars. Alright, we don't have any donations to worry about, so let's just go straight to it. Dragon Ball Z, Budokai 3. It's very loud. I would expect to follow me. At this point, I shall be ducking out because I just sit here silently for it anyways. You mean you don't want to see me just punching and kicking things and blowing up rocks? Nah, because I don't even like the way Dragon Ball looks. Bye, chat. <laughs> That's the note he chose to go out on. He willingly wow. did that. You can continue from a previously saved game. So I heard a mod, a mod position opened up. <laughs> we'll be doing mod trials to later today. You'll adjust the game settings any way you want. Alright, I just need you guys to fill out this form saying your name, your age, and why I'm the best mod. I mean, what? Really? <laughs> okay, maybe he did outheal me with that play. Damn. I, th I think he did. I think he got you on that one, dude. Uh, I guess we were Goku last time we did this. Yeah, I, rem I do remember that much. Is this the control stick spinning to get them up, or is it mash buttons? It's control stick spinning. Uh, control stick and buttons, I want to say. Oh, it's both. Uh, pick me, I actually enjoy things. Once there, Once they, there, they confront the evil Frieza, Frieza, who is also who searching is also for Dragon Balls. For the Dragon Balls. <laughs> I forgot Krillin at one point wore a hat with his gi. He looks, yep. like, a, he looks like a weird weeb trucker. Helpless against Freeze's Weed mind. Trucker, they hell have no choice yeah. but to join forces with. Someone Vegeta. make that into an, into an animated series right now. <laughs> Weeb Trucker. <laughs> Meanwhile in space, Goku is punching the air. Goku has healed and is headed for Namek. That is cringe channel worthy. <laughs> Name Nak Gamer age 20 reason because you're a funny guy. Eh, wrong use of your you're out. He's obviously nesting a gi, John. Guy, John. <laughs> Jesus. Frieza summons the Ginyu Force. They all pose, and that's about it. I can feel it. I keep forgetting everything has is dialogue. I keep getting ready to talk, and then I realize the game's gonna do it for me. Time to see if all that training at a hundred times gravity paid off. I'd say Dan's the best mod after all with how often he walks himself into embarrassing himself is pretty hilarious. <laughs> Hang on guys, I'm coming. 
Hey, guess who doesn't remember the buttons for this game? Square is punch, triangle is kick, hold X for guard, uh, circle is energy blast. Planet Namek. Sorry I was late, Krillin. Thanks, Goku. But what's the use? Uh... I'll just get beat again. <laughs> You're right, Krillin. You suck. <laughs> They're too strong. If I remember Even right, Vegeta's having a hard time. We four punches and then them. energy is Kamehameha. I thought Vegeta was on their side. Uh, well, he was, but <laughs> Dan's the best part because he's not Don't Ryan. Speak. Damn. Your mind. <laughs> I can see what a oh my God! Look at what you've done. You. I don't regret it. Listen, you know I don't regret anything I do. I, I know. <laughs> Sometimes you go a little too far, but you have no shame. <laughs> you have no shame, which is both a blessing and a curse. You just let me handle I don't know, man. You, okay? <laughs> I don't know. I was pretty ashamed of what Ryan said during the waifu talk. You just weren't here to hear it. You were ashamed of the waifu wars? Uh, Mainly because of his response. The way he just... Damn. Oh, there it is! <laughs> I found a Dragon Ball. I found the four star on Namek. For some reason, that's a little weird. Namekian Dragon Balls, basically. I no, guess. but no, it's it's no, it's with the others. Right. It's with the right. regulars. Right. Took me a second. It's been a while since I played three. I am trying to remember how the fuck to control this game, the flight mode at uh, least. Uh, it's, a, it's a little awkward. If I remember right, Square lets you open up your custom skills. Alright, I found the Dragon Radar! I already had it, I thought. I have it again! I think as if you don't find it on Earth, you find it there. Like, you basically find but it in each arc. I thought I had it, though. You... I think I... it's just a spare, like, they give you another opportunity to get it. I think. Just the life of conversation had to go down. Poorly, as you would expect. Y yeah. Yeah. All right, Dan, you know, oh. What, should I go to this battle point? Fight these rocks? Uh, Too late, I'm fighting rocks. <laughs> I was about to say, I think it's just either a Cyberman or like a Ginyu Force member or some shit. Fighting rocks it is, hell yeah. Why do I ask what the Dragon Rider even does? It lets you find Dragon Balls. <laughs> Dan's the best Marcus Eek Bags. He's Final 5. <laughs> <laughs> One time! For a very good reason. Defeat the enemy. Gonna get my ass kicked by one of these things because I don't remember how to play. Oh, and yeah. I waste Double I've... tapping forward and back. Or forward or double tap back is dashing, obviously. Kame Kame. Kame Kame, how are you over there? Kame Kame Kame. Kame 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 Kame. <laughs> what is charge again? Uh, hold guard, double tap back. Never mind, I'm like KO Ken. I screwed up. Yeah, you hit punch, kick, and guard at the same time. I, I hit I hit L2, actually. Which end? But it looked badass, so I don't give a shit. Oh wait, no, that's hyper mode. That is not uh, the KO Ken transformation. Now I've yeah. KO Ken. Now I've KO Ken. Well, that went poorly. What did you say it was again for uh, charging? Charging your key. Yeah. X, which is guard, and then double tap back and hold back. Oh, there you go. Oh, he. Whoa, really? Jesus. What did he do? He actually he teleported away from Kamehameha. <laughs> Dan's the best mod because twitch.tv slash the Joker. <laughs> <laughs> Next time on Dragon Ball Z, Goku struggles to remember how he controls. Tonight, on a very special episode of Dragon Ball Z, <laughs> Goku has has amnesia. Level up. 
do you need to run down on the stats as well again? I believe, based on what I'm seeing on screen right now, you were telling me to put them all into attack. <laughs> yes, because more damage, and health was just obviously more health. Key was more starting key, if I remember right. Because attack also uh, included your spec, like all damage you do. Mm. All right, guys, like write down that password. You might need it later. <laughs> Don't actually do that. Oh, there's still rocks there. I guess that just permanently stays a battle point. Yes, until you move along with the story. I think the battle point might change somewhere. But yeah. Uh, I'm assuming I can get a second Dragon Ball now, because that's how it worked on Earth. I think so? Let me go to Game Facts real quick. Because the guide actually on Game Facts was surprisingly helpful for once. For that. Well, there's Frieza's base and where everyone landed. I guess I'll just hang out here. This won't look suspicious at all. There's what's left of that town. Uh, yes, the fourth Dragon Ball is on Namek. Alright. Uh, you want to give me a quadrant, or should I just use the radar? Uh, where did you find the first one? The Northeast Island? Uh, yes. Uh, it's saying column one, row two, and it says, like, within the region. You'll find a couple small islands. Hang on, I found a capsule house, apparently. He already got the... No, he got the four star... He didn't get the. Well, That's a castle yeah. house. Hello in there. Oh, I found I found Bulma. Goku, are you already going back to Earth? No, not yet. What's with you guys? You think you can just run off and forget about all about me? Sheesh. Cool. I got guilt trip. Nice. Totally worth the trip. Thanks, Bulma. Just stay in this house and be useless for the rest of the saga. Like a good nag. Nah, don't be like that. She actually does helpful things later on, though. She's the reason we get we get badass trunks. Yeah. But that was the bad future. True, but still, it's still Bulma. It is. <laughs> uh, so yeah, column... I think it's like that... Yeah, it's like the northeastern quadrant... Or nor northwest, northwest, with all the tiny... Alright, that's a big difference. <laughs> yeah, I, I caught myself. It also suggested use the radar to help you. I so. mean, I'm using the radar right now, and nothing is come. Oh, there it is. We found the five star. What do these do again in the context of this mode? Uh, when you finish the story, if you have all seven, you just get a wish for either, I think, a breakthrough capsule or, like, two other things. Which... Yeah, if I remember, right, Breakthrough gives your character every skill they can get. Am I yelling at Krillin again? Vegeta. Oh, never mind. I'm healing Vegeta, apparently. What my body? Well, what yeah, my mind. body? <laughs> that was it. <laughs> <laughs> what my body? Bad. <laughs> I hope I'm not too late. Just hold on, son. This will fix you up. Dad, it's you! Hey! <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> Alright, I know these are professional voice actors, but clearly they didn't have a director for the game? <laughs> because, because Gohan's like, Dad, it's you! And then Gohan, Goku's like, Hey! <laughs> <laughs> He's so happy to see his almost dying son. <laughs> and then that was it! Oh man, I missed shitty voice acting and directing. Hell yeah, this rules. I I'm gonna tell if I like Gohan's old voice actor or the new voice actor better. I'm gonna 100% blame that on the voice director. That is not the voice actor's fault. That's definitely the director. <laughs> oh yeah. <sighs> uh. I think Goku was never exactly the best parent in the first place. Touche. <laughs> you just go Piccolo is Gohan's favorite dad. Hell yeah, it's time to fight Raccoon. It's pointless. You're already beaten. You Raccoon? Does every move you have start with a kick? 
defeat the enemy. Last. Raccoon kick! You watched Dragon Ball Ski Bridge, right? Uh, a long time ago. I'm super far behind on it. Uh, did you see Raccoon, uh, the Mechamania? With the no. Uh, like, again, oh. I'm super far behind on <laughs> Team Four Star. That's fair. Yo, did that cease and desist they got in person at uh, the con and ever end up come to anything? That, I didn't even know they had. That's a new one they had. Yeah, know they toy. Team Four Star got a. As, as an anime expo or whatever it is, the one in LA, they got a season assist in person from Toy. Wow, that's impressive. So I guess parody is just Toy's like what sets them off. All right. It's so good, like. It was not uh -oh, a that fucked up. It was not a season. What was it then? Yeah, that's a good question. What okay, I'm getting rocked right now. Oh shit! Apparently, Lane, uh, yeah. Apparently, Lane Tor apologized for getting upset. I was wondering what that my or, I'm, or my apology video was. Also, please damn, that, po that point blank beam battle, though. Oh, okay, sorry, I just didn't know. So someone says, please point out that the cease and desist was actually for one specific poster they were selling. Everything else was fine. Never mind. Oh, okay. It wasn't malicious. Okay, cool. Because all I saw of that was the one tweet they put out where they said, lol, we got a cease and desist. And it never said what it was at the time I read it. Because I actually saw it when it was fresh. I did not realize something else had come out of that, which is partly why I asked. That's good to know that they're still fine. Okay. Well, I mean, they did always have to go through their little spring cleaning of trying to get their videos back up. At True. Least you. you know, they were actually... Funimation actually got Team Four Star to do the dub for one scene in the Boo Saga. Really? Totally. Yeah, but it never Sorry, a actually aired on TV because Toei was like, or I think it was Toei Animation. Yeah, because yes. they kind of don't like Team Four Star, and it was like, no, we don't want this to air. But it, the clip uh, is on YouTube because it's basically a reenactment of the Cell Games for, that's played at the World Tournament, mm. and it just has like, it's basically like. Oh, what the hell is that style? It's like a, it's like caricatures, I guess. Chibi. She, there we go. And it was basically like a chibi parody in universe, with the Team Four Star guys voicing their characters on the parody. And like everyone, and like it just has the lines as like kissing Hercules' ass. Mm. We got a skill, Planet Namek. You can select Planet Namek in stage selection. My favorite skill. A uh, stage is unlocked. Uh, who, who are you? Pant Pant, who are you? My name is Goku, and I'm a Saiyan from Earth. No way. You're too strong to be a Saiyan. That is very meta. I love how Rakum always sounds like he's yawning when he talks. Well, I have been training pretty hard. You got a skill! Rakum! Rakum can be used in dual tournament and practice modes. That's My funny. favorite skill, Raccoon. It's funny, Raccoon actually sounds smarter in the Team Four Star version. It's essentially just, it's essentially a wrestling meathead in TFS, but actually somehow is smarter. I assume, is there any more silly scenes I can find, or is it, oh, I found the capsule house again. Uh, let's see. Why don't you take this with you? Maybe it'll come in handy. Bulma gave me turtle shell. Key gauge consumption will be doubled during dodging and teleporting. Oh, if you go to the top left of the map, Guru's house is there after the raccoon, but you get in the level there. Oh, he's nice. Like, he's like, I'm going to unlock your hidden potential. Battle point's still there. Yep, there it is, Guru's house. Elder Guru. Hey, uh, Lord Guru, there's another visitor here for you. Tell me you didn't let wow. him in. Hello, That's Mr. Gear. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> we 
Wow, that's one big piccolo. <laughs> Seen you in the memories of your earth friends. I heard Please you can unlock my power by touching me. To do I look like the Catholic Church to you? I will Jeez. do what I can to aid you in your quest. I think, I, sir, I think Near he means unlocking his potential. Ow. Wow, I feel stronger than ever. Thanks, Guru. Thanks, Guru. Uh, let's see. Level up. Oh. What's up? Can I go to one of the towns now? Wait, hold on. Yeah, in it's above the red marker supposedly, but it also says this does not work for subsequent events. So I don't know if we do this out of order supposedly. But apparently you're supposed to meet. Uh, you meet. A, you're not supposed to, to progress in the story, but you meet Nail in a village. Uh, uh, this, this it's above the red dot because there's. Nothing. Oh, okay, must have accidentally missed it then. That's my bad. Does, does anything just, happen import, important in there? It's just a level up. It's nothing big. You can oh. progress the story just fine. All right. Uh, why am I not there? It is. That's that's weird that that was not working. Probably because it was turning too much. Let's just go. Let's move on to Planet Namek. At what point did you stop a Team Four Star DBZ bridge? I don't remember. Thanks, Raccoon. <laughs> I guess I'll move slightly over here now. Recall Captain Ginyu X, cause he gonna give it to you. That's not one of them. Yay, we shifted the red marker five feet. Yeah, probably not necessary. Nah, there's Captain Ginyu. Well, I mean, I wouldn't say Raccoon was dead, he was just like, knocked the fuck out. Challenge. This guy seems a little tougher than those others. Remember Senzu being tossing? I don't. Uh, dude, it's been so long since I watched Four Star, period. I, I watched a bunch of the Cell game clips where they had other series coming in to oh, fight Cell. Still... Those were really good. Their editing has gotten so much better. Oh, yeah. Holy shit. They also had us. Uh, I think they had Das Boshin in the 3D ones. That makes a lot of sense, actually, now that I think about it. Yeah, because he did the idiot box, didn't he? Yes. And that was like all done for the Gmod. Yeah, that does not surprise me. Book Man. Homeless Man. The Meat Man. Is that man? Oh! I forgot I have Spirit Bomb now. Oh yeah! I fucked it up. Aw. Oh. He's still gonna take a bit of damage. I, I thought it would just automatically happen. I didn't expect a meter game. Yeah, it's basically just press X three times when the meter or each time the meter is as high as you can get it. Like, he's still doing a good amount of damage, but it's just if you win, he just takes a lot more. I would hope so with a fucking spirit bomb. I wasn't expecting me to grab him and basically get him with a spirit bomb. Yeah, your ultimates can be done from that, like, hyper mode, KO Ken, like, thing. Only down- really one of the major downsides to hyper modes, you can't actually charge key because it's rapidly draining. Mm. But, you, but you do get super armor during it. So that's pretty nice. We get a, nope, not enough for a level. All right, is this gonna do the thing that happens in the plot? Really did a number on me, but I still won. Eh? Goku, you barely got hurt. Much as I'd like to be rid of you, I need your help against Frieza. I'll heal you. Here, have a capsule. This capsule had Captain Ginyu inside of it for some reason. It's like Pokemon. In reverse. Ginyu, Ginyu. Wow, 
The power is just pouring out of me. I've never felt Oh yeah, so Raditz has a move called Saturday Crush and Maybe Double I Sunday. Be celebrating mm. while my friends are still in danger. No, Goku, you shouldn't be celebrating. I only hope I'm not too late to save them. They just fucking skip the body snatching bit. Yep. Yeah, that's what I was wondering about. I'm surprised they didn't do it. I guess it makes sense in a way. Well, yeah, because right. you'd be playing as Ginyu or as Gohan or Krillin, but it's individual character stories, not like the full-blown one. All right, anything of note I should be looking for, or can I just go straight to the island here? After Ginyu. Uh, no, there's nothing. Just go straight to free, uh, to Planet Frieza. Really? To... This is straight to Frieza? Yeah, because Goku's out of commission after the Ginyu fight until then. I guess that's a good point, huh? Yeah. I'm, I think you fight first, second, and third forms as in Gohan and Krillin, or Gohan, Krillin, and Vegeta's stories. Yeah, I'd say this is this is perfect cell, or perfect Vegeta. You're Frieza, <laughs> perfect, Gee, perfect you're Vegeta. <laughs> you're either semi, or you're either semi-perfect, or you're, or wait, how do you get semi? You're either not perfect, or you're me. Wait, I know that face. Where have I seen him before? Defeat the enemy. Yeah. Are you that Freezer guy? I am Lord Freezer, yes. Awesome! I'm a deck you in the schnoz. I remember that line. Oh, that's... That's after... Yeah, that's like... Where you, or that's like the end of the Freezer saga, then. Because Freezer fight. Also, I miss when the young is Frieza. Like, I like Frieza's new VA, but when the young was like really good as Bulbasaur. As I, I really just called Frieza her. Holy shit! As Genkai and Frieza, that's more or less at her. Because Genkai, you hot show. Yeah, I got it wrong. I've already used Triangle, which means I can't use X again anymore, can I? Uh, no, if you win the defense, you use a different button. As, oh, wait, no, it's a different button than the one the armor just used. Ah, cool, now they go with X, of course, they got a perfect army. Well, that's gonna hurt. Oh, he's destroying me, dude. Destroyed. Yeah. I give up. I mean, it is the. Wait, is it the end of the saga? So, no, there's still 100% full power. Never mind. I mean, but still. Frieza compared to Ginyu and Bakum. Yeah, Little Karibo did a really good job as Frieza. Of course, Little Karibo did it. Yup. What? Ah, what? Yeah! Freeze is fine, but his brother is cooler. Oh my god, and really? The, yeah, thanks, Puppet Master. He does have a power level of 1 million. True. That's only the second one. Oh. It's like 530k or some shit. That's the first one. Little Kribo's freeze in the bridge. Yep. That went better. Just smack him in the back of the head. Over and over again. Hell yeah. Time to go Super Saiyan. This is fast. Hell My yeah. Heart even scratched him. They've busted out the trumpets for this though. That actually hurt. <laughs> I've barely scratched him. That hurt! Whoa! I don't <laughs> believe it. Hang on, King Kai's gotta eat a sandwich. They did it! They beat Frieza! We did it guys, we beat Frieza! King Kai couldn't believe it. Let's go home!
home, guys. We can take my ship. We'll be you there in no time. Freeze's brother is cooler, but wow, that was free yeah. King Cole. Oh I'm my god. Even oh, I man. thought that was bad. Gonna kill me. We better go get her. No, I didn't. Well, guess we're going to get Bulma. Well. Nothing else to do? Is it just straight shot from here on out? Uh, yeah, because you just... Yeah, because you go back to the marker and you just... She not in the same spot anymore, right? Uh, no, it's straight up at... I don't think the capsule house appears as an event. I don't... Yeah, I don't think it's here anymore. That's where it was. Yeah, it's gone. All right. Yeah, so just go straight to the red marker. They really just beep, skip one beep, of those beep, 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 <laughs> beep. Wait for it. No! This is not good! It's... It's Frieza! I can't believe it! We didn't kill him! Miserable it, it! You caused them. them pain! And for that, you will all pay! <laughs> that's... The that's the writing for the sound he just made. Aux, aux, aux word. Goku, I thought you killed him. You destroyed. Yeah, so do I. People usually die when they're killed. Krillin died just then because he sure just went Goku. Yep, and they don't actually show it. And now we've got a capsule. You got a skill, Super Saiyan. Punch kick guard with four or more key gauges. Requires Kaoken. I don't remember if you start in, um, or I don't know if you get the choice to get the Super Saiyan capsule equipped or just start in the form or what. Oh wait, no, you're on the map, you do. Okay. Well, too late. Yep. Well, guess we're fighting in base form. We're gonna humiliate him. Should've known it would be an actual skill that I did not equip. Yeah. Yeah, it's basically like the transformations are basically just, hey, do you have this one? Do you have the next one? No, oh, there we go. Yeah, there's there's one. Buff Frieza. I'm going to tear you apart slowly, piece by Yeah, you have to have you uh, uh, everyone Frieza. in sequence equipped to actually have this Super Saiyan it. on. It's all or nothing. It's all or nothing. Defeat the enemy. But is he as buff as buff Riku? Refer to skills. Five key gauges for Spirit Bomb, but it's every button. Alright. Yeah, so it's basically... Actually, I think it's the same combo you used to enter in that hyper mode. I think. I, I'm pretty sure you're right. It has been a while since I've actually sat down yeah. in this game. Trying to get him with it, but he's running away. Oh, never mind. It's it's knockbacks that don't work. Also, when you do that, uh, that, uh, that mini game you're doing, that is not the trigger for Spirit Bomb, obviously. It does mm -hmm. trigger another ultimate when you get it. Well, good news, I got it. Hey, we had the actual ultimate for it. That is a lot of damage. Uh-oh. Oh, now he's turning around on me. But I got the block right away! I love the first, uh, the first defense. Just kick him in the back of the head if he fucks up. Ask him to do it. Ask him politely. Didn't even need to go Super Saiyan because I forgot to equip it. 
Ye yes, forgot. We just we totally didn't want to just humiliate Frieza. <laughs> go Super Stay. One Z point. Is this okay? Yes. What game mode's he playing? He's doing the story mode, the dragon adventure, I think it's called. Yep. Give up your evil ways, Frieza. Otherwise, we'll meet again. <laughs> I'm not going to kill you, because I'm an idiot. This can't be happening. It can't be. I mean, you killed my best friend, but you're free to go. You got a skill! Frieza! My favorite skill. And thus the plot ended. Gohan and the others return safely uh, Glitch to Man, Earth, you're thinking thanks of, to the Namekian um, Dragon Balls. Oh, shit, what the hell two? That's what Goku it was called there. And it was a fucking board game. With essentially. <laughs> what about the past five the episodes of Build Up? So it was wasted. That the planet itself begins to crumble. So this counts towards a 50. No, actually, he's. I there's a lot more to go. Yeah, no he still has the Goku Boo Saga and the Cell Saga. Actually, Cell Saga is not even that long. I think it's just the Cell fight. However, the wish is refused. Let's see, there's one Dragon Ball. Goku survives. Oh wow, you can. He a oh, that he will you get two levels himself. on the cell during the cell game before With you actually go again, there. Gohan waits impatiently for his father's area. return. You have a lot of favorite skills, don't you? I'm not sure what you mean, because I haven't really... I have combos I like. Kamehameha is easy to use. Yep. Basic, and it does, like, half a bar of health, something like that. But that's going to do it for tonight. We're going to leave the Dragon Universe. Check out all these sick bonuses we clearly have. So we unlocked... Raccoon, Ginyu, and Frieza. And that, I thought we had most of those anyways, oddly enough. I guess not. So who all do we have in the game now? Goku! <laughs> registered. Kid Gohan trademark. Vegeta registered. Krillin registered. Piccolo trademark. Tien trademark. Yamcha trademark. Raditz trademark. Nappa trademark. Captain Ginyu trademark. Raccoon trademark. Frieza registered. Er, rest yeah. I'm done. I can't even English tonight. Uh... What if we have for raid messages, by the way? Uh, uh that's good. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we had uh or set John a skill. Learn to master your so No one can beat you. Uh Box, I, uh, I guess is another one. Satirite Jack we had. <laughs> Hashtag Browns win. <laughs> <laughs> John Madden. John Madden. Uh, Milky Cannon. Oh my god, Twitch, I gave you my fucking tax info. Stop asking for it. Um, let's see here. Never mind, I need to get my PayPal verified, like, sooner rather than later. Raid Bob Ross. Oh yes, <laughs> clearly. I mean, it's late. It's nice and soothing. It'll get people to sleep. <laughs> That's actually worked with me before. <laughs> the man's voice is like ear candy, man. That's a symbol I haven't seen. Oh, it's just part of the title. That's why. <laughs> he doesn't even talk through his chat. <laughs> 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 Streamer, why don't you talk to your chat? Why are there so many Russian Battletoad streams right now? That's really weird. There's one Russian stream playing the Genesis version, and another playing the NES version. Must not make Smirnoff joke. Worms Armageddon is a cool game, but I don't know where that came from. That just came up all of a sudden. Is anyone streaming Bagel Bash? <laughs> Memes. If only. Who 
Yakov Smirnov. Yakov Smirnov, the guy who did the Insoviet Russia joke. That's the guy. I just see. I was expecting a Trump Putin joke more than anything. I have class. Plus, they're way too easy to make. What the fuck are some of these IRL streams in Variety? Holy shit. There's one called Lips That Grip, and it's like a close-up on a girl lying on her bed. Uh, uh... Sure, audiences, I'm assuming. Uh, that one's not. There's another 18 plus one. It says, live sellout drinking stream. <laughs> Never check IRL. I'm not in the IRL streams group. That's the funny thing. I'm in Variety right now. Check retro. I already checked retro. Nothing really jumped out to me. Oh wow. Uh, let's see. It was more uh, non-English streamers and vodcasts than anything. Ah mm. oh, damn it! Plus. I found I found someone who was doing an art stream, but they don't speak English. <laughs> Wow, he... I don't know. Wow, that is a title. Mm. That good, that good, huh? <laughs> you, you want me to read it? Because it's pretty funny. Read out the title. And, and or cringy. Mario's robust booty has tried to distract me for too long. That's after, like, PB, 120 stars all night and all that shit. That's... That's a cringe channel-worthy title, if I've ever heard it. Hi, buddy. Moving on. All right, I think I found a target. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> uh, there we go. Someone throw the book again and soon. What What did we settle on for our raid message, by the way? Oh, good question. There was like one. There was like five or six different ones that were. Uh, I've seen a lot of uh. One more cringe out. Wow! Jeez. Okay. A bunch of people want ox, a bunch of people want uh. John Madden. I, li I like uh, John Madden. <laughs> We're gonna go do that one. Yeah. That's a good one. Great dandy enigma that guy is best, but he'll never see it coming, I swear. Alright, uh, when in doubt, we're gonna raid someone from Twitch Calgary. They're currently playing through Dream Daddy. It's Spency! Respectsy. We're gonna raid with uh, John Matton. There's a cat about to get on my lap. I have to be fast. Oh god, bagel. I can't make heads or tails of this. Gold looks around. The scene of the crime is a bunch of bricks and some masonry tools scattered around. Zero hesitation. Back at the sex dungeon. And before. What happened here? I like the green screen setup. Me. It's very nice. Lucian tried to I also kill like me. how the rain emotes bouncing on the screen. Silent. <laughs> oh my god. What's happening here? Oh god! <laughs> John Madden, greetings from Proton John? What? Oh my god. Hello? What the frick is going on? Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Hello? Uh, this is gonna be awkward. You guys are joining us for daddy time. Proton John. Oh, this is like. Holy fuck, it's an honor, John. <laughs> Freaking Calgary streamer here. Oh my god. I. Oh my god, you guys. Uh, John Madden. What, what is this? Uh, John Madden. Oh my god, this is, this is a bomb. We're being bombed at the most. Oh, Jesus Christ! We probably. <laughs> wow, we probably picked the worst possible time to come Holy in, apparently. Fuck but. Of all the times, you know? Oh my god, you guys. Thanks for, uh. So. Thanks for stopping in on our dream I daddy have, night. 
I'm trying to describe oh what the hell I'm God. seeing in this game. I don't think I have Walti one. 83. Welcome to the spectators. What is... Oh, hang on. There we go. There we go. That's the good oh shit. Oh, my God. <laughs> Riding in that car with Wayne and Garth. Hell yeah. Oh, my God, John. What's going on? Welcome, guys. Welcome, like we'll welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, there's the Tom, but uh, now you know, apparently everyone's just too excited and they're just dropping every yeah. emote they can now. Does John have a song? A typical song that I can rock for you guys? With the recorder. Oh, no. Should she's got a recorder. She's got a recorder. Uh, oh she's been going for 12 hours. Oh, Damn. my God. Welcome, guys. Welcome to... Uh, I was going to say, she, she definitely sounds like she's done with life right now. What's going on? Yeah. What's going on? <laughs> All right. How's everyone doing? I think we'll end the stream before she serenades hey, us all with her recorder. Because I don't even John? know what song to recommend, John honestly. And John. Free all birds! The Hang on, the cat's also going to eat the internet cord, so if I don't stop the stream now, we're going to just lose Green internet Power straight Star. up. Welcome to the spectators. All right, we'll see you guys next stream. Uh, it might not be yeah. on Wednesday. It's probably going to be on a different day. Oh, Follow Twitter. My God. I, I'm just going to sit here and wave. Wave at you guys. Because it might be Tuesday or Monday. I'm going to figure that out. Just follow on Twitter. Um, it's probably going to be one last stream before I go. Uh, it ain't going to be Final Fantasy, though, and it ain't going to be Cookie. If it is what I think it's going to be, you'll enjoy it, and I won't. <laughs> so we'll see you guys then. I Disappointed! Uh, point, question mark, exclamation point, question mark, exclamation point, question mark, fail, 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 f